Hi, and welcome back to Crinks TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Quizm. And today we are playing Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon. As voted for by our Patreon supporters. If you want to be able to vote for long plays and stuff, check it out. Yep, five bucks or more, you can nominate and vote on the long play process. Let's start. Bubby, I might kill somebody. You're right. This is such a strange game. <gasps> anime face. Oh my god. And other more different anime face. Oh my god. This game has leveling up and stuff in it. It's very strange. Mm. So I look at settings? Let's yes. look at settings. Make sure subtitles are on and all that. Voice is English. It has English language. <laughs> Imagine this has English language, but Fatal Frame 4 didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, message speed seems fine. Language English. Subtitles are on. What the fuck is filter? I don't care. I'll leave it off for now. Okay. I think we did? Yes. Let's begin our adventure. This will be fine. <laughs> At the very end of a summer that was all too short, the old man I was living with passed away. Even after all the years we spent together, I never knew his name. Numkin. Later that evening, I dug a shallow grave in the front yard of our home and buried him there. At that moment, I was truly alone in the world. Have you played this before, by the way? Uh, no, but I saw a playthrough of it a long time ago. I played this for like an hour and then I stopped. When it originally came out. Hmm. Maybe I'll find something he left behind. It's so dark I can hardly see. If I crank open the dome, then I can let in some moonlight. Tutorial start. While hold down B while moving the Wii remote to survey your surroundings. Oh my god, it's just like in Fatal Frame. <laughs> Face where you want to explore and hold it down. The cursor will flash strongly on things worth checking out. When it's done, press A to investigate. Explore the world to help find helpful items and hints. Tutorial end. Of how a tutorial end needs its own little card. So yeah, this definitely this. So you walk with the nunchuck and you look with the Wiimote like it's a mouse and keyboard. Mm. I should turn the crank to open the door. The door open, letting in the more light. Better we can see. No more good. It's amazing. So amazing. I've heard really good things about this game, although it is like. A very unusual game, I think, for most people. Oh my god, we're walking on a telescope. We've got a secret bedroom, maybe? Hey, look, it's... his flashlight. We Yay. got the flashlight. We can see. Tutorial start. You got a flashlight, now the Wii Remote will illuminate dark places as you explore. That's handy. Fireflies hover where items can be found. When you come across, go see what there is to discover. Fireflies. I will say, these are quite cute tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a YouTube thumbnail with everything circled. Oh, are we holding a stick? Yes, it's our. It's like a. It's like a. A weapon, I believe. Well, it, we can't use it at the moment, but I thought he was a wizard. Maybe he is. You never know. 
I mean, he's wearing a cloak like a wizard. I mean, that actually is, is, is pretty much true, actually, yeah. He looks like every anime alchemist. Oh my god. You know what's coming out tomorrow, baby, at the time of recording this? What? I tell you, Ryza 3. Oh She's my an god. alchemist, but she has thighs. Yeah, no, that's a different, that's a different <laughs> kind of alchemist. I mean, she <laughs> still does magic things. and stuff. I thought they were all dead, but I see at least one survived. Who's there? Oh shit. Oh. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Why should I answer? Because they asked you. Tutorial start. Press A to attack enemies. Well timed attacks will make for consecutive blows. Timing's everything. There are also invisible enemies called thought entities. Use the flashlight to make them visible. Okay, so you don't attack with the Wii mode, which is probably for the best, to be honest with you. I can see dodging being a major issue in this, I will say. We won! Yay! We beat the tutorial enemy, Bubby. But I'm so tired. How pathetic. Such a useless creature. That's rude. What... What are you? I do not have to answer to you. Puppy is gone. He has a face. Can I just say that's one of my pet peeves in games especially? <laughs> Happens a lot in JRPGs where you beat a battle and you're fine, you haven't lost any HP, <laughs> and, and then like, in the cutscene you're like dead. <laughs> yeah, I hate that a lot too. <laughs> I definitely dislike that trope. By the time you read this, I'll already be gone. Before, I didn't really care if I was dead or alive. I never considered myself worthy of living. And yet, I knew not even death could atone for my sins. You have no idea how hard it was for me to even write you this letter. It's strange, really for having wasted so much of my life. Now that the end is finally in sight, I never dreamed I'd feel like this. Only the time I spent with you gave meaning to my worthless life. Only now do I regret that I didn't open my heart to you more. Why is it, as I say goodbye, that I'm brimming with so many things I wish I could have said to you. Please forgive this foolish old man. Head east of here. And you will reach a tall red tower. I can't promise. But there, you might find other survivors. Besides yourself. When I am gone, you must go east. Now go. And Seto. And Seto. Thank you. For everything. You got old man's letter. You got strange blue stone. This is such a strange game. I mean, so far it's very... It's feeling just very JRPG, to be honest. Well, this song will be muted, everyone, but we hope you enjoy the animated cutscene, at least. Yes. He looks very feminine there, didn't he? <laughs> Hello, token anime weird girl survivor in an apocalyptic <laughs> world that has white hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely a trope, too. There's definitely another trope there as well. Yes. The kitty cat's nomda.
I forget this is like a post-apocalyptic, this whole game, right? Oh, yeah. This song's quite nice, guys. I'm really sorry you can't hear it. <laughs> yeah. There'll be a, a thing on screen telling you what the song is, though, if you want to go listen to it yourself. Yes. But YouTube is bum. Yeah. I just released the Prey playthrough yesterday, and that had, like, four licensed songs I had to completely remove. Mm. Has Blue Oyster Cult did the music for it. YouTube is bum and the music industry is bum. I mean, that's one of the reasons that Prey is like a lost game, is because it got deleted from everywhere because the license thing expired. Yeah. I just... Is that the Eiffel Tower? It's a Tokyo Tower. I just... yeah. <laughs> okay, oh I'll my shut up now. god, baby. Is that the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> no, <I'm> please. <laughs> uh... This is not set in France. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. <laughs> Although, I will say, oh, actually. Hey, Numpkins! Oh my god, I hope you guys are enjoying this Fragile Dreams Farewell Ruins of the Moon, as voted for by amazing patrons. Want to shout out some amazing patrons here. First of all, Scully, thank you so much for the support. As always, you are an amazing, beautiful, fantastic, wonderful, lovely, phenomenal, phenomenal Numpkin. Thank you so much, Scully. Also want to shout out, of course, Old Abe, another longtime supporter who's been amazing to us. So generous, so nom, so phenomenal, phenomenal too. Thank you. Both, Old Abe and Scully, you're amazing. Guys, we're only four patrons away from hitting our current goal. Just four to go. Oh my god. If we hit that, that'll unlock an exclusive look back at Machine for Pigs with Chris. I'm looking at it for the first time next month. If you want to see that, make sure you support on Patreon at any tier. Four more supporters at any tier. And that will unlock. Alice, thank you for being our producer as always. Alice is amazing. Alice is fantastic. Make sure you're following her on all her socials that are on screen right now. And you can see Alice live on our Twitch multiple times this month. We're going to be playing the Quarry Together multiplayer, more Sons of the Forest. Link in the description. Make sure you follow our Twitch right there. Anyway, thank you for listening. And here is more Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon. Let's focus on this playthrough. I'm not going to reference another playthrough now. All right, well, Seto, our main character, is outside. As you can see, I had to give him a <laughs> down a little bit there. It's because I was relaxed for half a second while playing a Wii game, sorry. Oh, where am I going? It's not this way. You you can't step. There was a wall there, an oh, impenetrable wall. Oh, oh, how beautiful your light is tonight. How truly precious you can be. I look into your eyes and softly touch your hand. Farewell, love, and tomorrow we will meet again. Oh, twinkling star above, how beautiful yet lonesome. As sad and lonesome as I am I reach out for your hand We are two and one Farewell, my love <gasps> Who's there? Why would a shoe ah! squeak? It's a puppy issue <laughs> Did she just fall and concuss herself? I guess so Well, she did. Are you okay? No, oh, she's dead. She broke her neck. I hope she's not dead. Just leaves a face first in the water. <laughs> you touched me. Yeah, but... Well, I was just making sure you were still alive. I don't know you. Well, no. But I'm... This is gonna be one of the weebiest games we played in the world, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I touched her. <laughs> no, wait! Don't go! 
when it takes you that long <laughs> to realize you're not interacting with a hallucination. <laughs> On my journey through the world, am I no longer an insult? All the people I thought I saw slipped away I like they know. were just a mirage. But that girl, her cheek was warm to the touch. Another human. Oh my god. OMG. I'm one of the opposite sex. Bonus points. Unless you're gay. That would suck. He's definitely gay. <laughs> eh, I don't think so. I was 15 years old at the end of that summer. When we met, the tower in the distance was bathed in crimson light. That one encounter changed my lonely world in ways I never could have imagined. The brief moment we shared transformed me to my very core. It's called puberty. <laughs> Touch the Even face now, and hit puberty. Yep. I remember it like it was just yesterday. The stuffy, humid air, the last vestige of summer. Her silver hair fluttering in the breeze. The big silver moon. Wow. Oh, it's coming out the fucking controller. What is that noise? Well, it doesn't matter because we're getting another cutscene. Please help me. I am in danger of malfunctioning. I am not completely waterproof. Please help me. Is someone there? Yes, over here. I am here. Please, come quickly. I am here. Please help me. Find the source of the voice. I'm going to quickly see if I can make this not come out the Wiimote and come out this game instead. I don't think we can, but I'll try. No, you, oh, I'm pretty sure we can. I thought that. I, th I think that's an option. When you point the Wii Remote in the direction of a sound, you can hear it coming through the Wii Remote speaker. The closer you are to the source, the louder the sound becomes. I guess we're about to find out if that's true or not. Alright, go to settings. I don't even know if I can. Nothing is working for settings. There you go. Uh, oh, okay, it's up on the D-pad does that. Maybe, was that it? Go that, and then do these things. That's my inventory. That's what's in my hands. That's my character. And that's the map, so not here. But let's try, I'll try other directions. Down does that as well. Oh, do they all do that on the D-pad? Yeah, the D-pad just does that. Plus and minus do nothing. One and two do nothing. C does nothing. There's, there's no way of getting to a menu in game, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Which doesn't make any sense. How do you save or anything? Just probably save points. Okay, guys. We currently have sound coming out the Wiimote, and there doesn't seem to be any way of accessing any options menu in the game. So we're going to keep going until we get to a save, at least. The Wiimote's going, please help me. You spooky, buddy. Mm. Please help me. I am in danger of malfunctioning. Anyone? It's coming from the other side. If I crouch down, I should be able to squeeze through. Press the C button to crouch. It's so weird to hear. Yeah. <laughs> like this soft voice from behind me. I think the bonfire might be the save point. This. Yeah. I think we can't use it just yet, though. I think we need to find the thing first. It's not coming from over here. Oh, I went past it, I guess? Where is it? Here, maybe. Hello? You struggle with Warning. doors, dear? I yeah. am not completely waterproof. Please help me. 
I am in serious danger of malfunction. Warning, I am not completely waterproof. Hello, I am a personal frame, an interactive digital assistant equipped to respond to my user's emotional state, whatever it may be. Hey there, my name is... Uh, whoa! Let us save introductions for later. We are in danger in our current location. I will quickly navigate a route to safety for us. A route? Navigate? We must hurry. I hate that. Okay. First, fasten me to your back. Like this? Did you fasten my sides until they made a clicking sound? You mean these here? Good. That should do. I am a personal frame, or PF for short. My primary function is analyzing whatever situation my user is in and offering a sound solution. Well, I don't know, but I don't think we should stay here. Of course. However, there is more I must tell you about later. I hate that trope in, in JRPGs, right? Mm -hmm. Where it'll be like, um... A basic word a basic and they word. don't know it. Yeah, like, navigate, map, you be able walk. To build a fire there. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that a fire will keep adversaries at a distance. When tired, it is also useful for resting. So they're save points. Oh, uh -huh. I guess you're right. Good idea. No special saves for us this time, by the way. Everything is legit. <laughs> I hope I'm not getting sick. So, do you feel warm? Yeah. It feels good. I know we must evacuate. But I am picking up signs of dangerous enemies nearby. I'll hit them with this my stick. should do the job. Right? That will suffice for the time being. But it would be in our best interest to acquire something more durable. Oh, hold on one moment. There should be something serviceable as a weapon ahead. Investigate, but exercise caution. Right. Zoom in on the fire pit to build a fire. Sitting by a fire also restores your hit points. You can also save your progress at bonfires. Okay, Numkin. You ready to see some exploring? Oh my god. I mean, I've yes. got a bad feeling about this. Please stay alert. I'm sensing something that means to do us harm just ahead. Do us harm? Is something wrong? It's nothing. Never mind. For now, please head right. No matter how urgent our escape, your safety calls for a stronger weapon. Good point. Right it is then. Do you understand? The direction of the hand you hold pencils with. Whoa, well, what anti-left propaganda is this? Oh, but I use my left hand. Well, in that case, it's, um... <laughs> it's okay. I'm going right. Oh, yes. I forgot to mention something. What is it? Whenever there is something on the ground, a gathering of fireflies just above it will signal its position to hey, you. We already know this. Why would fireflies be attracted to it? Indeed. Well, maybe it is because it is summer, perhaps? Uh, right. You know, you didn't have to make it weird. <laughs> Talking to PF. Hold the Wiimote to your ear and you can hear PF's advice coming through the speaker when you're not sure what to do. See if PF has anything to say. Hopefully it routes it to the thing. We did turn that off. I know, but I'm just saying hopefully it routes it to the thing instead of just not giving us hints at all. Yes. Oh my She's god. She's not saying anything, so I'm not sure. Well, I'm not holding the Wiimote to my ear. It depends. You have to hold it vertically. Which I'm not particularly interested in doing at the moment. Okay, why is this not working? It's right here. 
I'm not being an idiot, right? No, it's right there. It's the sword. I have to get really close. Oh, there looks to be some kind of weapon here. The stick's made of bamboo. Yes. It is a bamboo sword. I believe it will be far more effective than your other stick. I got a bamboo sword. I've got to equip it though, right? Yep. Press this on to bring up your on-hand screen. When you move the weapon icon from one weapon to another, it goes to the light icon that indicates your light source. Oh, I see what you mean. There's a weapon and a light source. Okay, got it. So I guess we'll get a better than a flashlight at some point. Hang on. What? How do I equip it, game? This is an interesting inventory. By interesting, do you mean terrible? Yeah. I have no idea how to equip things. Alright, go over to your hand again. Okay. Try clicking A twice. Oh god. A twice? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, pick up the item. Oh, wait, there's absolutely no information on screen that's useful right now. Oh, hold on. Do you have to move the actual icon off of the thing? You do. Oh my god, that is dumb. <laughs> Good spot, though. Well done, Bubby. I suspect, because I don't remember that this game has a degradation. I hope it doesn't. Degrading weapons. Yes. I'm guessing we'll have a tutorial oh, fight now? But there's something else I've been meaning to tell you. Huh? What is it? This area is suffused with what one might call malicious thought entities. Malicious thought entities? Yes. They are the manifestations of the undying feelings left over from those who passed away. They are hostile toward the living and are apt to confront them. This can... Wait. You're saying that we could be attacked? Simply put, that is exactly the case. So what do these thought entities look like? Depending on the sentiment, they can take many forms. What is most troubling is that they are invisible to the naked eye. What? Then what am I supposed to do? These thought entities are crippled by light. Therefore, the beam of your flashlight should work. It will strip them of their cover and weaken them considerably. So, even when the coast looks clear, I should shine my light around to really scour the area? Yes. So please be careful. Ghosts or thought entities are manifestations of people's emotions and are vulnerable to light. They are weakened by light, so hold the beam of your flash out on slow movement. I'm oh, hi. Beat the shit out of some jellyfish. I won. Are these, like, dangerous then? Yeah. It was just a jellyfish. That one has a grumpy face. Oh my god. Okay, they're very easy to kill, at least. Something there? Yeah. Another cutscene is what's There's there. There's something on the ground. It is a paper crane. Somebody must have dropped it. Paper crane? Oh, I guess it does look like a crane. Can you stop questioning everything? So, you've seen a crane before? No. Just in a book once. It's a big white bird, right? Correct. Cranes are a large waterfowl with prominently long beaks. You sure know a lot about them. Have you seen them before? That is not quite correct. I was only referring to the entry I have in my memory banks. You've never seen them? But the way you describe it... Oh. Yes. Well, it is only a matter of possessing the right data. Oh, okay. Well, I hope we get to see one together. Together... As in... with me? Of course. Agreed. Okay. Flirting with the machine. <sighs> the belongings left behind this world contain the final thoughts and memories of their owners. Bring them to a bonfire and listen closely to hear their stories. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I think that's quite a big mechanic of this one. Beyond this turnstile, we can follow the train tracks out to the surface. Okay. 
It's locked. I can't open it. Nonsense. Try a little harder. Have you seen how scrawny your user is? I mean it. It won't budge. Please stand by. I will run another scan over the area. Oh, well, actually, it might just be locked. At least, I think. We'll never get it open then. What do we do? Just a moment. Ah, yes. A key. We should find the key. There is a high probability that it is not far from here. Okay, then. Let's go find that key. Okay. I think this PF system is talking out her butt. <laughs> find the key to the shutter. <laughs> she's kind of, she's very chatty, but very sassy. There is a fire pit where you can build a fire just ahead. Perhaps a short rest. It's been three minutes. Order. Yeah, but we could listen to the, the thing memory. and get yeah, it out yeah, of yeah. our inventory. Uh, oh. oh, man. Hmm, I see. Paper crane. Read memory. <laughs> so, dear, what do you want to play next? Um, um, I know. Hide and go seek. Some of these are going to be really tragic, aren't they? Yep. You really do love playing hide and go seek, don't you? Yep, and I like apples and running races, too. I oh, also really? like me, but you always <laughs> come in last place in races. Yeah, but I still like them, and, and... I love mommy best. This could be you voicing this, Bubby. <laughs> and mommy loves you too. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was kind of cute, I guess. Okay, how do I get. I don't want to listen to it again. Is it just going to play it again? Okay, good. We'll drop a lovely, wonderful. So, only three save slots, by the way, it looks like. That sucks. And then we'll resume. Time to find that key. Oh boy. That sounds bad, right? It's... Oh. It's an army of jellyfish faces. I do wish this had a lock on, because it doesn't. I think the sound indicator that we were looking at is that little vibration-y effect. Yeah, that does make sense. Can we go through here? I mean, that's nice. This leads to the mall in an underground station. However... It is currently locked and inaccessible. Well, that's, well, that's just rude. Yeah, exactly. It's very. Oh my god, brother. We thought the same thing. It's unprecedentedly rude, you know? Yes. There's more jellyfish around. Anything here? Yeah. I'm not really sure where I'm going, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just kind of winging it. Oh, this is the female toilets. We went in the male toilet, so this is new. Okay, they're not this, it's creepy, the sounds in here. I don't like it. There's something here, baby. It's a key! Oh my god! Whoa! Is this what I think it is? It is a key. After analysis, I can report that there is a 75% chance that it is the key to the turnstile shutter. Great. Then that means we can open the shutter now. Wait. Please hold on. At a probability of 75%, that means there is a 25% risk that it will not open for us. I'm sure it'll work. I mean, 75% is way more than 25%. I suppose that is a valid statement. Yes. It might work. Indeed. A 75% probability. Yeah. We'll be fine. Yes. We will be <laughs> what fine. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, 
Let us go open the shutter. I feel like we're deranged. I mean, we might be. I feel like we're just like... I don't think this backpack thing is real. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think we're just losing our shit. We could be. Oh my god! Oh, Jesus. Am I meant to be fighting these? I don't know. I leveled up! Yeah, just don't die. I think I won. I think that uh, flashing red light might be our... Uh... Indicator. I'm, I meant HP. <laughs> oh, okay. Hi, hello? Well now, this is a rare treat. It's not every day I chance upon someone. Huh? Whoa. Who are you? Ah, oh yes, pardon me. I roam these parts in search of unique treasures. And if I do say so myself, you seem to have a few eye-catching pieces. Care to barter, my lad? This is stranger danger. I've picked okay. up some stuff, but none of it's that great. Well, have it your way. In honor of this most destined encounter, I have a gift. It's on the house. I've got a healing candy drop. Use this dandy little number to ease your tired, troubled traveling self. Thank you. And with that, I must be on my way. Until we meet again! I don't like the pandas on the pants either. Well, you don't look at the two beady, glowing red eyes inside the mouth. It's fine, don't worry. They're just, that's just, it's just its eyes. It's just got a tiny head inside a big head. It's totally normal. He's gone. Who the heck was that guy? That is a much warranted question. Well, regardless of his nature, we too should hurry on our way. Listen, it's fine. We're gonna have a little look around here, by the way. In the decaying world, you can still find food to replenish your energy. Different ones offer different levels of healing. When you're reaching the end of the rope and there's no bone for in sight, these come in handy. You can use an item this way. Okay, so up is your status, left is the map, down is what's on hand, right is the items. Got it. I'm gonna forget all of that, obviously, because it's me, but, you know. We'll go up. Hmm? Up oh. on the D-pad. Up. Oh, you wanna see my health? Yeah, we need a bonfire right now. <laughs> oh, shit. Those things <laughs> kick my ass. Should I heal, or should I go to the bonfire? The thing is, there's an item, apparently, around here that we need to find before we go to the bonfire, but there's a chance of ghosts as well. Oh, here's the item. There you go, I've got the mystery item. There are many items come across that be impossible to discern in the dark. Only by holding them over a bonfire can you examine them. Okay, we need to get to the bonfire now. Yes. There's gonna be ghosts, though. Well, then don't fight the ghosts. That might be a bit hard if they're in the way. Like these ones. Is it dead? Okay, that one's dead. The other one's guarding the bonfire. Oh, it dropped something. Okay, I'm gonna go back and grab it. Oh, they're spawning infinitely. Okay, let's go, let's go into the bonfire. Fuck this. We're getting mystery items. Excellent. Okay, good. <laughs> we were on ten health. Uh, this is so. Silly. My inventory is now full, by the way. Hmm, I see. We got a crystal fragment. Cow's money. Cash it in. Another crystal fragment. And mother's shoe. I see Read memory. memory. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, another earthquake. Oh, oh dear. I have to get back to her. Oh no. I have... I have to get home. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll be there soon. I guess that's the mum with the crane from before. Yeah. Mummy died. <laughs> when you defeat enemies, sometimes lay behind precious items. When you bring these to a bonfire, they automatically convert into money. You can also use it in transactions with the mysterious merchant. I like the design of the merchant, by the way. I know it's creepy, but I think it, it works. Okay, we, we got, we're full health now. We can continue happily without any more problems, without any more fear of combat. I don't think we were meant to fight those hands. I think they were probably out of our league. We did level up from it, though. We did. I guess you can grind in this game? Certainly seems like you could, right? There was ghosts everywhere. Mm. 
Ahead is the train platform, and beyond that, the tracks. If we follow them, they will lead us outside. Another earthquake! If there is a stronger quake, the structure could be compromised. You mean we'll be in trouble? Yes. Grave trouble. We must hurry. But... But what? I sense great danger coming from the platform. Do not linger while traversing, and do not strain yourself. Turning back is sometimes the most... Don't linger, but action. also go back on yourself. The likelihood <laughs> that you will have a safe passage is... I mean, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure. It's okay. 1%. Yeah. Together we'll be fine. Yes. I feel like it's lying to us. Follow the tracks out. Is there, there's another bonfire? You can build a fire over there. Believe me when I say that rest and retreat can be heroic in their own ways. Go to the mystery item. May as well ignite the bonfires when we find them, right? Mm. Although I don't like the fact every time we have to have this little cutscene. Hey, is this? You got another memory. Don't let in any strangers while I'm gone. Okay. Don't worry. Mommy will be back very soon. I promise. I think she lied. Has Mommy ever broken a oh, promise? Oh no! To you? Promise. That's right. I promise. Mommy? Yes, sweetie? Come back home quick. Okay? Well, she didn't lie, but she did break the promise technically, right? Mm. Click the blue arrow at the bottom. Yeah. It's probably like 10 save slots. Lusto. Yes, sister. Thank you. You're very smart that they're pointing that out. Alright, I guess we're gonna go down. What is it follow the tracks, right? I hear puppy is. Don't linger. Oh no. Bumpy is. Oh. I don't think any of these hit me. Not that any of them dropped anything. I think it's worth looking around for these mystery items and stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, from what I understand, a lot of them are like uh, RNG. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you get them if you're lucky, you get them if an enemy drops them, that kind of thing. Okay, so where do we go? Like on the train? Yeah. I will say, I think the environments in this are pretty cool so far. Mm. Although, every Wii game has like a, a look, because it was a standard definition game in an HD era. Mm. Oh god. Oh my god. These things are really dangerous. I think I lost like 90 health there. Yeah, that bar up there is definitely your hit points. You're on half health. Half health. Okay. I'm going to go really slow. If I stand a distance, it looks like you're okay. Because you have quite a lot of range on the stick for some weird reason. I mean, it's a bamboo sword. Why would that be weird? Okay. If you can keep an idea of my... I, I don't actually really understand the health, but... Oh, I see. The blue... The light blue. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's a bonfire here anyway, so we made it through without dying. <laughs> Those hands suck. Man, I'm getting sleepy. Okay, listen, dude. You've only been walking for, like, two minutes, and there's been five saves. You could just save over the last lot we did. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. I'm sorry. It's fine. Just get up and... Because that was, like, literally 30 seconds? Yeah. A minute at most? We're back outside again. I guess we're done with the subway. I just realized we were in a subway 
Uh-huh. Creepy man. Was that Jared in the mask? Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> No feces. Oh my god, another cutscene. What a surprise. <sighs> the sky's red. It must be dawn. Yes. Dawn is the time of day really? when the sun is below the horizon. Sunlight bounces off particles in the upper atmosphere and scatters, causing the phenomenon of a colorful sky. With today's strong winds, more particles must have been kicked up to result in the exceptionally deep red we perceive now. Um, excuse me, are you listening? Yeah, it's so red and pretty. Yes, it is stunning. Just beautiful. By the way, I've been meaning to ask you something. Yes? Being of assistance to my user is my primary protocol. Ask anything you so desire. Well, uh, before, I saw a silver-haired girl. Have you seen her around here? A silver-haired girl, you say? Just a moment. Please stand by while I conduct a search of my databanks. I should mention that an ongoing power shortage has restricted access to the compressed files in my database. I wasn't able to scan all of my records, but... You know her? Yes. I mean, no. Which is it? Pardon me. It is just that of the memory I was able to access, a silver-haired girl might or might not have shown up. You've seen her. It's possible. And yet, it's possible I have not. Oh. So you haven't seen her. But wait. I might be able to estimate where the girl would be at present. This is only a theoretical calculation, but... When it comes to the general location of people, the underground shopping mall in the station we were just at was always lively with crowds. So, perhaps... Some people might still be there? Yes. In the past, it was always bustling with activity. So there is a possibility it is that way now. Okay. How do we get to this underground mall? The entrance to the underground mall can be found on the second floor of the station where we just were. However, that passage is always kept locked. Oh, but do not worry. There is a chance that the key to the passage is being kept in that storehouse up ahead. Hmm, I'd say it is at least an 80% chance. All right then, let's head to that storehouse, right? Affirmative. Inside, you will need to locate a thin, gold-plated key. And one more thing. Please be careful. Yeah, I know. Find the key. What is this nonsense? <laughs> the, like, what's sky? What's the sky? What's dawn? <laughs> that bothered me quite a lot there. <laughs> Let me tell you what dawn is, in case you don't know, human. Oh my god, look at the kitty cat. I think there's a mechanic in this where you can buy treats from the chicken guy to give to cats. Mm. For something, I don't know what. Listen, but... um, game. <sighs> so comfy. I'm not going to say I don't appreciate the abundance of save points, but... I'm going to save in the same slot this time. You're being a little bit ridiculous, don't you think? They are very, very free. That wasn't the same slot, by the way. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> We're fine, I think. Well, you got to be careful, hon. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you still love me? I mean, it might have been the same. I don't know. Just be careful. Let's just head to the train yard thing and see what happens. Yes. There'll probably be another safe slot inside the door anyway. 
If there is, by the way. There'll be another cutscene as we get just past this thing. Are you ready? I think you're, I think you're right, actually, genuinely. We'll see. Oh. Oh, no. I oh, no. Wrong. I'm expecting the game will open up with less cutscenes once we're through the opening areas, but there has been a lot. Well, you were caught half right. Because there's one now. Who is it? Mommy? I hear someone. Whoa! Uh. I guess this is the girl from their memories. You are a dead ghosty. Mm. You're not my mommy. Uh, hi. Look, I'm trying to find a key, but... I guess you wouldn't know about it. Hey, hey! Play with me! Play a game with me! Now, be a good girl and listen. We're looking for a gold. I am too listening. <laughs> You're looking for this key. It's gold and thin, so there is a 97% chance that it is the key we need. Listen, uh, could you let us borrow that key? I'm gonna say no. no. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a very important mission. Please. No. It's sparkly and pretty. It's mine. Stop being so bratty and hand it over immediately. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't cry. <laughs> I can see you smiling. <laughs> What should we do? Beats me. Play with me. Huh? I said play with me. Oh, okay then. What do you want to play? Hide and go seek. Hide and go seek? Yeah. I'll go hide and you find me. If you win, I'll give you the key. It seems we must comply. Yeah, I guess so. Okay then. Come on. Let's play hide and go seek. Oh, you can go invisible? That's just cheating. I'm ready! Tutorial. The little girl's invisible, but listen carefully and you can hear her voice through the Wiimote speaker. We can't, because we turned it off. The louder her voice, the closer you are to her. When you think you have her, press A. But every time you mess up, she'll find a new place to hide and you have to try all over again. Oh, this might suck. <laughs> no, we can hear it. It's quieter over here, I think. Yeah, it's louder over here. Maybe? I don't really understand this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I think maybe you need to keep going until she suddenly stops. Okay, we went past her. Yeah, you went past her. I'd say here. Gotcha. Oh my god! <laughs> I was less than an inch off. This is horrible. This is very horrible. It should count if you're like in the radius of the flashlight, honestly. Yay! Finally! That was kind of sucky. Uh-oh, you found me! That means you win the game! Wow, you were good at that. It wasn't easy finding you. It wasn't? <laughs> I'm pretty good at hiding, but I'm not so good at running. Oh, and don't forget this. It's for you. Here you go, like I promised. Thank you. 
Here, you can have this in exchange. I found it in the station. Oh, this is my mommy's! She made it special just for me! That's kind of sad. So long. I was just crushed to death. Mommy! Hmm? What is it? Oh, Mommy! Yes, yes. Now, what is it? P please, Mommy! Hmm? Please, don't leave me alone ever again. I won't. I promise. You yep. promise. <laughs> <laughs> why did Mommy not have a face? I don't know why Mommy didn't have the a face. The budget was cut out for Mommy's face. <laughs> That's what it felt like, right? Yeah, it was a bit weird. Oh, that bit, that bit sucked. Gone. I guess I'm all by myself again. I hope there isn't too much of that in the game, but I've got a feeling it'll be well, every few levels. Technically speaking... You were not by yourself. What? Oh yeah. I guess you're right. I've still got you. Yes. I don't think the backpack is real. I think he's just gone crazy. <laughs> okay, we need to go back now to the mall, right? Yes. That we were just in. You don't have to crouch yeah. in. <laughs> I was trying to remember how to uncrouch. And we can unlock the door at the top of the stairs that I couldn't unlock before. So let's head back. Although, I think on the way back we um, can hopefully find a few new things as well. Oh, um, could we check something before we leave? Yes. Could we go back to the ting and in the courtyard to the side? This way? Yeah. Yeah. Watch us get killed by a super no, hand. No, no. Go to the... No, stop, stop. Go that way. This way? Yes. I think we have to come back here later on. No, turn. No. <laughs> God, stop! Where? Go back towards the house. To that side, to the opposite side of where you were. And down this area. There we go. How did you know that was there? And don't worry about it, I just did. Well, you're so smart, Bubba Nunkin. <laughs> you're so smart. And you got a num bum as well. Two of the greatest things in the world in one. Oh my god. That's unprecedented. I mean, it is, actually. How can one nomkin have such a non bum and be so smart and so cute and so delicious? I don't know, it's just impossible, really. I mean, it's not, because this you? No. Me? No, just a lot of bollocks. <laughs> it's a lot of bollocks. Bollocks. Right, we're definitely saving after that shit show. Maybe I'll yeah. sit down. So, what do we get? I'm guessing this is a memory item, or some more yet? Wow! It's a memory. Let's listen. I'd always meant to see you. But now, it's too late. The world is over. But might wake up again. But it doesn't matter. You'll never find this. And even if you do, what will the awakened world be like? Will the stars... Still be in the sky. Will the moon still shine down on us? No. <laughs> no! That's it. I'm definitely gonna have to drop stuff soon from my inventory. Okay, that's the num. There's only five slots. That's not very numb. Is it, Bubby? Yeah. I mean, it's norm It's fine for like normal gameplay, but we said before when you're doing a playthrough for uh, for YouTube or whatever, it can be a pain in the bum. Yeah. Oh my god, we have a kitty cat. I haven't got any food for you. I'm sorry. When I find the man again with the face, then I will. We'll be back, guys. Should I even bother fighting these if my weapon's gonna break every five fucking seconds, though? Like, what happens if I come across a boss and I don't have a weapon, baby? 
we die. Excellent. <laughs> well, this should unlock the door up here, right? We should be able to make some progress now. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, we're here. It, it opened. opened. Beyond this doorway is the station mall. Please be ready for whatever lies ahead. I mean, I'm not ready for my right. weapon breaking. I am. But I'm sure it'll be fine. After all, I've got you. Yes, of course. Because you have me. Wow. I hate her. <laughs> I've decided I don't like the robot, baby. I don't know why. She's just a bumpkin. She hasn't done anything bump. I mean, she just kind of is. She's just like, oh yes, you have me. Oh, you're warm with your bo 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 Well, it's real. Oh, hello. Hi. You are my valued customer indeed. Right, we're gonna have a look at what he's got for sale. Right, we should probably buy a new sword, right? Yes. For now, I'll just buy one. I'm going to buy a cat toy as well. And see what that does. And he's got food, which you already don't need. Okay, everything else I think is okay. Well, should I buy a, se no, can should I buy a second sword and have it in my briefcase? It's up to you, hon. Fuck it. You never know. Alright, I'm going to keep the rest, though. Done. Have a nice day! There's a baby in there and all that. <laughs> cat toy, give it a good shake. Equip the cat toy and press A when cats are nearby to lure them to you. Why would we do that? They might give you things. Interesting. I do not trust these kitty cats. They could be evil, baby. You never know. I guess it goes automatically into the briefcase. Yes. This is the most lengthy process of equipping a weapon I think I've ever seen. Are you sure we don't, um, want to just keep a stick on hand? I think we'll be okay for now. The sticks break as well. Well, I know. Well, but... but the inventory is so small, I think it's too risky. Like, okay. if we find, like, uh, any, like, key story items, we'll lose them permanently if we don't have space. Alright, well, I'll save. Watch us lose this weapon instantly and just get wrecked. This place used to be alive with bustling shoppers. In the past, maybe. Looks pretty run down now. I surmise that the frequent earthquakes took their toll on it. Indeed. Seems that way. Well, let's look around. Find the silver head girl. Oh. For fuck's sake. You didn't bring it. Well, again, because you have such limited inventory and it takes two slots. It's crazy. We, I, I hope we get inventory upgrades in this because it's going to drive me crazy. This. Up. Like, this is this is literally Resident Evil 1 size inventory. Fuck off. Fuck off. I don't want to talk to you every time. Good customer indeed. Go away. I shall see you again. Sorry, I'm getting triggered by the fact that everything takes a year to do in the game. No. Why can't I click? Why? Why? Hey, where the fuck is the cat toy? Go to the side. Hmm. Why is it all the way over there? I don't know. To be annoying. Okay, oh, it's I... only one space. That's not too bad. I bet they break too, though. I think everything in this game will uh, break. Wait, what? What is going on? I don't- I don't want info! I- I chose it back! Multiple times, game! Honey, you need to actually hover over back. You can't just do a d-pad or anything. God. I need to equip it now. 
Oh my god, this is painful. <laughs> no. Okay. You need to hold. No, stop running after it. Try crouching and doing it. Where's it gone? Right there. I can't crouch and use it. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it following me? I don't- it keeps vanishing! Do you have to put it in your uh, flashlight hand so you can actually wiggle it? Okay, so we may or may not have wasted a lot of time trying to get the cat mechanic to work, only to realize that it doesn't actually become Do useful for anything. It's just to watch him play with the cat. But you can't even watch him because the camera angle doesn't chair, so all you see is his butt. So, we're gonna move on. Oh. <laughs> that is a big puppy, yeah. Oh, I feel so bad for the puppy ears. They're going feral. Yeah. Because they don't have any mummies or daddies anymore. Oh, that's so sad the way you said that. My heart is broken. <laughs> it's true, though. Oh, this doesn't sound good, does it? What the fuck are these? Oh, bad things. Um. Oh, I leveled up. Leveled Dude, up French fire. Kicked in the face. Oh my god. I can see the combat in this with no lock on, driving me nuts. Well, we're stuck with it. Especially when you get knocked down by a tap. There is an item in here at least. Did that one die? Sounds yeah. like it, yeah. Sounds like it. I just Oh my god. Did I just find a cat toy? You just found a cat toy. Well, you want me not to waste many more money on them, I guess. Some crates are surprisingly fragile and may come apart when struck. Observe. A few blows should do the trick. What do you mean observe? You can't do it. There are some boxes that can help with the, uh, that break with a weapon. Inside they can find helpful clues and items. Yeah, look, look she said observe like she was going to do something. You're a backpack. Hey, there was something inside. Wow, that's amazing. Did you know this key was here? Huh? No. Well, yes. Actually, I knew all along. That's awesome. You know, being with you makes me feel like anything is possible. Please. It was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? The, the backpack is lying. Lying like a rug. Oh my god. That's an interesting analogy. There's also you lie like a dog. I'm kind of scared of these big puppy ears, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh wow, we're getting a ton of experience here. Hi. I say as I, uh... So, I, I did look up, right? And grinding is a good idea in this, because it will make things easier later on against certain encounters. <laughs> but obviously you, you have to buy weapons, so you need to make sure that you are like... Ow! Oh. I cannot, I cannot react to that, unfortunately. Yeah. 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 I think those alone, because I got, I got my ass kicked there.
Bonfires are becoming a bit less frequent now. Oh, I know, it's because I said something. Yeah, we haven't had one for at least, what, nine seconds? <laughs> Look at these huge doodles on the floor. I wonder if that girl's behind them. Huge seems a bit of an overstatement here. That girl? Do you mean the silver-haired girl? Yeah. She had the most beautiful voice. I cannot evaluate her singing, but her drawing skills are substandard. Hey, that's not a nice thing to say. But it could be more enjoyable speaking with me than with that girl. Is she jealous? Huh? Yes. What'd you say? Nothing at all. She is. She is. <laughs> so the backpack tries to kill the girl on sight. <laughs> it opened. I don't know if we just used the key or not. I can't really tell. But there's a bonfire, so I'm happy. And another cutscene. It's pitch black in here. I hope we'll be alright. We will be fine. After yeah. Oh shit, sorry. You're right. I mean, you found that key under the crate, too. Uh, precisely. We will be fine together. Yeah. We're together. Yes. What is going- what? I don't understand- is this meant to be awkward? I mean, it is. It, it doesn't is. matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's meant to be or not. I'm getting sleepy. Backpack guy gonna show- okay, he only shows up at certain bonfires, thank fuck for that. <laughs> I mean, you say that now, but we're we, gonna be we, hankering. We might need him later on, We're gonna yeah. be hankering later on, and you're gonna be like, oh no. Where's Chicken Face? Where is he? That's what I'm gonna say. And he'll be like, there's no money. There's no money. Did he tell us a name? No, he just, he was just like, I'm a merchant. I'm trying to look around, but it's very difficult to do so here. I will say, this is a terrible camera. Free break for Yes. There's no money. It's chicken face. <laughs> There's a hole here, look. Let's go anywhere interesting. Or just back out into the corridor we were in. I think just back out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe. No, it's something new. trouble. How did I survive? Oh god, maybe I won't. By the way, I like the one that hit me was directly in front of me, but I went sideways to the right when I got knocked back. I love you just smack him. Like, no! <laughs> Out the way, you rude hands. They're so rude, baby. So rude. This just goes around to where I was. But I guess we can break through this now. Look, there are more drawings here. Are those supposed to be crows? They're kind of cute. They look unnatural to me. You think so? I think they're cute. No, they are scary. <laughs> what, what is so amusing? Do you find that funny? Hmm? No, it's nothing. Never mind. I see. In any case, it is clear that this space was inhabited by someone not too long ago. These markings are strikingly fresh. Mm. She might not be that far from here. Yes. She draws like a baby. It's weird. <laughs> and I get the feeling, I'm going to just check something. I get the feeling, by the way, that the um, backpack is only saying she doesn't like them because she now knows the girl drew them. Yeah. That's bum! I told you she was bum, and you're like, what, she's done this bum? Nothing! <laughs> so oh, she's no. a little bit jealous. We're going for the harem ending, where we marry the girl and the backpack, okay? <laughs> this is an anime game that is must be entirely possible. There's no other explanation, okay? I don't think that's gonna happen. They are very frequent, the bonfires, at least. I mean, that's a good thing. I think it is, without I'm health tired. you take. Damage you take is quite high. 
But no chicken, I need him right now! I need to buy another cat toy! I'm wasting another 20 minutes waving a cat toy around! Uh... Yeah, this lack of saves is gonna be a problem. Where the fuck am I? There's a lot of places here. No idea where I'm going right now. We're just kind of running around a bit. This place is absolutely massive. I think that's what I was reading uh, up before, that it said that it was architecturally to scale, so it takes forever to get anywhere. <laughs> I don't know how true that is, but... Oh no. <laughs> the freaking leg oh, got a mystery item. <laughs> I don't actually see them, which is a bit weird. Is this room just haunted? Oh no, they're here. Where? I'm not playing hide and seek with your legs. It's weird that they run away like that. Maybe they don't like getting hit. It's an integral rule of hide and seek is that you have to get hit. They seem to take damage when I touch them as well, by the way. Do you know that is that? I couldn't tell if that was on us or on them. Well, our health hasn't gone down, so... So we find out they're stealing all our items or damaging the weapon, like, irreparably. Oh shit, what if they are? I mean, they might be, but I don't know. Well, we got mystery item here, anyway. It'd be nice if you could tell how your weapon is doing. It just seems RNG when it breaks, right? From what we can tell. You blame RNG for a great many things, dear. RNG is the rule of life. That's <laughs> why, Bubba Numkin. Don't you know? I think you just try to use it as an excuse. I mean, I do, <sighs> but that's beside the point. So comfy. Alright, what did we uh, get? Is this? I think this might be an important item. We got a butterfly net. Oh, it's a weapon. For enemies that are a little too far to reach, the long stick is a perfect solution. Though it's a little fragile, it packs a better punch than a regular stick. Hmm. This, the, I'm pretty sure the sword I'm using is going to break soon, so I guess we'll use this for now. With the superior length, staff weapons are good for attacking faraway enemies. By holding down and releasing out, they can thrust forward. The longer you hold down A, the more force you build up to unleash in a spin. What is this? Like a Musu game? What? <laughs> That's so weird. At least to me it is. Uh, handbook. No, 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 no. What do you want me to do? I was gonna keep. I want that's... you to put away the cat toy because we don't need it. Oh yeah. <laughs> that goes away. Yes. We can put the keys away too now, right? I don't know. Have we used it? We've definitely used this one. I don't know about that other one. I think we probably have, but we won't risk it for now. And I put one of the treats away. Okay. Yes. And put the key. Actually, uh... I'll do it like that for now and we'll see. Yeah. I love inventory Fucking management. Tetris it's so annoying. sometimes. Yeah. But yep. I think I think we can rearrange them without a bonfire. Yes, we can. So, that's fine. We can rearrange them on the fly. This doesn't look safe. No, you might need to be slow. As in, you might need to crouch. The dangerous floor is even more prone to collapsing. Try and cross its usual and it can cave in. Only nudge the control stick forward to slink your way across. I'm scared. Oh my god. Papa, I'm scared. It's very heavy slow. Okay. Oh my god, you did it. Ah! 
How do you do the more powerful attacks? You hold it down. Well, no, with this one, it builds up damage the more you the more you swing, apparently, right? Isn't that what it said? It does not seem to be, does it? It's doing 34 every time. I'm not using the butterfly net right now, obviously. No, I, I know, but you should be able to do... Is it the direction you're flowing? Maybe. Oh. Oh, you already knew that. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh my god, I hate the fact I have to do this, by the way. Go away! Go away, Bubby. It went away. No, oh, I guess I'll go away then. No, no, you're gonna. Ah! Don't do that. I hope that doesn't break it more. Yeah, that's what it. I'm wondering, because it broke as you hit the wall, so I'm wondering if every time you swing it, it uh, breaks a it's little possible. bit. possible. Because it feels like this game would be the sort of fucking bullshit. Really this. I think once it starts doing it, you gotta run. You see him freak out a little bit there. He was just like, Bloom. Is it okay? Okay, well, we, we didn't have to run. What are you talking about, tutorial? Oh my god, I think Stop! it's- Stop! Okay, open and, and swing are the same button, so I've got to test doors to see if they're openable, but I can't without swinging the weapon! Because <laughs> they're the same button, because some idiot decided that was okay. I'm fed up of games. This is something that's happened lately a lot, right? I'm fed up of games having the same button for things. In Prey, shoot and use were the same thing, so I constantly blow myself up with a rocket launcher when I was trying to use control panels because they weren't ones I could use. I hate it, baby. I hate it. Because I can't tell what is openable and what is not. And I think there should have been a door there, and there wasn't. And now we have to go around again looking for it. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Can we progress? I hope so. Well, it's just crap for breaking boxes. You know this is all going to damage it, isn't it? What a waste. There's a really strong weapon. Yeah. And fucking boxes. And we still haven't found the right one, by the way. One of these boxes goes to something, but uh, I don't know which one. Oh my god, it's going to be the last one. Not it's... It's the one that obviously has a door. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> You're completely correct. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's this one that has a crack. Oh my god. I broke every box in this room. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe no kid. Was there something on the floor? Didn't see anything. There's a door. Oh. Oh, there's a puppy here coming up. I guess we'll have to try out this weapon. Not two. That's not... Um, I'm gonna say. I might be in trouble here because this is absolutely awful to control. This weapon is too slow for me to do anything here. Yeah, I'm dead. And it hasn't been a save for quite a long time. I'm leaving if I can. This weapon is absolutely unusable. That it's that bad. It's not unusable. You did use it. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna die. This, this, this section's been zero progress anyway. just have to use it correctly. Oh my god, what a concept. I'm gonna eat this, okay? Yes. 
How do I eat it? Uh... It's a separate menu. Okay, so we figured out there's a separate use menu. Um, here it is. It was probably explained, but neither of us caught that. <laughs> neither of us was capable of paying attention, apparently. Yes. We've got a key to the old mall. Progress, I think. Right? Yes. Probably. Okay, now we need to go back. Wherever the fuck the door was that we need to go back to. Okay, we're gonna head back to the bonfire. We're gonna save our wonderful game. And then we can go to the old mall, baby. Oh my god, unprecedentedly numb, right? Yes. We need to go past the cracked floors again, though. Which, knowing my luck, will just be... I'm just gonna ignore these, okay? Shall we cut back when we get to the old mall? Sure. No, 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 you're not doing it! <laughs> THIS CONTROL SUCKS! <laughs> IT FUCKING SUCKS! I'M WALKING- THIS IS THE MINIMUM AMOUNT OF PRESSURE THAT A HUMAN BEING CAN PULL A STICK! We'll be back, guys. Oh my god. That's what we have to start off every new section for us, Bubby. Is just say, oh my god. I mean, that sounds terrible, really. Why? What do you mean, why? It sounds like a terrible viewing experience. No. They love it. I forgot I'm using the shit weapon, right? That no, you're actually using a good weapon that's very fragile. And you have to hold down A, I think. To do the spin, yeah. But I killed him without it. I got another stick. Which is kind of useful, because we didn't have one in the inventory at the moment. Is there anything else down here? Or is this just it? That papilla was guarding nothing, Bubby. I mean, the papilla was just sleeping. Is that why it got grumpy? Yeah. He was like, oh my god, I'm just a grumpy bubba. Anyway, last time I was playing with you, we got a key. And that unlocks a door around here that I need to now locate. I think it's this one here, actually. And this should take us into the spooky old part of the mall, baby. Oh my god. This place appears to be much older than the mall we were just in. And from within, I sense... I sense... What is it? Mm, nothing. Or rather, from within, I'm picking up hostile readings. Be very careful. Oh my god, just pick one or the other. <laughs> Listen, she's madly in love with this, okay? Achoo. I hope I'm not getting sick. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's, it's the first one of a new area he's gonna it's show up. It's an honor to see you. Will you be buying or selling today? I don't think we need anything at the moment. But I appreciate it, Mr. I shall Mr. See Chicken you Fist. Again. Goodbye. He means well, Bubby. You know that he does mean well. Maybe. Even though he's got a face. He means well. Alright. So time to start exploring this area, I guess. This old mall. Don't really know... What the best obs like the best like plan is here, but apparently we should just look around and see what happens. So let's go. Please hurry. I am nearing the limit of my functional capacity. Functional what does that even mean? capacity? For now. Well, for now, I am all right. Now hurry. I think it's dying. I guess the battery. Don't know what's in here. Let's go in here for this in here in here first. It's probably a jam room, manga room, where they sell jam. Ta! 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 There's a lot of bumpkins in here. <laughs> 
Pressing knows it. I know it. You both dead? It's hard to tell. Look at that now. We should stop by a bonfire. I spare oh no, we've got room now. Because we can just get rid of that, right? Because we can't repair weapons ever, so... Yeah. Okay, I've forgotten all the controls, everyone, so bear with me. That's not it, is it? How Hand. do I feel... Hand! Hand. And this one goes in the bin now. Yep. Yeah. You have to put that thing... On there. ...on the stick. Yeah. And then discard it. Yes. Okay. We should get rid of some of these keys when we get a chance as well. We still need to visit a thing as quickly as possible, really. Oh, there's one through here, it looks like. I want to just leave through the room, but I guess I can't. I mean, at least this one's fast, I guess. So hopefully we can get rid of them. I keep my bum. We've got level 8, though. run off when they're sad, right? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, they're like, oh, I'm so sad. I've been bullied. Yeah, yeah opening doors is definitely very fiddly in this. Mm. Let's see what we found. We found three mystery objects. Hey, could this be... We've got fluorite. Oh, it's for money. More fluorite. And a cell phone, which is for a memory. Oops, it's already recording. Okay. Um, I'm on my way out to say goodbye to this world. I might not make it very far, but even if I only make it one step, so long as time permits me, I want to see this world with my own two eyes. I want to leave proof here that I existed in the world. So... If there's anybody listening to this, please remember me. Remember that I was alive. Dang, that was pretty gloomy. I should have left it on a more positive note. Ugh, I'm almost out of time. Apocalypses can be very, uh, downers. <laughs> this whole game's a downer, let's be honest, really. <laughs> There isn't like a positive out outlook here uh, for uh, for a lot of the situations. I mean, it is. It's. It's. We're listening to memories of the apocalypse. It's. It's. Pretzel agrees. It's just like this is very bomb and very sad. I can't believe how sad it is. It makes me even more sad than sad I was. That's what she said. I'm oh translating. Hey, at least even the little stick can deal with the enemies at this point. Mm. Which is, uh, you know, pretty decent. That ladder ahead should return us to the surface. Mm. But it's too bad we never found that girl down here. I... I suppose I was not of much assistance to you then. What? Come on, don't say that. Really, you were a huge help. A lifesaver. Well, if you really mean that, then I am relieved. Hey, what's the matter? Warning. Battery low. Huh? Wait, what battery? Warning. Battery low. What's a battery? What's happening? What should I do? What's power? Warning. Battery low. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Tell me! Battery has been <laughs> depleted. I agree, Pretzel. 
depleted? It seems that our journey together Did you? must come to an Did end here. I am terribly sorry. Please forgive me. But why? <laughs> this time, please don't speak. Let me talk. You know, I always love talking more than anything. Unfortunately, the battery I run on has become completely depleted. This will be our last conversation. It's very rude. If you had not come along when you did, I would have malfunctioned in that decrepit station all alone. Our time together may have been short, but I'm glad I got to spend it with you. Oh no, I have only 37 seconds left until complete termination of operation. There is still so much I wish to talk to you about. But you must let me tell you one last thing. When all is said and done, I am glad to have met you. Seeing the dawn together and those unusual drawings. Oh, and your name. I never asked you what your name is. Thank you. Seto. My name is Seto. We got PF screw. We're burying the robot. Oh, that makes sense. Giving it a grave. I had a dream that a familiar voice was calling me. As I walked along, it spoke to me, sometimes worried, sometimes happy. We watched the red sky full of clouds, caught up in the summer wind. The little time we spent together shone brilliantly, like a light in those darkened days of the past. I know that no matter how badly I wish to see you again, that can never be. Those who live must continue to live. Those who are dead will only continue to stay dead in the cold, hard earth. This game is really emo, isn't it? Mm. Climb the ladder to the surface. I didn't find that very sad because I wasn't really attached to the AI. Yeah, it it's like you you kind of needed to expand the time they had together a little bit, and it's been like what two hours? Yeah, it's not <laughs> it's not a lot of time, and they haven't been together the entire time. Oh, we're in an amusement park. Oh, this is kind of cool, if a little disturbing. Wow. It's Percy Pickard, baby. Uh -huh. 
What the fuck was that? Well, well, what do we have here? What do you think you're doing in a place like this? Huh? Who are you? Come on, didn't your mom teach you any manners? You first. Uh, my name? It's Seto. Seto, huh? And what kind of a name is that? Anyway, you can call me Crow. C-R-O-W. Uh, sure, Crow. Don't act like we're friends. What? But... I said, don't act like you know me. Listen up. I'm the one who's gonna be asking the questions around here. You just answer, is that clear? Yes. Where are you from? Um, pretty far to the west of... What are you doing here, huh? Uh, well, it's just that I thought I might be able to find more people if I came. You mean more humans? As in, you're human? Hmm? Yeah. You traveling alone? I used to live with this old man. But now... He's dead, so... So now you're on your own. Mm. And you came here to find survivors. Is that it? Heh. Mm. <laughs> Typical human. Well, ain't this a pretty trinket? Looks valuable, too. Hey, that belonged to Grandpa. Give it back to me! Oh, give me a break. You mean some old dead guy? It'd be better off with me anyway. It's special to me! Give it back! Oh. <laughs> if you want this thing so bad, you'll have to catch me to get it. Well, this guy's a massive dickhead, isn't he? Mm. <laughs> Inexplicable, uh, sudden anime character. <laughs> Got a mystery item. We might as well rest here and see what it is and, uh, before we continue. I'm guessing Shopping Man's gonna be uh, here again. Uh, oh, man. Hey, could this be... Oh, maybe not. We got a small bag. Oh, it's an upgrade for our inventory. Yay! You can carry more. Okay, that was really definitely worth finding. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fuck off. You are my valued customer indeed. Should I buy a better weapon, like a sword or something? Mm. And then put the stick in the box. I think we have one. Oh, we do? But no. you might want to buy an extra. Yeah, we can always just put it in this thing and get it later on, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Well then, this is goodbye. Bye. Then it's the hand, right? No. No. Hmm. Go to your briefcase. Don't click that. <laughs> we have two. You're right. We had two. Switch out. Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay. We're good to go. On our adventure, Bubby. On our adventure. That's the technical term. Sure. It's called that because manager adventure in this game is a chore. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Alright, so we have different paths to go. Let's go and have a look around, I guess, and see what we can find. 
Aban this is a cool idea. Like, I like abandoned amusement parks as settings. I think they can have some interesting stuff in them. Whether or not this one will remain to be seen, but let's head this path first. I like your kitty here, but you're a complete waste of time. Yeah. Oh, uh, these God. are breathing fire. I don't feel confident at all in my combat levels in this game, I will say. Oh, I can hear him. Yeah. We're gonna have to find him. A boy. This way. Sito is such a lame name. Try again, loser. Sorry, Seto. <laughs> well, it's true. Looks like Crow is long gone. Better try elsewhere. I mean, we literally just heard him. He can't be long gone. Okay. We got a, a key, key here. It's labeled roller coaster. Should I be fighting all of these? I'm not even sure I should. Because like they can be pretty dangerous. And, you know, we only have the one weapon on us at the moment. It's up to you. Oh, there's an item. Look, a secret one. Oh my god, Bubba, that was hiding. Did you see that? No, oh, but well, At least they're dying quite quickly. There is a lot of them, though. We're gonna head up the steps. Okay. These I'm worried about. Because I feel like... I mean, they're fire-breathing dogs, baby. I mean, what do I need to say? Like, if I was, a, if I was like, in an apocalypse situation and I came across a fire-breathing dog, it would probably be pretty high on my list of things that I didn't want to actually deal with. You know? That might be so, but... It doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't mean to go down the stairs here. I want to explore. God damn it, I pretty made the enemies respawn. You loser. You won't Shut up. I will say, I don't like the creepy, uh... The creepy sounds. They're, like... Pretty bumpkin, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm. How do I get in there? He's in the next area because we heard him going like, oh, bo, 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 bo. Because mm. that's the sort of noise he makes, oh, bo, 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 bo. I do yeah. want to find the mystery items because I think the, the little lore things are actually really cool. So that's Oh, not... over there. There they are. Hey, loser. Okay. You won't find me there. Oh, here we go. We found some more crow's writings. Is he a ghost, do you think? He's not human. Give up already, you'll never find me here, lame brain. Looks like Crow's long gone, better try somewhere else. Alright, back to the entrance we're gonna go now, okay, Pabinumki? We're gonna unpack our items, and we're gonna have... get chased by pigeons who are bullying us. It's so rude. So rude. I actually am gonna take another sword with me, in case it... for when this one... because this one will break soon. Got it. Are you looking forward to weapon degradation in Tears of the Kingdom? No. Well, here's the thing. In Breath of the Wild, they actually managed to do it pretty well, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like that the Master Sword also has degradation in a way. Um, hey, but is this? Uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's fair. I'm gonna cash in, okay? Mm. Got a dog collar. Oh no, it's gonna it be sad. It was a gloomy, overcast day. Even though it was threatening to rain, you took me on a longer walk than usual. 
When I looked up at you, you seemed so sad. When we got home, you dropped to your knees and hugged me tight. I wagged my tail, hoping to cheer you up. But the sorrow never left your face. And then, suddenly, tears started falling from your eyes. I licked them for you. They were salty. You stood up and waved your hand. I barked in reply. And as you slowly turned and walked away, tears began streaming from my eyes as well. I licked them too. They were salty. Poor Papia. I, I don't think Papias can cry. No. I got a deflated balloon. That was a lot of fun, Mommy. Now let's go back home to Daddy. Something about the clouds looks so menacing and smoky gray. The black crows have begun to call. We have to hurry home. Hmm. Mommy in my right hand and my balloon in my left. What happened? What's going on? Where'd my mommy go? Does anybody know? Anybody? My balloon and me. Alone and afraid. The butterflies flew and I lost myself as I chased them. Alone and afraid. I stuffed them in my pocket. I stop where I am. I stare at my trembling hands with eyes red from crying. I really am all alone now. So let's go home. We'll tell Daddy all about today. Even the calling crows have left. I hate when you go to an amusement park and the apocalypse happens. Yeah, it's so inconvenient. To live free of regrets. That was my greatest goal in life. And I followed through with it so far. I have lived my life without regrets. I did well in school, and I've joined a prosperous company. I never had financial problems. I could afford whatever I wanted. Sickness never visited my door. I never even had a reason to go to the hospital. Truth be told, it was an all-around good life. At least it was supposed to be. Yet here I am in sorrow. As I inch ever nearer to death, I realize I have no one to share it with. I'm scared. Well, some lovely family memories there. Well then, where should we start? Well, I'm gonna buy one more katana because we've got a bunch of money. And I want to stock up. No katana, you know what I mean. Okay. And we are done. Well then, this is goodbye. And I'm gonna put a second katana in my inventory as well because I think that's probably for the best. Um, do do do. Because we have a bit more room now, you know. All right, let's find Crow and kick his ass and get this fucking whatever the fuck it is, our, our thing from the old man back. This might go back to where we were, I'm not sure. I just want to check it out first, but there, there is a roller coaster over this way, so maybe this is where we need to go. We have the key still that we have not used. God, I hate, I hate the way you get knocked on your ass so easily by the enemies. It's very rude. Yeah. Yeah. 
The katana is pretty good. Is. Oh my god, it's not a katana. It's a bamboo sword. It's a, it's a bamboo katana. Okay. No. Yes. Don't be rude. Why are you being so rude to me about the katana, huh? Why? It's just a nonkin. Wants its best. Alright, if we hear him, there must be some writing around here we need to look at. Right there. I'd never... there. Where? Usually... Right uh... there? No, stop! I see it! But there was Where one you... over there! Oh. This one doesn't count. I want to kill the rooster and sleep in with you. you won't find me there. Okay, that, that's... Okay. That a boy. <gasps> Too slow, you seriously think I'd be here? Looks like Crow's gone, better try somewhere else. Okay, so now we need to head back to the entrance, which I'm gonna be honest with you, I probably would have never thought to do. I'm gonna run. Goodbye, Numpkins. I don't really like killing puppy ears, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Right, he's here now, you can hear him. I think it should be on the pigu, the text that we need. Or maybe just here. This also looks, this is also on a pigu. You moron, I'm by the merry-go-round. Find Crow and get back your locket. I thought that's what we were already doing. Merry-go-round. Is here? Yes. Oh, he's right there. Hello. So you finally caught up to me. Oh, are you mad? Man, if looks could kill. That's mine. Give it back. It's important to me. Wine, wine, wine. You sound so pathetic. If you want it back, come and get it. We have to catch him now in each area. I think at least once. Crow is fast on his feet, so it might not only work to go after him in one direction. Press A to nab him. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that was bullshit. I was really close to him there, right? I have PTSD already, <laughs> and I've only tried twice. We'll get there in the end. Many moons of combat later. Got him. I got you. Now give it back. This is so weird. You're faster than I thought, but I'm not giving it up that easily. Okay, I have, I have, apparently I have a strat for the next one, okay? Mm -hmm. So this is the area with the teacup ride, and that's where we need to go next. Don't let Crow get away. I mean, as it's scripted, uh, the main story objective, I doubt he can actually get away. Alright, you ready for some attempted stealth? <laughs> this is so ridiculous! You caught up to me already? Catch Crow. Easy now to figure, we have to figure out how to get near him. We now need to sneak in the long grass. Okay, so I have a plan. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is the most wonderful plan that I've ever had. Lost me again? Got him. He's gonna run away Give again, it isn't he? Back right this instant. Not on your life. It's mine. <laughs> Loser. Uh, wait! Three tends to be a magical number in video games. Except sometimes when it's five. And that's bullshit. I just want to check something. 
you don't mind. I do. You do mind? Mm-hmm. Why? Because I mind. I don't need a reason. Well, that's just rude. I think it actually might be more than three, unfortunately. Oh, no. In fact, I think we may have to do what we just did there multiple times. No. You can cut all this, but I'm just going to go and use this. Oh, we got some items. Maybe with a, there'll be story things. <sighs> so comfy. Hey, is this? Got one. Whenever I drank one, I always wondered how they got that little marble inside the bottle. When I put the bottle to my lips and turned it upside down, the marble would block the soda. But without the marble, I guess there'd be no point to the drink. I wanted it out, but it was stuck in there good. I could only touch it with my tongue. This is probably one of those things they call completely out of reach. A wish never granted. This may have been my first lesson in that. All right. It's an honor to see you. Will you be buying or selling today? I wish it would just be like, do you want to talk to the vendor, yes or no? Have a nice day! I mean, it basically is. Yeah, but you have to watch him walk up. So? It's boring! <laughs> it triggers the fuck out of my ADHD, it really does. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Crow has evaded us yet again, but hopefully he's over here somewhere. I actually genuinely have no idea where he is this time, so... Oh, he's right here. Hello. I found you! Now give me back my locket! Kid, don't you know how to take a hint? Never! I said I'm not giving it back, you hear? But it's important to me! It holds the memories of everyone I've known! Memories, huh? How pathetic. Now I really don't want to give it back. Wait, Crow! He ran away again, Bubby. It wasn't three. I mean, it might be three. As far as I'm concerned, three is the magic bumja in this instance. Because mm. it's because it's bum. Do you understand that? Yeah, I understand. I think he's back at the teacups again, by the way. Unfortunately for us. Might not be, but we'll find out in a second. No, there he is. I wonder if this is exactly the same as the last bit, or we just have to chase him, or what? Crow, come here. Stop being a bumpkin. Well, well. I guess you're really serious about this thing. Let's take a look inside then, shall we? It's a picture of Hatsune Miku? <laughs> what is all this? It's all a bunch of junk. A random screw, a letter, some photos. You're as human as they come. Of course I am. Now give me back my locket. Give it back? In your dreams. If you don't like it, come and get me. Tally ho! <laughs> okay. All right, we're going after him. It opened. That was the roller coaster key door, by the way. Why are you just stand around? Hey, what's the big idea? I didn't expect you to follow me this far. I've got you cornered. Now give me back my locket, Crow. What a surprise. I don't think so. If you want to do something about it, follow me down the tracks. But it's wicked high up. So make sure you don't fall. I can do this. Ready or not, here I come. 
so annoying. We're not going to bother saving here as we just saved. We're gonna climb... I feel like this is a trap cunningly disguised as a trap. I don't think anything bad could happen climbing up very high and walking along some railway tracks, to be honest with you. I can't... There's a thing! Bobby! I, I think that... Oh, the fireflies, look. No, honey, that's the bonfire. Oh. Well, I was excited for a minute, and then mm. my ho heart, hopes and dreams were shattered, like an old oak table. I mean, it's still a numb ting. Like an old oak table, Bubby. <laughs> my hopes vanished. Wait a second. That's varnished, not vanished. Hee 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 hee. That's a good joke, right? No, I need you to leave. <laughs> okay! So you can actually fall off the fucking thing. Yes. Well, I will say, with these garbage controls, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, we're going down this ladder, I think, is where we need to go. Okay, at least there's a barrier here, right? Okay, some of the way there is. Hug the left-hand wall, baby. If we hug the left hand wall, nothing bad can happen, right? I don't know, I hear bum tings. Yeah, I hear enemy noises. I think it might be pigeons. It is. But I don't like this anymore. I didn't say it because I thought this would be a nice relaxing stroll around a roller coaster. <laughs> Climb the ladder, please. Thank you. But it's actually not true. I like the touch that he puts the flashlight in him as well. To free up his hands. Okay, so these, this is very, very difficult to walk, you know what I mean? Like, you can't... So you can't turn as you move, you have to stop, aim the flashlight, and then move. <sighs> did the pigeon knock you off? He did. It's a very mean pigeon. It is. There's a bonfire here that I am going to use after that. <laughs> but we made it, there's an item here as well. Let me just grab this first. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my god. Ah, this is so soothing. Imagine if the vendor was up here. That would be fun. If he was like, mm, hi. I see. <laughs> you got a slingshot. Oh, attack plus 15. Used to check enemies from a distance. It's small and easy to wield, but very weak. Good for taking down airborne enemies. Okay. When equipped with this kind of weapon, you can hold, can't hold the flashlight. In a place of your cursor, it projects a cursor. Okay, all right, so. All right. I don't know if we want this or not. But we'll just save for now and continue, because we've still got quite a lot of room in our inventory, so. It's going to save here again. As one of my swords is going to break soon, having an extra weapon isn't the end, isn't a really big deal, I think, you know? Don't fall. I hate this. There's another thing over there. It can fuck off. Well, you don't want to get it? I'm not going back for it, if that's what you mean. Well, I thought there was a ladder there, but you're okay. And now I had to go back, all the way back to the ladder ladder and change levels again and go all the way along again. This is horrible! I don't like this! Baby, this is actually tense. I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you touch the side, you're fucked. Like, there's nothing you can do. You can't adjust. He just goes. Because he's an asshole. Why doesn't he have a perfect center of balance, baby? Why don't you? Because I'm not playing a video game. This you is are real. playing a video no, game. No, this is real. It's a documentary. <laughs> it's called Sedo Goes to the Theme Park. The movie, the dream, the meme. <laughs> How many more times am I going to fall off before we find fucking Crow, do you think? Ten. Wow, you have that little faith in me, huh? At least I didn't say four. 
It is literally. I <laughs> Once the animation starts, you were donezo. I'm gonna die. This is so hard to control. Like, it's actually like a nightmare to control. Bevy. Oh my god, stop it, you prick! <laughs> What's my How do I see my health? Uh, I don't think you're doing good. No, I don't think so either. Okay, stop. It's, I, I mean, any movement moves you in this game. Oh, how do we eat again? Uh, not this. You have to use the directional buttons. I pressed the directional button no, to get stop this. No, stop it, stop it. Okay. This. Yes. The worst possible design menu in history. I don't know if we're gonna make it though. We're yeah, we were we were we were like really dead. We were on sixty hit points, we just got sixty and we're on hundred and twenty. You know what the funny the funny thing is though? What? Right, if this wasn't a Wii game, this wouldn't be challenging. <laughs> it's exploiting the fact that it has gar gar its own garbage controls to be more intimidating than it is. <laughs> do we loot? Do we miss him? Oh no, there he is. As a safe here, I'm gonna save first in case it's like a fight against him or something. Mm. Cause he seems like an arsehole. He is. Man, I'm getting sleep. You don't seem bothered by that. Eh. Deserves it? He's been a bum. <laughs> you could have looked where you were going, Seto. You fell right into it. How lame is that? If you've learned your lesson, you'll think twice now before going after me. So long, sucker. Tally ho! I can't believe this is not over yet. <laughs> this exchange is going to continue for an extended period of time. Escape to the surface. We just saved, so I'm leaving the bonfire. What's this? There's a hole in the wall. Maybe I can go through it. All right. You ready for some passageway exploration, baby? Oh my god. Oh my There's god. nothing more numb than that. I'm gonna run past these for now. They're dangerous and they're bum. You know. I feel it's easy to get ground pounded there, you know what I mean? Into a big group of them. No, I don't know what you mean. There's a penguin there, baby. Oh my god, it's a penguin. I actually really like penguins, they're one of my favourite animals. Penguins are my spirit animal. What's this book? Pirate Isle? Then the young pirate looked down at me and shouted out, Come on, didn't your mom teach you any manners? Give me your name first. I tried to answer when the boy cut me off. Don't act like you know me. Listen up. I'm the one asking the questions around here. So it's a storybook character. You just answer. Is that clear? The boy said in a bullying manner. That's weird. This sounds an awful lot like Crow. He's based himself off that, right? The whistle blew, signaling that it was time to say goodbye. I asked the boy pirate if we'd ever see each other again. At that, he answered, Yeah, of course we will. Friends always see each other again. And we're friends now. And gave a smile. I got Pirate Isle. Okay. So, Crow has based himself off a fictional character. Mm. <laughs> yeah! I don't like that so much. The fact that they take a jump back and you can't adjust in time to possibly react to it. Like, you need to get... I got an old instant lunch. 
I guess we can heal with that if we need it, right? Looks like there's lots of items and exploration to do here, so let's grab some things from the dead ends and see what we find. I love mystery items, Bubby, because they can give us mystery things. Like maybe they'll give us some food and hooks. I know there's a puppy behind me, but I want this one first. You have too many- This one's huge, that is! Oh god, you fucker. You fucking asshole! Don't say that to the puppy, I'm sorry, puppy, yeah. I'll come back for that one if my sword breaks, okay? Because it's a big one. <laughs> they need to stop being bumpkins too, I'm gonna be honest with you. I could eat the lunch, actually, and heal myself, and then pick up that item. I think it might not be, um... Well, yeah, you know what, do it. Pray it? I swear to Are you sure? Yeah, you're the one playing the game. Well, I don't mind. I'm, I want to listen to what you're saying, because I love it. Mm, I don't think you do. This could be bad, but... I don't know what that plus stuff is that these ones do. Yeah. All I can think of is just burning your weapon. I guess. That would be fun. But it would make sense. They laugh a bit like you, Pedro, I'm gonna lie. How dare you? <laughs> they do the ho ho ho. I'm actually I'm gonna heal with the lunch and pick up this guy. I lost quite a lot of health there. Mm. Wrong one. We'll get there in the end. We'll find the right menu. Here we go. This is the correct menu, yeah? You know what would be so much more productive? If I could just eat it from the menu. Mm. But no? It's not that? Oh, okay. It was like money or some shit. Okay, bumpkins, you need to stop giggling, it's so rude. I can't believe how rude they are. Why would they be so why would they bo What is that noise? I think you stronger hit. Um you hold down the button, but I'm not sure you can do it with this weapon. Nah, you can't hold it down like the other one. I think it's timing. On oh, that you're one. right. There was a tutorial about that. Mm. We should look that up. I hope I'm not getting sick. You probably Wow, are. very cool. Alright, let's see what we found. Sunstone. 15,000 yen? Holy shit. A broom, which is a weapon, I guess? Okay. That's actually better than some of the stuff we... Better than the stick. It's better than the stick, not better than the thing. Yeah. I scaled that hill in these dirty shoes. But if this is what reality holds, I'd rather have never known. I'd be happy climbing this hill, never knowing anything. No real summit. An endless mound of earth. Nothing. Nothing at all. No hill. Nothing ever there. Not even my birth. No value. No reason to live. No reason to even die. This prayer without answer from a god who never even existed. What is it about Japanese apocalypses that makes everybody into poets? I don't know. Or like extensionalisms that are just really like, <laughs> um, man, I'm trying to think of the word flowery. It is very flowery. Like, there's nothing super wrong with that, but it's still like, a, it's a little like, oh, I wrote this on live journal. <laughs> so I'm like, I mean, I don't even think there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying it just happens in every single one. <laughs> I will say this has a particularly sort of melancholy writing style. Like, I mean, it's freaking meant to be. Evangelion. The end of that. It's just so fucking flowery. This actually and, reminds and, me of Evangelion like, a bit. They're all like that, though. Oh, we're back here. 
Anything that deals with a fucking apocalypse or I'm or impressed like, you made it here. Ooh. Bravo! Oh Sorry, I didn't know there was a cutscene here. Crow! Where are you? Oh for fuck's sake. Give me back my locket! Huh? You're still going on about that? Save your griping for after you beat him. I think it's the boss fight. It definitely is a boss fight. Hi. Well, I think you missed me there, dude. I had like iframes. That was very lucky. You should have bought a butterfly net. It's okay, I think we got him. He's not really doing a lot. No, I know, but... Just imagine smacking yeah. this guy in the face. Yes. Doing the spin. Well, he was really easy. Like, he was easier than the dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Ha ha ha! Catch me if you can! Up here, come and get me! Come on! Give it back! Oops! Almost! Man, you're pretty stupid, you know that? You're so dumb. I bet you can't catch a cold. Well, he's dead. Crow! Jesus. Crow! He should have landed all, like, impaled on one of the... Uh, uh, he was a doll? You're not dead, are you? Answer me! Crow! <laughs> Jeez, what a racket you're making! <laughs> Quit blubbering already, will ya? And for your information, I've never cried a day in my entire life. You're alive. You're alive. Thank goodness. Yep. You win. I give up, okay? Sorry. <laughs> 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 God, I don't understand this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, me neither. He was a doll there, right, for a second. I don't fucking know. He Listen, looked like it. I got to see your special thing, so I'll show you mine. Take a look. Crow, is that you? It's funny. To be honest, I really don't have any memories of my entire childhood. That's why I think that if I can somehow get to the place in this photo, I might learn about my past. But it's hard. I've been trying to find it for the longest time. It's near where we are now. I... I can... feel it. Actually, I'm on a search too. For a silver-haired girl. Silver-haired? Yeah. You don't happen to know who she is, do you? Hmm... There's no. a lot of them in these apocalypses, silver-haired girls. I see. Wait, hold on a second. There is someone. I don't know if she had silver hair or not. But sometimes, there's this real bratty girl I keep running into at the hotel. I don't know. I can't be certain. I've never spoken to her, but maybe, just maybe she might be able to help you out. Great. Okay, then I'll go see if I can find her. Go for it. I'm gonna keep searching for the place in the photo. I guess we both have to make up for a lot of wasted time, huh? And whose fault was that? Hey, I already told you I was sorry. So... Will I... Do you think I'll ever see you again? Yeah, of course we will. Friends always see each other again, and we're friends now. Uh, oh yeah, another thing friends always do is give each other presents. And besides, I should probably make up for being mean to you and stealing something of yours. 
Here, take this. A ring with a silver skull? You better keep it safe in your locket, okay? Well, thank you. What? Okay! This is really <laughs> out of nowhere! <laughs> okay, I did not see that coming from anywhere. What the? Did you just... did I? <laughs> What's wrong? We're friends now, and friends give each other kisses, right? I read that. But but that was my first kiss oh, ever. Oh, stolen first kiss, oh. brother. Huh. Well, then I guess that makes me your number one buddy. Best friends, right? <laughs> my best friend? Yeah. We're friends now. You bet. <laughs> well, I'm off. Right. See you around. Yeah. Bye then, for now. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> Anytime I'm feeling alone, I think about how there's someone out there feeling the same way as me. At this very moment, there are innumerable people just like me all over the world. Yet the tiniest act of sharing a secret could easily make two of us friends. So simple. So effortless. I've never revealed your secret to anybody. And I never will. I promise. I swear. Tonight. Under the blue moon from beneath this dilapidated Ferris wheel. Okay. Wh what? Uh, what happened? I don't honestly know. I don't know what secret he's talking about. Well, I guess it's the, the, the thing that, the, oh, I don't know who I am, but is that much of a secret? In like, a world of the apocalypse? Also, Which right. I think we must get better from because he's like, oh, there's innumerable people as he's an adult. So, I guess he didn't go full gay. <laughs> <laughs> This Unless so it's strange. gonna be like freaking end of uh, portal two, where they find that just all the humans. It's very very strange this game. Like I don't even know what's real and what isn't at this point. I I mean I guess that's the point is mm. you don't, but I have no idea. All right. Oh my gosh, we've got a, a mysterious girl to find, baby. Isn't that isn't that numb? So spooky and mysterious. She is very spooky and very mysterious. Okay. All alone now, because we had a robot for like two seconds. And then we were sexually harassed <laughs> by someone who might not be real. <laughs> I can't tell, to be honest with you. I have a hole in the wall, but I'm just going to have a look around here first, is anything interesting? Does this game have a day-night cycle, or is it just set times? I can't tell, to be perfectly honest. I want to say it's just set times. There are a lot of kitty cats here. There are a lot of kitty cats but here. But nothing actually useful. There is literally nothing useful here. What was the fucking point of all of this being here? Well, you know. Anime? Yes. I am shit talking anime games a lot for someone who only plays anime games yeah. in this game. Yeah. 
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not that bad or anything. <laughs> like, I will say, there's there's been a, a refreshing amount of like interesting environments so far. I will give it that. Yeah, I'd say so. Before we use the bonfire, let's have a quick look around this room. See if there's anything worth grabbing. I think there is something here. You had to back up. Oh, no. No, I don't. <laughs> what the hell, game? You're so picky. Right. Not picky, finicky. Because you're usually you're picky, but now you're like, oh, yeah, you don't see it, but sure, pick it up. Man. I'm He's going to be sleepy. here, I think, the, the shop guy, right? Nope. Wow. He shows up. You need to have it be, um, uh, he needs to show up immediately, I'm pretty sure. Oh, with the first one we were at. Father? Everything worked out at the hotel. They said we can hold a wedding there. Really? That's wonderful. I'm so happy. What's that? A ring pillow. <laughs> Your son brought it over and told me to use it in the ceremony. I'm sorry, but it just looks so familiar to me. <laughs> oh, you. Don't tell me you forgot. <sighs> Wait a second. Is that the same one we used? None other. It's the same one you used on your wedding day. See, here's your initials embroidered on it. Well, I'll be. It's funny. Who'd have ever guessed I'd have your wife's initials? Hang on, is this the dad or the ste or the or the husband? I think this is the soon to be father in law. Oh, that's weird. I'm so sorry it had to end up like this. Please, don't say things like that. There's nothing to apologize for. I really am happy. When it comes down to it, I'm getting a whole new family. A new family? Huh. Father, I just want to thank you so much. What for? For raising such a fine son. And... For accepting me. I just know we'll be happy. This was a little weird, right? Like, a little bit. It was a little strange. Oh, never mind. Ah, we meet again. Tis such a wonderful day. I thought we had to see you first. Yeah, I don't think we've actually got anything we want to give to him at the moment. I'll have a quick look as soon as we've got anything new in stock. Oh, he sells iron pipes now and things like that. I think we'll leave everything for now, right? Well, no. See how much the uh, if the iron pipe is better than what you got. I mean, you can't Info. actually look at the stats of it, can you? Info! For Attack goodness 40. sake, sweetie! I have no idea how you check what we, the stat is on what we're doing, though, without backing out and shit. No, we're using a... okay. <laughs> we're using a sword. There yes. are no swords for sale! Oh, there aren't! I literally just checked! I'm not an idiot! Uh, that is that remains to be seen. I'm gonna buy it anyway. Oh my goodness! Now we're gonna go on explore. No, we have a cutscene. <laughs> what was that? It sounded like a voice. It was a voice. I love voices, baby. Oh my god! Find the voice. Oh no! Please don't be sounding it. It is. <laughs> What is this? The feats. The feats that are gonna punch you in the butt with their feet. There's something here. Okay. I think that might be a key that we need to identify at the fire. Yeah, see there's the feats. I can't remember how to attack in this game. I think it's A. Alright, I thought it was sp 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 in the remote for some reason, it's not. Well, you would think that. Oh, the frame rate here is unplayable. Oh my god, it's like running at like 5 frames per second. The power of the Wii. It's almost like the power of the Switch. I mean, it's like a recurring thing with Nintendo <laughs> consoles, let's be real. And yet you still defend it. Yeah, because the Switch is handheld. This isn't. Go away! How are they talking, by the way, without any fucking head legs? Ow! What do you mean? They are legs. They're nothing uh, but Without any legs. heads is what I mean. <laughs> well, you said head and then corrected yourself with legs. 
Yeah. Alright, that one died. I mean, you do talk out of your ass, so I guess I understand why you make excuse that Excuse me, excuse me, what the fuck did you yeah, just Yeah, you just say? heard me! You just heard me! <laughs> wow. <laughs> chat loves you sassing me, and in the comments, chat is like always like, Oh my god, Chris obsess me! They encourage, they enable the bullying. There you go. There we go. I love how it just looks so busted up, even though it was fine a second ago. It's funny. Uh, okay. Hand. Hand. Change I put it on the, the other icon. sword, and then we bin the other one, yeah? Yeah. So we're gonna go weakest to strongest? Yes. Okay. Unless we come across a boss, then I might oh, equip the pipe. Oh, um, could you go back to your hand for a second? Yes. And? Um, could you move the equip sword icon? Can we move the icons? The... Can we rejig the Tetris? I mean, we're going to be use losing all of these in a second, but yeah. Well, I'm just saying, like, in case we get a weirdly shaped one. Well, I'm going back to the fire now, because I have to to get the key. Um, well, I don't know. I can't read your mind. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, one of the items I'm we picked up is a key to the door. Uh, is this? All right, so we got a fluorite to cash in. Good. Key to the chapel. Why is there a we chapel in the a hotel? Light, Dad. They said we're free to use it. Is that so? Yeah, look. They even gave me the key to the chapel. This is okay with you? I know the hotel staff already said they wanted to spend their last moments on their own. And I doubt we'll have any guests. Well, I expected as much, but all the same. Trust me, it'll be fine. Just you, me, and her. The three of us is all we need. Oh, almost forgot. Sorry to ask you this, Dad, but could you tell her that we can hold the ceremony? You want me to do it? You know how it goes. It's bad luck for the bride and groom to see each other before the wedding. It's a tradition. I'm sorry to pull this on you, but I'd really appreciate it. Don't, don't, don't you tend to know the wedding's taking place, though, at least? <laughs> well, I think this is a bit extreme, because I think they're gonna do a wedding at the end of the world type thing. Oh, okay. All right, then. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I owe you one. You little rascal. Now you're making me blush. I think that's why the dad is just like, you sure you guys want to do this? And why he was like, um, you have any need for my services? Oh, stop talking, chick face. I'm talking. Anyway. Nice I was talking! <laughs> He's such an asshole. I don't like him. <laughs> I was saying... That, I guess that's why he said, I'm sorry it came to this, because it's like, yeah, you're gonna get married, but you're gonna die, like, five seconds later. <laughs> I guess so. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't think people knew the apocalypse was coming, but I guess they did? No, I mean, we've heard, uh, we've heard, um, <laughs> stories where it kind of hints that they do, like the oh. papilla, the, the daddy was just like, oh, I have to go now. <laughs> that's true. Oh, and but on the other hand, um, it might be a situation where like, uh, the initial apocalypse stuff happened, and then the bigger stuff that uh, that happened afterwards they knew about. Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, I'm guessing way. here. What are you just you little? Don't tell me don't come this way. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going right now. Just for the record. It's okay, Presto doesn't know either. <laughs> uh, all these rooms are gonna have bumpkins in them. Probably. <laughs> Smack that bump. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I'm not even sure I should be in here, but uh, for now, let's just try and kill these guys, because experience is good, right? Yeah. God. The camera is not very cooperative here. I still don't understand what that plus 10 shit is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're healed. Actually, they might be healing. Yeah. 
Oh. That happened fast. Did we already use the other It's possible we used it, I guess, and I forgot. Well, oh yeah, there is an item here. Oh, it's just one they dropped though, so yeah. it's probably just like bollocks. Anything numb in here? I mean, it's probably not actually. Oh, no, uh, there is something, Pepper, look. Oh my goodness. At least I think that's something. It is something. It should be something. It looks like something. Yeah, there we go, it is item. something. Oh my god. Alright, now we can go upstairs again. I had to do a little bit of exploration, guys, to find something. Oh my god. So, what do you think of this so far, generally? Like, it's, it's such a strange game. Um... Sorry. Like, I, I don't really know what to make of it. Usually I'm like, I have really strong opinions on stuff, but... Like, if I don't anything hate... anything happens, there's nobody to save you. Well, that's yeah, just rude. No. Oh, no. Oh, actually, hang on. Can I go across that pit? Or is it, like, going to be the crumbly floor shit? Hmm. So uh, we can't get across there yeah, at all. Yeah, I don't think you can get across. Unless there's a jump button that we don't know about. Nah, there's not. My character doesn't believe Better in jumping, be baby. Lots of scary things lie ahead. You might never leave again. Are you sure you want to go <laughs> on? I guess we can't use the elevator. We don't know how. Uh, I know what to check, actually. I'm going to check something quickly. Okay, Bubba and Oh, my goodness. I don't trust this. By the way, is this the same girl? She seems to be a bit creepier here. You know what I mean? I, like, no, no, no. It's not the same girl. Okay. He... Uh, the guy said... Uh, what was his name? Crow said that he didn't know a white-haired girl, <laughs> but he did know another girl. This is a new laugh. This is a new ghost or whatever the this fuck it is. This is not laughing. This is crying. Oh, it has an eyeball on its back. Oh, now shit. it's laughing. Do I need to keep dodging? Oh, can I only hit it when the eyeball's open? Yes. Oh, this is bum. I will say it's very hard to tell the distance between you and an enemy usually at this. Okay, which is quite weak. Yes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Any items in here? Like, why would they give us a new room with a new enemy, but no items? Because they're bumpkins? I mean, they are. Like, a lot of the time I feel like uh, a, a lot of the stuff that you get in this is completely RNG. Mm. Like, I don't think there's often set locations for set things, unfortunately. Cut back? Yeah. Where the fuck am I now, guys? We're... I don't like the sounds up here either, I will say. Oh, it's just you. Oh, hey, y'all. Just a really friendly puppy, yeah. And we leveled up, oh my god. Oh my goodness. And we got a mystery item, a weird shaped one as well. See? You you yell at me, but... Leave now. Oh, hey, y'all. We already knew that, though. <laughs> Some delicious sauce of the voice. There's a bonfire here. I guess we can identify all the Man, shit we found so far. I'm getting sleepy. You were sleepy all the time, main character, like genuinely. Nice surprise. Galena. Strange blue drink. Okay. I thought it was something else. Uh, and a me memory. Iced tea on a hot day. Warm cocoa for a chilly night. You always knew just what to get me. If you could pour a cup of my feelings. Would you bring them to where I desire? If you could, then a drop would be enough. Bring me all my feelings for you. Fill it right up, right to the brim. Just be careful not to spill any on the way. What the fuck did that even mean? Nothing. Another memory, though. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where are you going? Shh. I'm sure you come from some place I don't know. Going someplace I can't follow. When I was 12, I came down with a terrible fever that attacked my nervous system. I survived somehow, but lost the use of my legs. Before I was paralyzed, I'd always dreamed of becoming a prima ballerina. I love dancing before an audience, 
and basking in their praise. My parents would tell me my smile lit up the room, kindling the fire of pride that burned so bright in my young heart. I can't look back on this time in my life without bringing up Mal. Mal was a neighborhood boy and my best playmate. We shared our dreams, so full of hope for what the future held. Mal aspired to become a botanist. Do you know what genes are? They're what determine the color of flowers in the nucleus of their cells. I'm going to study genetics and engineer a flower with a color like the world's never seen before. I drew a picture that combined both of our dreams. It showed me as a beautiful woman dancing in the middle of a field of mouse flowers. His creations looked like bell flowers that were snow white by day and that glowed blue at night. I called them lantern blossoms. When the stars came out, they would light up, making the field a stage all my own. A flower that changes color depending on the time of day? When I tried to show Mel the picture I had drawn, he pursed his lips and gave a slight frown as he thought it over. I admit, it sounds interesting. White by day, blue at night, was it? Maybe for the tiny window of time when the sun's going down, it could burn a dark red. Mal had given a most wonderful addition to my idea. I considered it a present from him to me. I was so happy. My name is Akane, which means dark red in Japanese. Mal was a pushover of a boy. He was the butt of the other kids' jokes and victim to their pranks. They'd toss his glasses in the garbage or hide them in the blackboard erasers. However, I was the only one who'd get furious at them while Mal would rejoice in the fact that they didn't break the lenses. He just wiped them clean and put them back on. The boys would think he was being cheeky and tease him all over again. But Mal refused to ever let them get to him. Mao's head was filled with facts about flowers. So the boys' taunts registered as no more than the meaningless buzz of insects. Meanwhile, I spent all my time worrying about the bullying and helping him find his glasses. We'd eat lunch together and partner up during gym class. Still, over time it became apparent that my attentions meant less and less to Mal. In fact, it was only when he talked about genetics or what determined colors in flowers that he would truly come alive and his eyes would sparkle with excitement. As far as Mal was concerned, I was little more than a mirror for him to talk to about his dreams. That's kind of sad. Yeah. I don't really understand the relevance of that or it's just a story, you know, but... Well, it said torn note run, right? So there must be a second part. Oh, yeah. I don't know if we'll find the second part. No, considering but... how difficult this game is to navigate, I'm not too optimistic, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> no idea where I'm going now. We're going to go for a little run, though, okay? Yes. Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, they are evil puppies. I know, but I still feel bad because he's a puppy. If only he had a good mommy and daddy. Oh, mommy and mommy. My daddy and daddy. Oh, we're on the roof. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pretzel boost. Pretzel was like, oh my god. Oh no, there's birds out here. I don't really even know how to fight these. There's so many of them. I'm just gonna run. I, I, I would best. just run, yeah. They're pretty persistent, though. Yeah, especially when they knock you off. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Don't remind me about that. <laughs> well, there's a knight in here, so let's grab this. Another large mystery item. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's in here? There might be survivors in the hotel. Okay. Why, because the door's ajar? Like... <laughs> 
have a quick look around out here if there's any other items to grab. I don't think there probably is, but you never know. Mm. You never know, Nonkin, you never know. That's what they said to me. I don't know who they is, but that's what they said. Mm. <laughs> Maybe you're the British Mafia. That is true, I am in the British Mafia. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't stop there. I killed one of them, though. I don't know why you did. Because I'm a nunky and I was like, I've got to protect everyone else from the bumpkin birds. That's what I said in my head. Okay, listen, random girl. Could, could you just come out and we could talk? Instead of letting the bump appears be bump. Just gets worse from here. Turn we can go down there in a minute, but first I'm gonna just go to the fire quickly, okay? Okay. I don't trust it otherwise, you know. I might uh pick a weapon out of the crate as well that we have. So Because this one's gonna break soon probably. I don't really it seems mm. RNG when they break or not, so it's hard to gauge, you know. Mm. Wedding bouquet, another memory? And, uh, uh, do you promise to take her in sickness and in health? Uh, how's the next part go? Oh, come on already. Do it right, Dad. Cut me some slack. I'm not even a priest. I've never done this before. Huh, it's no use. Uh, let's start over from the top. Don't worry about it. How about we make it simpler? This is our ceremony. We'll do it the way we want it. Eh, she's got a point. Ready, Dad? And I promise the Oh, same. shit. Uh, all right, then. I they did their vows. Case, I can kiss the bride, remember? I was going to say that. <laughs> Her smile was so sweet. I found myself grinning back. I never realized how easy smiling could be. The happiness I'm feeling this very moment makes all of tomorrow's fears trivial in comparison. Whatever happens in the future, I'll always have this moment. All I want to do now, from the bottom of my heart, is share this happiness with my son and new daughter. Even if the inevitable end is not that far off. Thanks. Dad. Yes. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Congratulations to both of you. That was quite sweet. The, the the middle monologue was a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, Fancy but it was sweet. You here. A I surprise. say we buy another iron pipe. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. <laughs> I might even buy two. Wait, before we do that, how much? How much is the? Okay. What is the difference in background between a green background and a okay, red? Okay, so the green you swing like I do, no like I do normally. This one jabs. Okay, it's cheaper and does a bit less damage. I think these ones at this point though. So these are jabbing weapons. No, it does more damage, but it's more brittle. It's more brittle. It breaks faster and it does, but it, it does more damage. Okay. And then the blue, I guess, is, is aerial. Ranged. Yeah, which we don't yeah. really need. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just buy another one of these for now. Alright. I might buy two. I tried to buy two, but I ended up just <laughs> buying one somehow. Well, <laughs> that's fine. We have quite a bit of money. And the healing item? Oh, let's have a look. Emergency kit. We could buy one of those and put it in storage at least for now. Yeah. We have some basic healing with us right now. Yeah. But, like, I'm just thinking it's a good investment, considering we're, we're a lot higher level now. Yeah, and considering that he only comes randomly, it seems. Like, literally RNG, because he wasn't at this bonfire before. Mm. Okay, you might as well do a save after you do all this equipping nonsense. I'll just take one of the pipes for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just have one made and one backup. To be fair, I think the things can still damage when they're broken. It's just that they like do. Yes, they do practically less nothing. Yeah, I don't know how much they do, but it didn't do a lot. With I assume that with the pipe, it'll do a bit more, but. Yeah, it's just of like uh, 
you can use it if we have nothing else instead yeah. of immediately throwing away. But I don't think away, you should be but... in that situation, especially if you run into a boss fight or something, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, because I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing still at the moment. Anyway, we're going to head down this long corridor and explore down this way now, okay? Mm -hmm. The enemies respawning is good for leveling, but it's a bad for weapon degradation. Yeah. It just gets worse from here. I'm not always sure if I should grab stuff, but it's good for money, isn't it? No, so. you should always grab stuff because it could either be a memory or it could be money. That's true. Oh, something's happening here. Please, don't go any further. It's really dangerous. Who is that? Where are you? Hmm. Well then, that told me nothing. <laughs> I guess we're going in here? Maybe. Oh, hi. Hi, ghosty. Don't say I didn't warn you. What? Oh, hi. So it's a boss fight. Okay, the last one of these was pretty easy, but that might not always be the case. Okay, it tries to flatten you this one. Do you see that? Yeah. If I do that, it, I should get the upper hand, I think. Just keep running. Yeah. And then it'll do... Like, if I keep running in a circle, it'll spawn, slam down, and then I can hit its button. Yeah, okay, that's working well. Yeah. I really wish I knew how we do the more powerful swings. It says timing, but I don't know how you could be a better timing than you already have. <laughs> but we don't like Spumkin. I know. Is he gonna squash your face, do you think? I mean, not this time, apparently. I did more damage there. If I hit consecutively with timing, it does more damage. Mm. But I have to, like, hit as the thing connects again. I can't just spam. Mm. And sometimes it's really hard to do because it's very unresponsive. Mm. I heard it materialize. What the fuck is that? Well, I wouldn't stand in one place too long. Hello. You're gonna, you're gonna just wibbly wobbly around. That's so rude. Nearly dead, right? Yeah. Yeah. We're the blue, that's the green. It hasn't hit me yet, right? No. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah. Is there more? And we leveled up. I dropped something. It looks like a key. Oh. There's a key here. Got a key to room 301. We're on floor 3 now, so it's on this floor. Mm. I guess the girl's gonna be in there? Was it gonna be the ghost, though? I'm assuming it's the ghost, right? I would assume it's the ghost, but... Who knows? These seem pretty durable, by the way. That lasted that entire fight, and it, we used it a lot before then. It's still not broken yet. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, game. <laughs> you fucking asshole. No, honey, not your briefcase. <laughs> you moved the icon? I know, I'm trying. It's just really <laughs> difficult. I can't tell. I can never tell if you know. Okay. Is this 301? It opened. Maybe. I'd assume so, because it usually says that when you use a key. There we go. I thought I told you not to come in. What is she wearing? She is a surgery patient. Potentially a drug addict that died. I don't get it. Does this mean you're dead? You're an idiot. Ah, uh, give me a break. Why is it that you're able to see me? Hmm. Well, well. I had no idea there was anyone left out there in the world. Persistent little guy, aren't you? Any 
Anyway, listen. My name is Sai, and you are? My name's Seto. Seto, huh? <gasps> Where'd you get that? Well, Grandpa gave it to me. Your grandfather? So he survived? How strange. But I guess if he's already an old man now, a lot of time must have passed. Tell me, how's the old man doing? Still active? <clears throat> he's passed away. Oh. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Don't worry, I was just trying to do you a favor. Your body looks so cold. It's also not decomposed whatsoever. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Sure, shoot. You see, I'm looking for this girl I saw with silver hair. Have you seen her? Don't ask me. You want a girl? Find it for yourself. You're a guy, aren't you? Why are you following me? Can you blame me? I'm bored out of my skull around here. I'd do anything for a good distraction. And besides, I know a lot of stuff. Maybe I could help you. Not to mention, I'm a sucker for cuties. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone into him? I mean, he is kind of the last thing in existence. When you feel you lost away, hold the Wiimote speaker to your ear. She might whisper in your ear a much needed hint to continue. Is she going to be with us for ages? I fucking hope not, but she Probably is. Probably for this section. It seems like you only get companions for sections. Which is kind of... I almost want to say it's bad storytelling, but... I don't know if that's a bit bold of a statement to say. Oh, the frame rate is just tanking here. Oh, yeah. Who the fuck is this? I don't know. We'll see. Stop. I won't let you pass here. Um, I'm looking for somebody. So can't you let me through? No. I don't know you. You're a stranger. I don't trust you. Ugh, oh, what a brat. She won't listen to anything we say. You don't trust me? What can I do to win you over? Hmm. I know. Will you bring me the star? Huh? A star? I think she's talking about the one on the Christmas tree down the at the mall, station the mall. So you want me to bring you that star? Yes. Okay then. Wait right here. Guess what? There's a shortcut to the station mall by taking the roof stairwell. Pretty convenient, huh? Okay, that actually is convenient, because I thought yes. we were going to have to go all the way back to the <laughs> fucking mall, like the route we came in, which is through the fairground and the underground tunnel. I can't tell if her legs are sewed together or if she's just like that because she's a ghost and floating. I don't know. We could ask her. I don't think we can. <laughs> it's weird. Her design is something else. Yeah, but you see what I mean? They're like, the bottom bits are always touching. It, I will say, I will give you that her legs are very... Her whole design is bizarre. I mean, it obviously looks like she was either... I would say plastic surgery, but... It looks like plastic surgery things to me. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm just like... What's with the eye patch, then? I don't know. <laughs> you know? Her surgery is dated 1966. When does this take place? 66. That's what it says on her surgery, the dates, yeah. Would you put the date of the surgery? I... I, I mean, it says like 3-2-1966. Oh, well. That's weird. Um... Yeah, it is weird. I guess... Eh, I never really thought about it, but I guess plastic surgery must have been around for like years and years and years and years. I always think of it as a kind of a new thing. Yeah, so it does look like plastic surgery to me, but 
it, it doesn't look like she died in a plastic surgery, so I don't know why she would be covered in that, if that makes sense. Okay, well, hang on. Some of bad's in here. I don't know what it is. But maybe it's just like, you know, oh, I was really into it when I was alive, and that's why I have it on my body when I'm dead. What is that noise? Oh, it's okay. Fuck. It's just arms. I like how she fucking pieces out when there's enemies. Yeah, like, it's, like, it's like, you're dead! You should be here. <laughs> oh, I think you're getting the hang of it. I saw it go orange for a second. Yeah, I mean, I'm not getting the hang of it, but I did trigger it. <laughs> Just checking these like, these doors out for uh That's fine. for items and stuff. Yeah. Okay. See, that's what I mean. Like, her lo it looks like a fin, almost. <laughs> it might just be the design. It might just be the design. But it's just bothering me. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna say, she just took a jab at me. I've got another iron pipe. Yay! I mean, that's nice for free, actually. Let's kill her for experience. She's got three weapons, yeah. You have to wait till her eyes open and don't get hit in the face with her spikes, which you just did. That's so rude. Oh, this one's stronger. No. So rude. <laughs> You're right, though. She does fuck off. <laughs> she's. She's so rude. I don't think that does damage it. By the way, I looked up. If swinging it damages it, it's just sometimes really delayed okay. from a fight, apparently. That's fine. That door's broken. Let's keep going down. This should take us back to the mall, this route here. I really hope so, anyway. Because we need to get the star from the Christmas tree, baby, to impress a child. We're trustworthy if we get if we steal something. <laughs> if we steal something from them. I mean, I mean, it's not. Is is it stealing if nobody owns it? I mean, ghosts are a thing. Maybe they own it. That's true. That's true. Look for the star. I know where it is. It's in a storage room we've already been in. We need to head backtrack across the mall. Problem is, I have no idea where we are right now, so, you know. Can you access a map? I can't remember. Um, maybe is the answer to that. Map. Oh, wow. What the fuck is with this? Where am I? Uh... Huh. That is an excellent question. That's the fun park. That's not where we want to be. That's where- that's not where we- we didn't come in from there, I don't think. Uh... <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Um, okay, hotel is that way. So we're down here in a new area, I guess. We need to get to the north one. So I'll just keep heading north, I guess. Oh, she's with us still, by the way. I guess she'll stay for this chapter? Yeah. Whew! That could have been really bad. Yeah. Because the damage those things put out is nuts. Oh, this is, I think this is, might be near where we need to be, but let's just save here anyway, it's been a while. Yeah. We mm, can sort out our inventory too. So cozy. Oh, she joins us here. Hey, is this? We've got money, excellent. Torn picture four. Oh wow, we're missing a lot. When I finally spoke to Mal again... Well, this is going to be a bit of fractured story, guys. high school graduation. I heard from our homeroom teacher that Mal was going to college in some far-off city. It was a college where he could really pursue his study of botany. I didn't want to leave things as they were. After the ceremony, I searched the school and found Mal by the school garden. We have no idea of the context there at all. I'm guessing they had some sort of following out. Yeah. It had been so long since I saw him up close, and he was a lot taller than I remembered. 
His long, slender fingers were black with earth, and his hands looked weathered. The strap of his canvas shoulder bag had been loosened to its maximum to let his bag fall to his hips. Somehow, that was enough to make my heart race. Oh, she's got it bad. All I had to do was talk like we used to, but my mind suddenly went blank. What did I sound like when we used to talk? Was my voice high? Low? How did I choose my words? Was I curt with him? Cute? What was my timing when I smiled or got angry? I had no idea what to say. The graduates and students were laughing and crying together. They called out to each other. Their incessant flow of words echoed through the school halls and reverberated around us. We'll always be friends. Take care. Good luck. Goodbye. Come back to visit. I listened closely to borrow some of their words, but none of them were what I wanted to say. Mal, come down here. That was all I could finally manage to say. After a quick look of confusion, Mal kneeled before me, eyes on mine. There was that familiar scent, the smell of damp earth. Mal always smelled of earth. Long ago, I used to love napping beside him as he read. It felt like I was lying in the middle of a grassy field. I finally felt like I was with my old Mal and was able to speak naturally. How's your research for the lantern blossoms going? Actually, my college has fully equipped labs, so I think I'll finally be able to make some sort of progress. Genetic engineering is still a tricky field, so I probably won't be successful right away. I have a million and one things I want to test out, so I highly doubt that four years will be enough time. Once given the chance, Mao's eyes glistened, and he rattled on like the old days. His voice was lower than I remembered. He was intense and full of confidence, but there was still a bit of that old, delicate Mao in him, too. My heart was filled with so many feelings. I thought I'd burst into tears. I hadn't even cried during the ceremony. How had I survived being apart from Mao all these years? How could I stand not hearing him? How could I breathe without taking in his scent? Why hadn't I tried to patch things up sooner? And now, Mao was going far away. I would never be able to follow him with my legs. Mao was like a towering tree beside me. He offered me cozy shade, quenched my thirst with <clears throat> dew, gave me fresh oxygen to breathe. He was a gentle, peaceful tree. Mal, we'll always be friends, right? Yeah. Take care where you're going. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Goodbye. And come and visit me sometime. Yeah. I'm still studying photography, and I've even landed some gigs. I click the shutter, blown away by the force and breath and energy of the athletes. As a hobby, I've begun shooting trees and flowers, too. Whenever I capture the workings of life that flowers give off so powerfully, and yet can be so easy to miss if you're not careful, I swear I can smell Mal beside me. Though the year of his graduation came, Mao did not. Rumor had it, he was staying late at the lab. He was so preoccupied, he'd probably forgotten all about me. I knew deep down in my heart, he never had any intention of keeping his promise to see me again. By that point, he and I had already started to make our way down our own separate paths. I had left my tree called Mal, and was already breathing on my own. I'd come to the realization that our dreams no longer fit on a one-page drawing the way they used to. Where did you come from? Where are you going? I'm sure you come from some place I don't know. Going someplace I can't follow. If during your journey, you happen to encounter a lantern blossom, 
I want you to take a moment. Stop and think about the botanist who created it. I'm sure it will have been a young man named Mao. I believe that someday he'll become the most amazing botanist ever. Okay. Okay, how do I crawl? Fuck. See. You figured it out. Oh, there's an item here. I know where we're, I, I do actually know where I'm going for once now, by the way, I think. Oh, this is it! Um, star. Star. Where could it be? I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. It looks like only the star is missing. Hey, what's that? It's a new type of flashlight. You got a special flashlight. Huh? Oh. It looks like a flashlight. That's weird. It makes everything green. Hey now, I think you just hit the jackpot. That flashlight reveals things you can't typically see. Huh? How's it do that? Well, it's because... Actually, it's a hassle to explain. Oh, don't give me that look. Just be happy you can see stuff, okay? If you think I'm gonna explain every little thing, think again. I'm no teacher. Huh? But... Okay. Okay. Find the star thief. Tutorial start. The green flashlight, this flashlight gives you reveal mysterious things not visible to the naked eye. Try shining a special flashlight on it. I guess it auto-equips this one. Oh, right there. I mean, it's in Japanese. I found it. So sparkly and pretty, it's all mine. Well, oh, someone took it, obviously. Yes. Some asshole. All it does is reveal writing, it seems. Yeah. Oh, and an item here. Up ahead, you'll find nothing. I mean, that's not true, because I do know where we're going. <laughs> I'm not going to bother saving here. We're going to keep going, all right? Ah, uh, that's pretty. It's mine. I'll never let it go. Yeah, those are the drawings, so it's near here. It's in one of these side rooms or in this corridor I think we need to head to. Couldn't tell you which one, because there's like a billion of them. But um... set. Oh. That's not disturbing at all. Oh, ghost pigeons! No use searching here. I'm gonna try this room anyway. Nope, apparently it wasn't a lie. Remember the ghost pigeons! I know. So it was down this side path I hear, I think. The room in question. This is where we spent ages playing with the cats, by the way. This is literally in this corridor. Or trying to. Or trying to, yeah. I think it's this one. You missed the, the text on the wall. Well, this could be bad. Like, genuinely really bad. Oh, don't be above it, you're fine. There's three of them! Well, I didn't know there was three. But still. I think these are the ones that have the star, by the way. All of you could just, like, open your eyes. I'm doing my best to dodge here as well at the same time as everything else. Oh, that's new! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. These are a lot stronger than the previous ones. They're just like a mini boss. Too bad at all, was it in the end? Yeah, no. Yeah, get wrecked. Got an emergency kit. That took up a load of room. They dropped something. They dropped the star! Yay! 
Now we have to go back to the hotel! <laughs> yay! It's not that yay. <laughs> I found it. This must be the star she wanted. Do we have enough room for it? Yes. Yes. What's she want this for anyway? I just don't get what's going on in that little girl's head. And for being so young, she sure is acting like an old hag, if you ask me. I thought all girls liked shiny things. Well, they don't do it for me. Rather than having some things, it's more important to have somebody. Mm -hmm. What are you staring at? <laughs> we got the start. Now let's head back. I feel like under threat the entire <laughs> time. <laughs> Bring the star to the hotel. I want to okay. see what the text is, and there's also a thing here. I mean, it, that's a lie. <laughs> it's just a massive fucking lie. Did we pick up the item? Yeah, we did. Yeah. I don't know why sometimes you get an alert and then sometimes you don't. If it's a if it's an item you've already counted, it'll be like it'll be. Uh, it's not a mystery item, so just closing your inventory. Mm. Somebody's always chasing after me. Help! Well, that's depressing. <laughs> that is very <laughs> depressing, actually. All right, we've got a long run back, guys, but we'll see you at the hotel. <laughs> at least I thought she was down here. I brought you the star. See? How do I hold it? <laughs> I'm not real. Liar. You couldn't get it. It's too high up to reach. There's no way you could have gotten it. I'm You're literally right. holding it in I my hand. I was with him when he got it. Yeah. It wasn't at the top of the tree. You stubborn little brat. Believe what people say for once. You're so rude. What else? What else can I oh, do? Don't give her another option. Your trust. Hmm. The moon. Can you bring me the moon? What? Now you want the moon? Fine. One moon coming right up. Good. I've seen it in the park lots of times. Are you fucking kidding me? Why are we enabling this brat? I guess uh, we need to get in the room, but... Well, we'll be right back! I think this is the moon she wanted. Yeah, but look at it. It's cemented to this sign. There's no way we can get it off. But we finally found it. There's no point trying to pull it off. He's gonna pull it off in two seconds. I did it. It came right off. We got the moon. <laughs> Literally got the moon. Huh. The sign must have been rotten. Well, good for you. All right, back we go. <laughs> Do you want to continue your thoughts, sorry? Um, well, no, I guess that's the, that's the thought. I just wish there was... I guess the problem is I'm too much of a whore for storytelling. I like flavor text. I like knowing the little intricate details of things. Um, I do think that, you know, certain interactions can get annoying, but if you do it well, it makes your world feel more alive. And I get that this is a dead world, but you can still feel alive because at least I am alive as the main character. And if you really want me to have a sense of solitude, then don't give me a companion. I know the companion is a ghost and therefore dead and, you know, whatever, but just don't give me one. The ghost with the most. Am I making sense? No, it makes perfect sense. I, I totally understand what you're saying. Like, if you want solitude, give you solitude. If you want to give, like, a little thread of, like, life in a, in a dead world, then give me that. But you're giving me nothing. <laughs> the game, the game uh, is very oddly balanced in the way it does things. Like, you'll have these cutscenes with uh, excessive amounts of repetitive dialogue. Yeah. And then you'll have moments where you're walking around with no dialogue and nothing really going on. Yeah, like the first hour it was like every five seconds there was a cutscene uh, of like two sentences and now it's like so much running around with nothing. I mean look at the amount of t time I've been talking right now. <laughs> you know? Uh, oh. oh man. And especially envisioning this as a single person playing this game by themselves. It's just... It's just... I don't like it! 
I mean, that's fair. And maybe, maybe this is just a me thing. I, I understand maybe this is a me thing wanting too much. I, I get it. But I would just find it kind of boring. Because it's not even like there's much in the world to engage me. It's a dead world. And it's not even like a situation of like journey where well actually no in journey you can see other people but you can't interact with them but you could like go on a journey together if you really wanted to i don't know i really like journey by the way journey was really fun and that's a perfect e example of like a, a sort of almost kind of post-apocalyptic world or a weird other world type thing where I, I there's no like dialogue and yet it feels great that's true. It's good about to cut into a cutscene here, so I just thought I'd let you know. Okay. Here is... Hopefully this will be enough for the girl. Probably not, but we'll see. So, this is the moon, right? No, you're a liar. There's no way you could have gotten it off. It was cemented to a wall. Yeah, well, the wall gave away easily. I didn't think it would work at first either. Okay, I listen. Had to touch it for it to come right don't, off. Don't, don't, don't continue it. I'm not. Okay, listen. Right, bitch, you've been dead for a very fucking long time. I'm not sure if you realize this floating with four fucking duplicates of yourself, like paper, fucking mache, whatever. But everything you've sent me towards is not in the place that you last saw it. Period. So why don't you stop being a little but fucking brat and stop trying to send me on errands that you think I won't be able to complete? Just stop it. It's very rude. Okay, now you can continue the conversation. I don't believe you. Oh, come on. What do I have to do for you to believe me? Oh, please. Don't even waste your breath. She won't believe you no matter what you do. Well... My ring. Could you get back the ring I lost? She'll just pull this all over again. Let's forget about it. Uh, what? You want me to find it? Um. Uh huh. What's it look like? Well, it's so. Oh, is this the woman that got married? Heart shaped. Maybe. Do you remember where you left? She looks like just five, but you know what I mean. was in the hotel restaurant. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, okay. A silver ring, huh? I've got a feeling this is going to be the toughest hunt yet. I think she's the woman that got married in those nights. That's why she's wearing a kimono. But she's a kid. I don't know if she is a kid. It's anime, okay? <laughs> it could be 500 for all I fucking know. I think it's just a little kid wanting their heart shaped ring back. They did call her a brat, so possibly, yeah. Uh... Although, she did say even though she looks young, she's acting like an old hag. So maybe it's a situation of like, well, like the reason that maybe she is covered in plastic surgery markings, but she doesn't look like she died in a plastic surgery thing. It's just, that was a significant, is that a tree monster? It's a boss, yeah. Ooh. It's the that boss of the hotel. Tree is moving. How weird. What an understatement. Huh. I wish weird was all it was. That thing's evil to the core. Evil? Should have brought a heel with me. Watch out. It spotted us. All right. I mean, we weren't really making any attempt to hide. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, hey, if the worst thing you're gonna do is okay, oh, that's never bad. Mind. That hit a really hard. I was about to say, like, if that's if blowing me back. Oh the my god, thing this is gonna, gonna really suck, isn't it? We, if we die on this, it might be worth uh, getting either a ranged weapon or the jabby one. I guess we'll see. I will say the walkthrough that I'm definitely not using says you should use the weapon I'm using for this fight. But I mean. It's been wrong in several instances. That is true. <laughs> okay, we seem to have got a bit of a pattern down now. If I can actually get back in time before it does a second blow is the problem. Oh 
Okay, it's half dead, right? Hello there, buds. I'm a genius. Okay. This is going alright, actually. Yeah. I mean, if we got hit with the hand, it would be bad, but you seem to be getting it. Just got the pattern down. Okay, yeah, we got this. I've got I do have some heals on me, by the way. Yeah, I know. I have the little the little sweets. Next round, I think we got it. Yep. That was close. That was uh, close. Yeah, we did it. We hit your jelly face face. I meant to say jellyfish, but I just said face Phew. twice. I guess that took care of it. I gotta say, for being such a pretty boy, you're kind of tough. <laughs> I guess being on my own has made me that way. Hey, what's that? It's glowing. What is it? It's the ring, obviously. <laughs> is it her silver ring? Let's go back and see what she says. Then again... She'll probably just call you a liar. Yeah, she probably will. She sounds like a bumpkin, really, yeah. I think, this girl. I got the silver ring. Let's go. Doesn't look particularly heart-shaped. Listen, they had that, that, that... This is a, a small indie game. They couldn't have possibly coded in the shape of the ring. Like Let me get all. this straight. They could give you a weird fucking red backpack on your front chest. So a chest pack. But, but, they not <laughs> but not a ring. But not a ring. I mean, I, this is Bandai Namco. It's actually quite a big company. I'm just being stupid. Here. We found your ring. Why did you believe what I told you? Why not? I didn't think you'd lie to me. But why? Because I wanted to trust you. Um, does that sound weird? It's a little strange, but it's not a bad thing. You wanted to believe me? <laughs> that sounds like something he'd say. My name is Chio. Please, come in. Thanks. Death pit. <laughs> oh yeah, old lady. <laughs> you found my ring for me. That was so sweet of you. Who's that? That there's the girl. Mm, actually, that's not quite right. We're seeing her true physical form. Thank you. Oh. Thank you so much. The day will come when your journey will end as well. Your greatest adventure will be over. And you will make your way home. However, your journey will not be complete. The days will still go on for you. One after another they will pass, until you've had enough of the monotony. No new discoveries will await you. You'll watch the sun rise and set. That's all your days will have to offer. That's the moment when you'll realize the truth. The sunbeams, the wind rolling over tall grass. The idle chit-chat with friends. These were the gems of your life. Then your heart will be carried off by the gentle, caressing breeze. And it will sparkle like a jewel. Fade. And grow cold. Seeing this ring again, it brings back such a flood of memories for me. 
I see his smiling face that I loved so much. I see his fingers, long and rough yet beautiful at the same time. Oh, how I missed this ring. I missed it so much. And yes, I know, I don't have much time left. But for you, I'm sure there are many tomorrows still waiting. So, you must go on your way. You must live. Live. Live your life. Until you breathe your last breath. Live life to the fullest. That... Over there... What is it? Something on the nightstand? This brooch was fashioned after my hair clips. I don't have anything of practical use to give. But I do hope you'll take this along with you. Mm. It's beautiful. Of course I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear. For returning my ring to me. And also, thank you for believing what I told you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Let's go. There's nothing we can do. We can't leave her like this. There's no saving her anymore. Besides, you have to go out and meet your own tomorrows. Don't you remember? That's quite poignant. Uh, but okay, yeah, but is she still breathing or not? <laughs> I don't really know. I'm a bit weirded out by the whole situation. So I'm, I'm choosing to ignore that part. In the eyes of an old man lives a rascal of a boy. Behind sunken, mistrusting eyes lies a frightened little girl. During the many years of life, we feel anger. Bitterness and fear. And yet, even when betrayed, part of us wants to trust again. Just as we believe in ourselves, we want to believe in others. No matter who takes the first step, I will believe in them. And I believe that they will make the choice to believe in me too. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you something. Huh? What is it? After you find that girl you're looking for, what's your plan? I don't know. I haven't decided. I mean, I guess it's like this. See how big and white the moon is? It's so beautiful. But no matter how beautiful I might think it is, if there's nobody I can tell that to, that feeling will end up vanishing inside me, like a bubble bursting. And I won't even know for certain if I actually thought it in the first place. That's the reason why I need someone to talk to. Someone who'll be there to listen. To hear what I have to say. They don't even have to respond, really. Just a simple yeah now and then would be fine by me. I just want someone to be with. Hmm. How interesting.
interesting. You really can say the most ridiculous things. <laughs> but that's part of what makes you so cute. Run. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> to see a cat here. I wonder where he's headed. Follow the cat. I swear her legs are sewed together or something. <laughs> it's just so weird! It is pretty weird. We already read that one. Oh, not on camera though, I just realized. <laughs> well, never mind! Follow the cat. This one we haven't read, what does it say? What is that thing? Oh, are we gonna run into something, Bum? I don't know. But what is this? What, what is my thing freaking out over? Oh, the door. The camera's really having problems here, okay? Yeah, the camera's not having a very good time. I also find it kind of rude that he's like, I just want to be with someone and it's just like... You've had so many people you've talked to during this entire trip, and you've just this, wanted- You just dismiss- they're just yeah. obsessed with the white Yeah! Girl. You just dismiss them! You're like, I just want someone to talk to. They don't have to respond, just say yeah, and you're literally speaking to someone who is like- I know she's dead, but she's like following you. And she likes you. <laughs> but you're like, no, I need to have the white-haired chick. What's it saying? Maybe there's something inside. Figures. It's probably looking for dinner. That girl. She was here. Look. You can make out these scribbles? <laughs> Talk about obsessed. She might be down there. We have to go in. Whoa! Not so fast! You don't even know what's down there. Oh, what's the point? I can't stop you. Just be careful, okay? I will. <laughs> oh, what's so funny? Nothing. I'm just happy. That's all. Don't go getting ideas in your head. I'm only coming along out of curiosity. How far could she go from her body? Indefinitely? I don't know. Oh, we're going down anyway. Look for the silver-haired girl again. <laughs> How do I... Okay, I need to go down this fucking manhole. Backflip? <laughs> there we go. I had to get the right angle. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be a sewer level. I love sewer levels, baby. All I right. don't know why they always portray sewer levels like, Oh yeah, it's nothing. We can totally be down here uh, and not choke to I death on the to fucking noxious myself? fumes of raw sewage. I'm going to buy another pipe here because there's been a lot of combat coming up. Like, yes, I understand that services. plumbers and stuff are a thing, but, you know, the, the, you get accustomed to it. And, and I'm pretty sure even then it's just like... Bleh. Hmm, don't like the sound of that. I think I'll stick with the pipe for now, okay? Oh, and that's the pole. Oh, wait, there's no more pipes. Golf club is the nearest to it. Well, look at the info. Okay, plus 50. So it's better than the one we have. Yeah. I'll buy one as a backup. Because they're expensive. Oh, wow. They're yeah. really expensive. Holy crap. Yeah. I think we're fine for everything else right now. I shall see you again. I'll make. I'm gonna put it in my inventory and see what. See how. Just what I find out. It's like seven squares. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. None did I, unfortunately. The reason I'm doing this is I know there's a lot of combat coming. And oh okay, good. It, it's break. still. It's still only two. All right, the star can go. And the moon can go. And the other flashlight for now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess. Because the other one's fine for seeing too. It's just mm. green. Okay. There we go. All nice and neat and tidy. Oh my god. I'll save and then continue if that's alright with you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to save a bit less because they take so long. 
but you know. Okay, we have a little passageway to explore. Let's go. Oh my god, baby. It is a sewer, isn't it? I mean, we're not walking in the sewer, thankfully. Like, uh, we're yeah, right. sewage. That's true. Oh, it no. looks like service tunnels more than anything else. No, you're probably right. You're right. I think it's service tunnels is a better way to describe this. I can't see any bumpkins yet. I heard one, but it didn't but see But there any. are some games where you're literally walking in the sewage and you're like, oh yeah, this is fine. And it's like, come on, I, I think most people would at least vomit. I want to get three hits, because that used to kill them. Come on, come on! I want experience, so I'm trying to, like... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the range in this is so annoying. <laughs> Lower? Come on, there you go. That didn't kill you? That's bullshit. You bitch. It looks like you've hit her twice, but only registered one, I think. Yeah. Come on, lower yourself normally. No! Bumpkin! <laughs> oh my god! Wow, this one's strong. I better get good experience from this. Oh, you know why? It's because the first one didn't count because of the eyes was closed. You need to wait till the eye is open. If she ever opens her eyes again, the way this is going. I guess I should check for items, right? Yep. Yep. Uh, it's just an emergency kit, but still. Oh, it could be uh, actually a uh, money item. Yeah. Which we do need, because the golf club is expensive. Yeah. And that's like, they don't sell the cheap ones anymore now either, he doesn't. Yeah. I guess it changes depending on how far in the game you are. Which like, makes- Oh! Da, da, da. No! Back, back! 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 To the side! No! No! Stop! Whoa! <laughs> There's something lurking in there. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna fight another one of these. I don't think it's worth the time investment. Sure. If there's a new enemy or something interesting up here, sure, but these I'm not going to bother with. This is a long fucking corridor, by the way. Like, holy it's shit. It's a very long corridor. I'm kind of glad the girl's coming with us a bit. I know she doesn't talk, but like, at least it means we'll have company in cutscenes, at least. Yeah. I just I just wish there was more interaction outside of the cutscenes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree with you. If we hear a different sound with an enemy, I'll check it out. You know what I mean? If we hear a different, like, moan. No, I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean. No. I think I can see a bonfire, but it's all the way down there. You see what I mean? Front right, there's like a sparkle. Yeah, I see it. Well, it could just be an item, actually. Oh, what's no, that? No, it's, it's a bonfire. No, stop! Oh Look at the side! No, stop, stop, stop! Oh my god! I just want to see what the picture is! Oh, this? Yes! I'm not really sure. Is that something getting ripped out of someone? It looks a bit like that. I'm not entirely sure though. That was a bit <laughs> weird. I guess we should save her. I hope I'm not getting sick. This is where we find out this is all a dream. Hmm. Yeah, it was just money. I mean, that's good. I mean, yeah, it is good. I'm just saying. I think we must be halfway down this passage at this point. So there's more to come. You know something I just found out, by the way? What? Reading ahead a little bit. We're gonna have to, uh... Oh god, which way's the way? Okay, this way, because the drawing... Hang on. <laughs> my hat's falling over my eyes. <laughs> oh my god, we dead. No, okay, I guess not. <laughs> nope. Oh, I hate playing games with you. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I didn't hear you. Sorry, I'm, my hat's falling down. I'm a bit, I'm a, I'm a bit distracted. <laughs> I'm wearing a hat to keep warm, everyone, and I was distracted because it was falling down, okay? Alright, ghost pigeons. Don't care about those either. 
This is really long. Yep. There's a lot of pigeons. We'll be back if something interesting or a cutscene happens. It's a robot! Oh my! Hello! Oh my god! Uh, I don't know why you stopped. I was trying to strike the control of that chain. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, the controls are so garbage sometimes. This has a lot of health. I mean, it is made of metal, I guess. Yeah. I cannot strafe around this with the controls. They're just fucked. I don't know why you're trying to. Don't strafe, just run. <laughs> I did it. Oh my god. Well, uh. I mean, that's putting it lightly. Well, we got kind of fucked there. I hope this is the way forward, by the way. You might want to eat one of your health items. Yeah, I think I will. I wish I should change the equipment as well. No, no, we've discussed this every time. Every time we've discussed this, this well, now you I, do I, I was just doing this, definitely. I wasn't trying to use the item, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's definitely what you were trying to do. <laughs> I've got, and every time I go through the, the rigmarole of pressing like 70 buttons till I get the right one, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's not a lot, is it? I mean, we're half health now. Oh, there's the exit, I think. Yay! Oh, well, I'm trying to read it for chrisms. Oh, fine. Well, I mean, you didn't before, so why start now? I was trying to, I didn't notice it before. Going counterclockwise. What does that mean? Oh. Lovely. Please watch your step and die. <laughs> Very conflicting, uh, uh, you know. Very conflicting what? Messages. There we go. <laughs> the We're going very deep here. Hopefully the elevator is not in working condition. If it is, we're dead. Yep. But I guess death doesn't really seem to be the whole, you know, the, uh, the uh, stumbling block that it used to be in this world. You know. Doesn't screw your career up like it used to. Like, she's having a, a great career as an anime character. And she's dead. So, you know. And the guy at the fun fair was able to be, a be dead or not real. And also do that. I think he's a science experiment. That's the vibe I got with the doctor picture and his weird eyes. Yeah, I don't know why he looked like a mannequin at one point, but I don't even know if it was he was meant to or it was just the way the camera was. I couldn't tell. I think you were imposing, like, your own views of mannequinism. Mannequinism? Yes. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's just something to talk about during this really <laughs> long fucking travel down. <laughs> this is unnecessarily long! Oh I, my god! I think I did read, theoretically... Um, I'm not sure how true it is, but evidently this thing is like architecturally to scale or something like that. So that's why it takes so long to get anywhere because they tried to match it to be actually like as big as a mall would be, for instance. That's fucking awful. But I don't know if that's true. That's just what I saw on some of the like review type stuff. It's a dead end. I mean, it is. I don't like the look of this room, by the way. Oh, there's the thing. There's an item. I listened. Eventually. <laughs> there's a cat there. This, this is big. This looks like a train station more yeah. than a, more than a sewer. Very strange area. Are we in the subway yeah. again? Maybe, but I think a different sleepy. part of it for sure, right? Eh? Must be. Mm, I see. Oh, we've got a memory. Seven coloured bells. 
I looked upon those seven girls, no longer breathing. I recalled the word deathbed. In that bright white alley, they lay there lifeless. I didn't think to explore the cause behind it. Death cannot be overturned or reversed. It stays right where it is. It doesn't go anywhere. The only reason I spilled tears was because of the wretched shape I was in. I had no memory of being loved, especially not at first glance. The day they were welcomed into their homes, they were given heirloom bells. It proved that they were loved, like family. In all my days, I'd never been given a bell, and yet here I was, alive, while these girls, who were supposedly loved unconditionally, were dead. It might have been poison, perhaps even disease. Maybe I too would be whisked off by the cold wind of death. Either way, I was alive. A part of my heart scoffed. Serves you right. Just look at the evidence. You ridiculed me, and I survived. You paid the price of cruelty with your lives. Behold, I'm alive. But no matter how much I yelled, none of them opened their eyes, and my tears didn't stop. As I picked up one bell after another off the floor, I swore to myself that I wouldn't grieve over them, not after I'd endured such suffering my whole life. I had the right to mock their life and death. The sound of the bells that were not mine echoed in vain through the air, like the tolling bells of a funeral. Okay. That was something. <laughs> Ah, we meet again. Tis such a wonderful day. <laughs> well then, this is goodbye. Is it ever a wonderful day in this one? I'm gonna go down the right hand pipe first this time, okay? Watch, we go through the entire game and we'll get a bunch of comments. You can switch the items around. <laughs> I guess it's entirely possible, right? Is this where I came in? I can't tell. Oh my god. I'll do another cut back once we actually do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm a bit lost at the moment, sorry. It's okay. Yeah, that tunnel I went down is the way we need to go to progress. But I want to explore first and get some items, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, spiders, let's test this out. We got, we got the, we got the pokey thing and we tested it out and it looks like the pokey thing is good we got a free pull. Yeah, okay, the pokey thing looks like three hits to kill the spiders, which is probably really good. Good. Alright, we're gonna explore the rest of this area and see what we can find. And hopefully there's non things, not just spiders. I didn't ex- I'm not gonna lie, like, so far the monsters have been like, s ghosts and, and things that I would expect to see. I guess the fire dog is a mutant, but I guess mutants are gonna be more of a thing now. I mean, are those ghosts? I just have figured that they were, like, resentful ghosts, just like the jellyfish and the ladies and that stuff. Uh, maybe. The fact that these- okay, what were you going aiming at? I mean, I don't care, that's good that you Like, missed, they but... have a helmet, and their sign- I can't read their sign, but it has a big no sign through it. I bet they were old workers here in the plant, maybe. Like, maybe they were on strike? Yeah, maybe. This is the- the bullshit is the teleportation, because it's really hard to avoid these when you're running at them. Mm -hmm. There we go. Definitely need to do that. Oh, we leveled up. That's good. Yay! Should do even more damage then at that point. Don't know what's up here, but we'll check out the stairs in these areas, I guess. 
We definitely need to level up a bit here, I think, because that they they kicked our ass like really easy, you know. No, I don't know what you mean. No idea. No idea. I have no idea where we're going here. I don't know if these connect up with the other areas or not. But they might do. Got another drawing there. Papilla! Oh, oh my god, it has such a blue face! It's very cute. Our Papilla is in best boofy. She had a trim after yes. being very overgrown <laughs> for a very long time. Oh, hi. Uh, that's not scary at all. leave her, okay? I don't like fighting these, I think they're kind of a waste of time. Mm. It takes so long to like actually kill them. I mean, maybe not with your pokey stick. That's true. But, you know. I don't like them is what I'm saying, baby, okay? I'm gonna be I judgmental. I just don't like grinding. I don't like grinding? I mean, I don't like, I mean, I'm gonna say, like, crying isn't exactly the most pleasant tone to the ears. I will say, I will give you that, yes. No, grinding! Oh, grinding. <laughs> I just want to kill that one. I can't tell. I think so. Yeah. It looks so grumpy. Remember you have a, a circle thingy on this. I don't remember how you do it. Yeah, I know what you mean, the special attack. Mm. Any actual items in here, or is it Yes! Just... I might as my inventory. Oh! You bitch. You absolute bitch. Oh, you... Ah! <laughs> that was bullshit. It, the other one absorbed the impact? Alright, I'm gonna heal. Because I can't risk dying again. No. Oh my god, why is it so shit, the controls? Why do I have a separate menu to use shit when I have an inventory? What's the fucking point? I love you, baby. <laughs> don't, don't act like this is my fault. It's not your fault. <laughs> I'm just generally really pissed off about the whole situation. Okay, I'm gonna kill these fucks after this. They started this. This is a war, okay? Mm-hmm. Please go down. Please go down, the one over there. Nope, they're both gonna go for a fight. The frame rate is absolutely fucked at the moment, by the way, which makes yeah. it because they're, they're, they're acting so slowly. Come on, one of you go down. Oh my god, give me a fucking break, game. That was lame. Wow, they got so much health. That one's dead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You were too slow. Okay, you see the size of this? No, hold on. It's Look. an L shape. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I could eat that actually, couldn't I? I, that, this actually might work if I pick it up now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. No, it's a, no, yeah, it is an L. I thought it was a U, but we had a, one that we didn't. We should go find a bonfire. We are going to go back to that one in a minute, I think. Oh no. What? I wouldn't stop. <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. Please don't stop. <laughs> I killed them. Listen, Pippi. I don't like how you take your, hand, your life in your hands. I want a bonfire. I think this should go back down to the main hall, but there'll be spiders. I'm gonna heal, okay? Yeah. Because I don't trust the spiders. It's 
Oh man, it's so annoying you can't have access to your rig case. This area is much tougher. I definitely think we should be exploring and leveling up here, but... Okay, that's the best I can do. So, like, we can withstand, like, three fireballs. Okay, we know where we are now. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so we cleared out that one and that one. So we got this one here left. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that would be okay. We have two left. We have two left. Okay. No, one left. <laughs> Whatever. Just, just save. Let's just get to the save and save. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, seven. <laughs> so comfy. If there could just be money or a memory so we can get it out of our thing, that would be great. We've got a mallet. Oh, no. I think that's the mallet. Oh we got, no! We got a memory. Cough. Cough, cough, cough. Stella voice acting. From beyond the tiny window, fitted into the side of the tiny house, a raspy cough could be heard. There was a tiny bed in the room, where a tiny human child's body lay resting. Honey. You know you have to get some sleep. The scolding came from a tall woman who entered the room. She'd come to put out the lantern as she rubbed the boy's back. No. He replied, shaking his head. I'm not sleeping. Henri might come back home. Oh, sweetie. The mother's face was troubled. It was easy to see she knew something. She knew that the Henri the young boy was waiting for was not coming back. Henri's coming back. I know she is. She always comes home. I gave her a red bell. She's my little sister. Ah, so evidently Henri was this little boy's sister. I continued to watch them in silence. Thinking about the boy, I was reminded of Henri who was even tinier than her poor, sickly brother. Once, she came to visit her big brother. He was so pleased and overcome with love for her that he gave her a red bell. Although I was not there, I could picture the scene already. Well, if Henri does come, I'll be sure to wake you. I know the sound of Henri's bell better than anyone. Henri's bell was small and red. But she was no longer with us. Her red bell was only here because it had been stripped from her dead body. As I looked up at the moon, I recalled the words, desecrating the dead. What I was about to do was the epitome of spitting in the eyes of the dead. That was exactly what I was doing. I had already abandoned her corpse, and now, I was adding another sin to my list. But this was my revenge. It was the perfect thing to do. This was my revenge on her for calling me mangy. I called to the boy in a delicate voice. I rang the bell, the sign of his little sister that the boy claimed to know so well. The window opened. Henri? The boy called to me. Yes, it's me, it's me, Henri. He stretched out his arms to embrace me. What happened to you? You're all scruffy, he asked. I looked nothing like the beautiful little girl he knew and sounded nothing like her either. Only the red bell remained the same. My revenge was secure. I'm Henri. Henri, with her red bell. The youngest little sister embraced by her brother's small arms. Is the brother fucking blind? <laughs> Desperate, I think. We have heavy weight weapon we found. I'm gonna put that away for now, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. so I mean, Mangy made it sound like um, it was an animal, but the brother was right? saying that it's his little sister, so I don't know? It's pretty bizarre. It's like, a I bit genuinely weird. Don't know. 
Oh, this goes down as well. Is there any more rooms up here, or is it just going to become... Oh, is there a room in here? Oh, in the memory. There we go. There's drawings all over the floor there, actually. Let's have a quick look. Okay. I want... They better not be the goal we're looking for as memories. That would be, uh, unfortunate. That would be very unfortunate. If this just takes us out the other side, it might. You know what I mean? The, uh, the right-hand door that we saw before. Yeah, it does. Okay, so we can just go up here now and fight the spiders. Is it gonna be like a little girl just serial killing? Because she's like, oh yeah, my revenge is secure, and I have this bell. And all the other bells I stop. took from the, the, the bodies. I, I don't know. This is the, this is the two, two at once. Very hard to dodge, I'm sorry. Is there a, a dodge button? No, there's not. Oh, that was absolute. I don't know how I'm going to get past these two guys at once. Like, Okay, I, I... stop. Heal. Yeah. I mean, even that's not going to help us, I don't think, here. Yeah. I mean, it's going to help us with survivability. Go, 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 go. I feel like I should go and... No, there's no point, right? No. We haven't been up here at all yet, so I don't know what to expect. I think we might need to take some time and grind. Yeah, that, the problem is, like, two hits from those just wreck I you. know, but we can yeah. grind on the jellyfish or something. I mean, that is true. That's a very unfortunate way of phrasing that. Listen! <laughs> it's not my fault you're a dirty old lady! I'm not the one who wants to grind on a jellyfish! Right, yes, you are. If you want to live. <laughs> Okay, what's in here? How many? Oh Two. my god. The frame rate is so bad! Each one takes three hits though. Yeah. She's like a jab at me. <laughs> One down. Yay! Okay, they both died. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, yes! We need that! Yes. Let's use it. Yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna yes. use it. Yes, yes. Okay, thank fuck. But yeah, the tune is really good because it's the same amount for a lot less space. Well, you know, it's only one square less, but that's a lot. <laughs> Probably a story I might just picked up there. Right, that goes back down. Both these right exits but basically go back to the room we were just in with the spiders, which we don't want to be in. Yeah, don't go into spiders until we're higher level, I think. I unfortunately think we may have to kill some coming up. I hope there's more than just there's just one at a time, but I've got a feeling it might be two at once. I guess we'll find out. What's all those circles everywhere? I guess it's to show you the girl's gone this way because she's like likes drawing, doesn't she? Mm. She's doing the thing, the mysterious girl thing. All right, these guys. I say maybe try charging it up so you can get multiples at once. I can't remember how to do that. Oh, there we go. I did it. <laughs> oh, I should use that on the spiders, maybe. Maybe. When there's just one, there's no point. Yeah. I'm gonna kill them all. the last slot we could take. You're right though, we should grind a bit more. Yeah. Like, all of those, I don't think you killed any of them. Like, initially, when no, we were passing through. No, I thought so that through. they did, but they were just getting droopy. Right? Yeah, they were just getting droopy. There we go. There we go. 
We're level 15 now. So no. No idea where I'm going around here, though, so... We could really use a bonfire. Yeah, I like the way there was like a billion early on. And yeah. Now like none. <laughs> I mean, this seems like the way forward, which is probably bad. Everywhere looks the same, baby. Maybe try getting a map. Uh, if I can remember how to do it. Yeah, it's fucking useless. It just says long corridor. Like, where even are we? Well, we have to get to the central part. That's where the campfire is. It looks like the only campfire in this section. Uh, I think, I think we're going away from that at the moment. Like, very far away from it. Well, we're fucked then. Oh, it's a dead end. Someone's been playing noughts and crosses by themselves, it looks like. What do you call them? Noughts and cro what do you call it? Tic-tac-toe? Yeah. I say noughts and crosses. <laughs> I'm really hoping no spiders, but... It's a very long corridor. We do not have much luck. I hate the fact that I have to get the right angle. Pressure tank ahead. Okay. Don't know what that means. That might be bad? Kinda sounds bad. Bonfire. Yay! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad we made it. Money items, maybe? Yay! A lot Yay! Of money and a new memory. I'm sorry. I hope you get this, Mom. I wanted to apologize to you for so long. This might not ever reach you, but I'm sorry for what I did. It's all my fault. It was a lie, so please smile and say it's okay. If we survive this, I'll apologize in person, so please, forgive me. I'm going home now, but this is a memo for when the end comes. If someone else sees this, please tell my mom for me if you can. I'm sorry for being selfish about this, but please, I don't want to die. I don't want to die yet. Okay. Another memory? Good evening. Thank you for the many entertaining episodes. I'm truly sad I'll never get to hear your voice again. I loved your show and looked forward to it every week. It always cheered me up. I know you'll never get the chance to read this, but I wanted to send you one last thanks. From your biggest fan, thank you very much. Okay. Okay. I'm surprised this woman's still with us, you know. Look, you gotta be careful when it comes to mushrooms. Some are downright poisonous. That's the first time she has spoken this entire time. Huh. And huh. I don't know why. I've no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm looking around. Wonderful start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Da, 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 da. I'm just an old king. Called whatever my face is called in this game, I can't remember. Seto. Seto. Oh, there's a kitty cat over there. Oh my god, kitty cat. I think the kitty cat is actually key ting here, baby, but we need to find something else first, okay? Like this. Oh my god, what are we gonna find? A cat toy. If I can get close enough to pick it I up. I mean, maybe. we have a lot of them in our stash. Yeah, I know, but this is easier <laughs> than spending 10 minutes going to the campfire, opening our inventory, managing everything around. And you know it, Bubba Nomkin. It would have taken like a second. We were at the campfire when we started. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, you're right. Oh, 
I was right. Well done. Okay, so we figured out the puzzle. The ball had to be tracking the cat the entire time. Oh my god. And now it's rubbing our leg. You're smart, baby. Well, I figured motion controls had to come into play at some point. God, I fucking hate the controls in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a symptom of it being on the Wii, to be honest with you, rather than anything else. I mean, I've played some games that feel okay on the Wii. Oh my god. Ow! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Where did you run off to? You had me worried. And we found the fucking girl! It's dangerous to wander off too far. <gasps> you. I know you. <gasps> the boy who touched okay, me. Okay, don't start calling me that, otherwise the authorities get involved. It wasn't like that. Shh. I only meant to... <sighs> <laughs> I know you're not a bad person. I can tell. Because he likes you. That's a relief. And hey, I'm sorry. About before. Your name? Uh? Your name, please? Oh. My name. I'm a... Uh, my name is Seto. Seto? Yeah. That's a short name. Seto. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, what about you? What's your... Glass cage will commence shortly. What's he... Shin? Return at once. Hmm. Okay, then. The, the other girl knew who that was, and we're not even going to ask her? Seriously. She literally said Shin! Like, she knew the person! Hold on, I want to experiment with something. Put the Wiimote to your ear. Your ears are kind of small. Ah! Uh. Actually, it's kind of cute. This woman should be on the list, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> so that's how we can get her to talk this entire time I've been complaining? It just expects us to lift it to our ear? Yeah. I thought it only did that for hints. I didn't yeah. know it did it for flavor talking, too. Yeah, just every any time you wanted to speak, it looks like. <laughs> that's, that's kind of dumb. Well, we're getting there. More exploration. By the way, this poll has lasted quite a long time. Literally the only reason I thought to do that was I thought maybe you accidentally lifted it up when she mentioned the mushroom thing because it was out of nowhere. That's true. <laughs> oh, we got a safe here. I might as well use it. I guess it's supposed to be interactive, but I mean, you said, game uh, said it was for hints. This is so soothing. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that, but I was like, oh, we don't have that enabled, so who cares, right? Like, uh, I, I knew that, but I was just thinking we don't really need hints. That's fair. <laughs> so it never came up in my head. We when have another poll unused on us at the moment, so I think I'm going to just keep things as they are. Yeah, that's fine. We actually are in a sewer now, I think. Like, genuinely in a sewer, as opposed to like, you know. That was a big mystery item. We might as well just go back. There's another one up ahead, I want to grab it first. Yeah, that's fine. Well, actually, is there one? I thought I saw one. Maybe I'm wrong. God damn it. I swear I saw something. Oh, well, why right. don't you poke your head along the other side and see if it's on this side? Nah. Okay, we'll go back and uh, drop this off. Oh my god, we're running a gauntlet now. I don't like any of those sounds right now, but hopefully these pillars will count, like, work as shields mm. against their fireballs. Okay, well, she left, but there's more further down we know there is, because we saw them from the other side. Now we're running in silver water, by the way. Probably going to catch something. You know what's going to suck? If we start climbing the ladder and they can shoot us while we're climbing. Then we have to kill them. There's the ladder. I mean, that is probably going to be the case. I, I think so. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe not. She appeared. Oh, yeah, she, they, they vanished. Yay! When she appears, they vanish, because she's like, I'm too scared to be out in combat. Yeah. Was there a tunnel we could have gone in down there as well? Yes. Okay, let's clear out this up. Let's go up here first and have a look around there, okay? Oh no, there's a tunnel. A big tunnel. Is this? You ready? Yeah. I just don't get the boss these days. Behind the mill. I heard two men talking. They wore matching white uniforms, smeared with soot, while smoke seeped from the mouths on their young faces. I snuck up to where their shadows touched the earth and eavesdropped from behind a pole. What is this person? I don't know. He must the deadline again. And he smacked me just yesterday. Said I left the ashtray full. If he didn't dog us like that, he wouldn't have anything else to do. <laughs> he said all we do anyways is smoke cigarettes. I just don't get him. Boy, you said it. There was the banging sound of a mallet. Word had it this mill was built by the skilled but eccentric foreman. He'd since taken on two assistants to make furniture around the clock. But the two men just idled their days away. Breathing out an endless stream of white smoke. It must be you know what. Wouldn't be surprised. Ask him. You idiot, he'll do more than just box your ears if you do. I wouldn't complain even if you ran me through the sander alive. Ugh. Just can't win with him. Was it normal in the 80s for your boss to beat the shit out of you? Shut up. I think it's important to talk about these things. <laughs> Boy, I'll say. This is weird. And with that, they let out white sighs. It's seriously been a month since Fleur went missing? Huh, I guess she's not coming back. She probably finally had it with that barbarian. But I'm gonna miss how one look at her kisser, and the boss's mood, and do a 180. That was as far as I overheard. Stealthily, I did an about face and skirted the wall of the mill. From my neck now dangled a blue bell, the symbol of this mill. Today, I had come to be the boss's fleur. Oh, they're a cat. Approaching the window, a loud voice boomed from inside. I'm really confused, though, because, like, I was getting that vibe, but at the same time... They killed a child? <laughs> well, at least that was implication, right? I thought... I guess they all could be cats, but the other one was like, oh yeah, it's my little sister. But I'm like, but it's a cat. It was real. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And how I is it talking? I told you it's just not possible. You're not making any sense, you dimwit. Well, that's not, that's not questionable. There was a dog entry in before. We're reading memories. We're not, they're not oh, necessarily that's true. That's true. I forgot about the dog. The sound of the receiver slamming down was coupled with wood being shaved. My ears stood on end, and trembles racked my body. The words, run through the sander alive, danced in my head. No doubt it had hurt like mad. I imagined it, looking down at the blue bell. Does it hurt more than death? Not having experienced either, I didn't know. But dying probably hurt more. At that thought, the trembling stopped. It must have hurt Fleur a lot. I can't do this anymore! This time, a piece of furniture flew out the window. Things were taking a turn for the worse. I couldn't control my shivers. And the blue bell let out a ring. The boss turned his wrinkled brown face in my direction and scowled. I thought he'd look right through me with his muddy gray eyes. 
I didn't have the beautiful body of Fleur at all. I was terrified he'd say I wasn't his lovely Fleur and would run me through the sander right then and there. Is it like a doppelganger or something? It seems to be taking the forms of other things. I think they were all cats. He suddenly swung his hand high. The palm of his weathered old hand was blistered. The skin like bark. I was sure he'd strike me. But instead, his hand came up to cup my face. His rough and powerful hand stroked my head so softly. You scrawny little thing. His gruff voice was more like a groan. The way it trembled struck my heart. Didn't he doubt me? Didn't he see right through me? Should I really let him continue stroking my head like this? I was speechless as he took me in his arms effortlessly. Boys, get in here, he yelled behind the mill. Quit your grumbling and get back to work. If you don't want me to wax your heads, then polish me some new wood and step on it. Despite being yelled at, the two men had twinkles in their eyes. Boss is Fleur. He's, He's back. back! They hollered, hands in the air. Unable to speak, the blue bell spoke for me with a tinkle. At that moment, I had won over her name. Can I just say what I think's happened? What? So there was a very early one where they, someone found a bunch of bells on the floor in an alley and they were talking about their dead sisters. Yeah. I think this is a cat that is like mimicking other cats for whatever reason. And it's taking I the bells from the bodies. I just said that earlier. Oh. I said I think they're all cats. Well, I know that. I, 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 I knew that. I, I, I know you said that, but I'm talking. I, I was saying I didn't realize it was just one cat trying to mimic all the others. How did you not? They were talking about revenge in the first one. I don't know. I don't. I don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I. I only just it only just dawned on me that they were related. I am Fleur. Fleur with her blue bell, petted by a hard-headed boss. I am a furniture maker's beloved daughter. I think it's just like pet daughters, like the same oh, way that I'm we call pretzel our daughter. I think so. I would agree. I think I definitely think so. There, yeah. Time to go and take on a boss. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Got a katana, not a cat toy equipped, which is excellent. Yes. Let's go in. What's that say? Not a bit too far away at the moment. Hang on. He's in here somewhere. Very helpful. What are these? Gas things. They're like little people. Lift up your thing, titty thing. Let's see what she has to say. I always preferred blazer uniforms over the sailor cup. Okay, she's creeping okay, me so, out. Okay, so nothing about... The situation. Nothing about the situation. Just about what we're wearing. Literally. Okay, we have a door over here. I didn't see anything else in here. I didn't see any items or anything. Yeah, this is, uh, looks bad. What's with this place? It smells funny. Be careful. There's a whole different breed of enemy hiding around here. Different how? We've dealt with hazy, shadowy ghosts so far, but this guy's here in the flesh, with a taste for meat. Oh, thanks for that. How do you know all this, by the way? Have you just been wandering around? It'll strike from the walls and the ceiling. Keep your ears open so you can anticipate its attacks. Here we go. Oh, wow, this has got a lot of health. Probably in those giant holes. Yes. Okay, <laughs> it was in the fucking roof. It did say that ceiling was one of the choices. Yeah. Hi. Oh, wow. How this... am I meant to hit this if it just vanishes? 
You're meant to wait until it comes out of one of the holes and attack it. What the fuck? You're not facing it! Well, I mean, for a start, that's because of the garbage shit fucking garbage Wii controls <laughs> that are complete trash tier loser fucking shit. But secondly, uh, it's because uh, I thought I was miles away from his fucking claws, I'm gonna be honest with you. First hit. One hit so far, excellent. This is going really well. I'm not sure how we're supposed to deal with it when it comes out the ceiling, though. No, the ceiling thing's bullshit, I'm gonna be honest with you. He just took a swing at me out the ceiling. Okay, so, so we just to need to be in the sides. Okay. I think being at the sides in general is probably a good call. Yeah. We need to get clear enough for it to bait it into attacking and then move out the way. It's yeah. It's a problem. Okay, I didn't even see it. Was that the roof? I don't know. I'm dead anyway, pretty much. I'll heal, but I think we're going to do this one again. I would heal, but I forgot the game has shit controls for healing too. God damn it, I hate this. Okay, that was better. That was much better. Okay, we bait it to attack once, right? And then... Where is it? Bait, 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 bait. Come on. Yes! Okay, one more round of that and we got it, I think. Yay. One more. Very close though, right? Yeah. See, you're getting the hang of it. You shouldn't get so upset. I hate the, the controls are just so frustrating. I feel like I'm fighting with them the whole time. Oh, I didn't swing that time. I wasn't, didn't get close enough when it was out. There we go. There we go. Is it dead? It looks yes. dead. Mutant Mole. That's a cool idea for a boss, it's just really fiddly because it's hard to face the direction you want to face and shit in this. Mm. It'd be nice if there was a lock on <laughs> option or something. I think we're okay now. Well, well. When did you become Mr. Tough Guy? I guess all that practice is paying off. Don't get too full of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go find that girl. I like how the cutscene expects you just to have the shit light. <laughs> And not the one that shows the hidden messages. Oh yeah, that's true. I didn't think about that. We don't even have it with us. <sighs> this is yeah. so soothing. I wonder what weapon it had. I wasn't paying attention to the weapon. I just noticed the flashlight. We still have a, heal a good heal with us, and we have the thing. Mm. So I think we're okay for now. And we have two weapons on us as well. Oh no, another 10 minute ladder climb? Yes. I mean, we have to get out of here somehow, right? But it took a long time. Oh, no, maybe not! It's just doing a cutscene, thankfully. A cut transition. Oh, we're on a dam. I guess we were in a water treatment facility then. Yeah, that makes sense. Is that where we came out? Yeah, it is. Well, I guess we're going along here. Your structures built by man. 
It harnesses the force of water to turn giant turbines, and that generates electricity. Turbines? Electricity? I don't really get it. Water? But it's still pretty amazing. Well, I guess so. What strikes me is that it's still operational. That's amazing. What? What are you grinning about? Nothing. I... I was just thinking how happy I am to share the site with somebody. Before, I'd always been alone in my discoveries. <laughs> I just realized I said something really stupid earlier. The lights turned on. Huh. That might mean there's somebody up ahead. Hmm, maybe. Although in my opinion, I think we should go back where we came from. Uh-huh. Um, you know I said earlier, I was like, oh, I didn't think it was normal in the 80s for your boss to hit you or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was getting it confused with a different game we're playing that's set in the 80s. We have no idea when this is set. <laughs> That's another reason why you should, I don't know, let the cutscene progress without talking in it. I know, I know I ended up talking in that cutscene too, but that's because you're a bad influence. <laughs> Listen, it's a bit different when they're not talking. They, it was between lines of dialogue. Mm -hmm. Just let people finish their thought. And also, no one cares. <laughs> I care! No, you don't. <laughs> Hi birds, by birds. Oh no, you're gonna, you're gonna. Okay. This is what we're doing. I leveled up. <laughs> that was worth it, right? As yeah, I say, as I die, it's not worth it. If I die, it's not worth it. If I die, zigzag, zigzag. Get the item. Go. <laughs> bob and weave, weave and bob. <laughs> go. <laughs> go. 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 Don't even know if I'm gonna be at this end of the dam, to be honest with you. Well, something's happening. There's a bonfire, thank fuck for that. <laughs> oh, there's her. It's you again. Please help me. Please help me. What's that? What are you saying? I can't hear you! Climb down. <laughs> you can't be serious. Don't tell me you're thinking of taking the ladders down. But she's in trouble, and she's waiting for me down there. Quiet already. Who am I kidding? Once you've made up your mind about something, there's no swaying you. What? Swaying me? Uh, you don't have to know the lingo. In any case, the walkways might be really flimsy, so be extra careful, will you? Yeah, I will. He'll be the second death of me, I swear. Uh -huh. I just realized something. Oh my god, what? <laughs> well, first of all, we're gonna have a, um, uh, uh, a uh, ranged weapon boss fight coming up. Am I starting to talk to myself? Which sounds awful. Hey, could this be... All right, this is gonna be tough, I think. Oh, more ladders, excellent. We're gonna have to navigate this full dam to scale, aren't we? Eh, it's not the longest ladder. No, I'm more concerned more about the length of the dam, to be honest with you. It took us quite a long time to get over it, and oh my god, more. Ooh. 
The battery on this flashlight is very impressive. I will say, I'm glad it's- oh god, imagine if this game had battery mechanics. Oh my god. It would just be awful. It, it would be terrible. I, I genuinely hate battery mechanics, I've said that so many times. Imagine if they went full survival, like you had to eat and shit, and oh my god. Alright, I think this is all gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Gotta keep an eye Should on- Should we be using the katana? At the moment, it's fine. I, I say as I immediately get distracted and hit hit. Fucking birds. I hate the birds. I hate them so much. I, I don't even have- I don't- HOW THE FUCK DO YOU GET BEHIND ME?! He flowed. Food. Flowed. Flied. Was in flight. I need to kill all of these, unfortunately. I- I cannot move. I'm, I'd rather die here than this again. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe I got it. Right, they're all dead. You see this? Such a wonderful preserved walkway. Feeling our gameplay loop is going to be this for a while across there. I might try equipping the thing so I can try and take out a bunch at once. Like you suggested. I don't know if you were suggesting that I'll use a ranged weapon, but it's worth a try using the pole, I think. You have no option, you only have the pole on you. <laughs> Why is the music still being so. Because there's probably enemies on the other side of this. Oh my god, there are. Am I, am I still on the things or not? I don't know. You're still on the thing. I'm not sure I am, but okay. Well now, I can't tell. Not anymore. But that's a problem because... Okay, I've got to kill these guys. One more hit and I need to heal, though, okay? Press the wrong button. Here. Got an energy drink. We'll heal. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's only two of them left, so I don't think having the polar pips is useful right now. Yeah. Alright, one left. Come on. Oh, there's more than one. Oh. <laughs> I can't heal any more after this either. Okay. But what I meant was, you don't have the range weapon on you, so you'll, your only other option, other than the katana, is the pull. No, you're right. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye out to see if it goes funny again. I'm sure it will. But I can't gauge it, you know? Because it all looks very similar. Oh my god, maybe it's not going to do it again. Be nice if it didn't. Oh, do I go up or down? Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, we're gonna go up first because I think there's an item up here. Then we're gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! But yeah, I think we have to get to the bottom of the dam, unfortunately. I've got a feeling there won't be a bonfire here though, so we might have to do all this over again anyway because. You know. I think we might need like four or five healing items, gonna be honest with you. We'll see how badly this pans out. You know what I do don't, don't like, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of the time you'll pick up an item and it'll be like, oh, it's a mystery item, right? Okay, that's fine. But I don't like it the fact that if you can pick up the same item that you previously have picked up in the past and it won't, you know, it'll still be a mystery. Mm. Like if you've like found an energy drink once, for example, right? Mm -hmm. then you should be able to uh, identify every energy drink. Yeah. Same for, like, every emergency kit or whatever like that, you know what I mean? Or every gold thing. Mm -hmm. Like, having to go back to the thing to identify an item that you've already found, like, three times before is dumb. I don't think I can use any of these, unfortunately, like this. Yeah, yeah I no. 
Yeah, I'm in a bad way. Unless there's a, unless there's a save down here, I'm 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 kind of fucked. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's funny, like we were complaining about how frequent the saves were. This is the <laughs> first time that we're in a situation where we really need one. It's almost like the game heard us and decided to be a little bitch. I mean, it definitely did. It's the only rational explanation one can reach about these things, you know what I mean? Oh, my God. I've got a little piece of my God. I've got a It's going to be a mirror of the other side, isn't it? With no bonfire. Oh, yeah. I can see a bonfire, by the way, but it's across another wobbly bit. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way we're surviving this. Because they'll just hit me while I'm walking. Uh, I'll quit the poll. I mean, I don't know if it's better or not. It's just... I mean, what, it, what feels better for you? I mean, they both feel shit, I'm going to be honest with you. So, like, <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. This one has at least has a chance of killing more than one. So I'll risk it. I mean, I feel like I'm dead, whatever. Because it's it is really hard to control what's going on on these uh, against the flying enemies. Every time I'm kind of hoping desperately there'll be a bonfire, but there's not. <laughs> there's not. It's just bullshit. Look. Oh yeah, it's all the way. And there's enemies right away. Of course there is. I'm trying not to step on anything broken either, you know. Mm -hmm. Here they come. Now. Okay, that's two down, right? Mm -hmm. There's definitely more around, right? I the music is still going, so I'd assume so. Oh, it might not be a wobbly bit here. It's a bonfire. Yay! What should be a, like, the one right in front of it is wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> yes! We don't have to do it again! <sighs> ah! It's soothing watching the flames. <laughs> hey, is this... And a memory. Come on! Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind! <sighs> Sorry! What are you scribbling there? It's a map. I wouldn't want us getting lost. You numbskull. I know this place like the back of my hand. I'd never lose my way here. But I need it. What? You planning on coming here again on your own? I could. After all, I take after you. Huh. You're braver than I thought. Just give me a second to draw this. When I'm done, I'll let you borrow it. It'll be our secret map. Ugh, I told you. I don't need that. But Papa's always saying better safe than sorry. Yeah, yeah. If you take after anybody, it's Mom and Dad. So? Just forget about it. Let's go, and don't fall behind. Okay, then. <laughs> These kids are dead. <laughs> Everyone's dead. I mean, that's true, but you know what I mean. In this, they might die before the apocalypse. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take the bow. Oh, do I take the bow? It's really big. I mean, they're all they're all the same size. I think the the bow and the uh, crossbow. I'll save the crossbow for a rainy day. It's just that the uh, crossbow has more um. What you call it? I'll put the katana away. No, no. You had to move the entire thing. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. And I guess we should take a heal as well, right? Mm. Hmm. It's gonna suck if we find items, but... Okay, um... Yes. Can I suggest another way to sort this? Yes. Okay, um, put that all the way down. Like this? No, no, no. I want you to put the tuna 
um, where that one is. Up there. Okay, I'm not looking at your screen, so you need to say top right. Top, here. top, top there. Yeah. So you have the most, um... Clear space. The most squares connected together. Well, maybe that wasn't good. No, it's worth a try. Alright, this next section sounds fun. Can't wait, let's go. Alright, so this... Oh, oh my, my god. god. Okay, that is way better. It's actually really easy to use. <laughs> The only problem is it's really getting darker now, so I can't actually see them very well. Does his voice sound way deeper when he's firing this? Yeah. Oh, I've got vitamins. That's actually good. Yeah. It's right. hard to use in the dark. These are super fragile though, look. Mm. And there's definitely more left. And now she's out. Can I not walk with this weapon out? No, you're on a... I know, I know, okay, so this section, even crouching isn't good enough. Even slow walking isn't good enough, you have to stop every time the screen shakes. I think the screen, screen might have shook because you were walking normally when you stepped on it. Yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> I think our, my, the, the, uh, our merry guide may be full of shit again. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, there's no reason not to stop when the screen shakes, I'm just saying. Yes. No, no, I think you were correct. You need to... careful. Alright. This looks fairly safe so far, right? So far? But it's hard to tell because it's so fucking dark. Yeah, the passage of time affects certain areas for sure. Alright, I have to keep going down. The bow! I really like! I feel far less uh, worried about the boss fight using a weapon now. Like that. Here's to something, and I'm going to leave this in so the commenters can hear. Here's something that I think you run into way too much. You don't try anything for yourself, and you just take whatever uh, guide we're using, because, spoiler alert, we are using guide for this, at face value. I do. <laughs> and you don't account for the fact that maybe that person just didn't like that weapon. That is true. Like, this weapon is actually really good. I mean, that it's we, probably we, not good for everything. No, but it's good for flying things. Yeah. Or at least it was good for that section of flying things. Maybe not with the owls that are all up in your face. I don't know, but we haven't tried it on them, so there's no way of telling. Yeah, I am. I, I will say, like, I get stuck in my ways in a game really quickly. Like, I'll pick one thing, and then just you use it the whole thing. Yeah. I won't try new things, because I'm like, ugh, new? Ugh. <laughs> I see a bonfire, but we have more enemies first. I can barely see these in the dark, I'm gonna lie. I'm going to lie? I'm not gonna lie, that's what I meant to say. Is this wobbly, this bit? The darkness makes it hard to tell even the floor is okay. Yeah. A bonfire though, we're making the, we're going the right way. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's the way we need to go, but let's go and save first before we do anything else. Yeah. Okay, alright, alright, we made it, we made it.
Nice surprise. Wow. What'd I tell you? Great view, huh? Yeah. It's amazing. I was saving the best for last. Hey. What's the matter? <laughs> what are you crying about, weirdo? I'm sorry. Quit it. You're making me feel weird, too. I don't want this to be the last time. What are you talking about? Mommy told me this is the last time. But I don't want that. I want to come here again with you. What are you babbling about? I, I get it. So stop crying. Fine, have this. Oh, where did you get this stone? It's so pretty. I found it here. Pretty cool, huh? Let's find more here next time. Next time? Honest? Cross my heart, hope to die. You keep this one so you know what to look for on our next trip. Okay. And don't talk about this being the last time ever ag Okay. But Mom said... I promised we'd come again. And real men don't break their promises. Right. Thanks. Well, Alpha Chad's there, but they are. <laughs> Alpha chats. Fancy meeting you here. I'm not gonna buy anything from him for a minute because I know what. I, there's something coming up I want to do anyway. Okay. Yeah, sure. Go away, little man. Well then, this is goodbye. Only temporarily. Only a Wiedersehen. A Wiedersehen. Right. So we're gonna put this bow away for now. We need to unequip it first, don't I? Yes. I am going to grab uh, the steel katana and take that with us again. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does this one break too? I think so, but it's much more durable than the others. Oh. I think that's a reasonable layout, right? Yeah. You have to go up. Oh yeah, you're right. I mean, it doesn't make much difference really with this fucking save system. We've only got five slots and we've overwritten everything a million fucking times at this point. Well, there's no key. A few things, baby. I shall eat nothing. <laughs> Let's go. We're gonna go in here, okay? Mm-hmm. The inner dam. Hello? It's so noisy in there. I wonder what's inside. What's up ahead is like nothing we've encountered. If you want to turn back, now's the time. I can't. She's waiting for me in there. But this part is really dangerous. Listen to me for once. She's in there. I have to go. Fine. Man, you're so stubborn. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Oh, now you're all cooperative. Find the I mean, that's been our objective like the entire game. Mm hmm. Oh, look how shiny and sparkly this one is. What do you think of it, Princess? Princess, I found this on a beach far to the north. The ocean sparkled just like this stone. See how lovely? Pink and precious. Please that wake up, Princess. Guy. He isn't human, is he? Princess, look at this! If you peer into this blue vial, you'll get a sparkly treat for your eyes. Please smile for me like you used to, Princess. It looks like that girl in the crib has been dead for a long time. Who's there? Did you receive permission to enter the princess's room? I didn't. 
I'm so sorry. I was just... Get out this instant! You are in the princess's room! This place is not open to the likes of you! Get out! The guy's not listening to you. Let's get out of here while we can. Be gone, you vermin! Get out and never come back! Okay, Jen. That could have gone a lot worse, considering he appears to be a robot? I think so, yeah. I'd rather it would have been left to the imagination, to be honest with you, what he was. That light in his eyes, like the siren on his head, it looked like. Yeah, I think so. It makes it a little bit more disturbing that he's pushing around a baby cart. I thought he was just pushing around a baby cart just because, like, you know, that's what he found and he puts all his shit in it. Yeah. <laughs> I also, I heard the, the, the woman laughing, by the way. The one that you hit in the butt. You don't hit her butt, you hit her back. Oh, that's true, actually, yeah. You're the one who pokes her butt. But that's you're a dirt. No, you're a dirty old lady. Excuse me? You're a dirty old lady, what? I said it. What? Why would you be so mean to little me? Because you poke my butt all the time. Yeah? We're married. It's allowed. No. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> Do you stop me? No. <laughs> We're not going to talk about this on YouTube. <laughs> Anyway, the laughing isn't uh, the lady. The laughing the is kids. the little kids. The crying is the lady. That's true, that's true. She only laughs when she appears, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I, <laughs> I forget. I saw an item there. Oh my goodness. What is it? Oh, it's a mystery. It's a mystery? We'll never know. Never? Never. There'll be no way of telling at any point. Never, ever. Never, ever, 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 ever. Hang on, what this day is going down? Oh, there's an enemy around here. What is it? I don't know, but our health bar is here. Oh, it's oh no, it's the feet. I mean, it's probably worth killing them, right? Oh, they're red now. Yeah, they're more like super feet. What? First of all, I was charging up. Oh, wow. The peats are getting angry. What are these little shits doing? They all need to die now. Okay. That does not work well against them. You don't have invisibility frames with these ones, I don't think. No, it's weird, right? Because you do with certain ones, but not all of them. It kind of looks like you did with the birds, but maybe the birds weren't actually attacking when they did that? I don't know. I will say, it feels like there's not a lot of consistency. No. Okay, those are dead now. That's right, that's what I thought. Walk away. I'm guessing this room's gonna be exactly like the other one? Yep. Yep, it is. I've got a long bar. Oh wow, it's like a lot of space. That said... Okay, so we recognize weapons when we pick them up. It's kind of strange, isn't it? And we recognize... In certain certain items, it seems. But not all items, which is really strange. I think it should be all items, to be fair. Like, any item you pick up, you should be able to recognize it after you've picked it up once. There's a there's a bonfire right there. And, and there's like a target there's I need also... to shoot to open the door. Yeah. We have a longbow, so... Well, I mean, that's probably why it gave you the longbow. I will say, at least the game is good for that. It's good for like providing you uh, Man, a freebie. I'm getting sleepy. So you never end up hey, in a situation where you can't progress. Oh, we got a memory again. Oh, why won't he come home? I'm tired of watching the door. He'd usually make me some food and we'd eat together by now. I didn't even make a mess today. I didn't chew on the carpet or anything. Come home soon. Pet me and call my name. And then please, hold me. I've been waiting like such a good boy. That broke my heart! <laughs> oh, the poor puppy! Do you love them? Yes. Oh, good. 
Alright, what do we need to do here? We need the bow, right? Should I... God, it's such a... So big! Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this too, because you've taught me well. No! Oh my god. You've taught me well, immediately fucks it. <laughs> There you go. Isn't that beautiful? Am I not beautiful, Babinomki? Sure. I just realised I need to equip the bow. <laughs> I think you have to walk up to it, see what it is, and then do that. It's locked. There must be a button to open it somewhere. There you go, you were right. Looks yeah. like it worked. I don't... I don't like it when games get, like, contextual... Um... Oh! Sorry, I didn't know it was a cutscene. I must apologize for my previous behavior. It's okay. I just got a little scared. Such rude behavior is inexcusable. I was under the impression at the time that you intended to harm the princess. As a sign of my most earnest regret and sincere apologies, please accept this. Oh, how cute. It's a little chick plushie. It's got your face. Wonderful observation. The princess adored this little doll, and it was handcrafted by yours truly. Got a bird plushie. You got a large bag! Yay! You can carry more! Thank you very much. As you have undoubtedly witnessed, I have been in the service of the princess for many years now. One day, she suddenly failed to wake up. Since then, I've collected rarities from across the land in hopes of rousing her. When she wakes from her slumber, she can smile at me again, like she always used to. Your princess... That little girl is... Ah yes, the princess's smile, like a rose blossoming in spring. Such a lovely sight. There's just a pile of decay in that thing. Yeah, but she's... You don't have to say it. So, if you stumble across any rare or beautiful items, please consider a trade with me. Best regards until we meet again. And with that, take care. I don't think the princess is actually in that carriage, but it was no, probably no, hers. The other room. Yeah. yeah? I know. But sometimes, not telling the truth is the best thing you can do. Maybe. Death... is something only humans perceive, after all. I'm not sure that's true. I think there are animals that mourn the dead. Oh yeah, there are factually animals that mourn again, like proven. Like elephants have graveyards that they will, um... By the way, I wanted to see the mural. Oh, <laughs> Like, up close? I promise it... I haven't got a flashlight with this weapon equipped as well. I was like, okay. Well, can you de-equip it for a second? Yeah. I wasn't no. trying to be sassy. I was just asking. There you go. Because I think that's... Okay, so... That's a bunch of... That's a bunch of uh, uh, dolls sleeping underneath a big radio tower. Yeah. And a desolate wasteland. And then a guy talking to someone in a burrow? There's a burrow, it looks like, but I'm not entirely sure. It's very hard to gauge what all of this is. It looks like, like radio waves kill people, maybe? Maybe? It's very strange. But yeah, interesting, though. Like, I don't know if that's, like, what it's meant to be at all, but... Well, I'm just saying, it kind of looked like it. No, I agree. And I still can't figure out what the fuck this apocalypse was. Oh, uh, by the way, you can see through the floor here. 
No, that's water. Oh, is it? I mean, that's oh, water right, underneath the oh, little okay. ridge. I thought, I, thought the, I thought the game was breaking. Thank fuck. No, it's what it, we're uh, we're over a suspended thingy, and there's water flowing underneath. I've got the us. high beam flashlight. Ooh. Do you want to stick with this one though, so we can see better, or do you think it's combined up? Should we just we'll have a look? Let's see which one is uh. Maybe she'll tell us um, like oh this web flashlight does this. It's just a more powerful version of the basic one. You can't see the text with it. Just keep it on us for now, but uh, switch over to the green one. Because there might be a... There might be, like, um, an area that needs the high beam flashlight, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get rid of it, now. It's only one slot, too, so it's, mm -hmm. it's not like... And we have a bigger inventory now, too. Yeah. Oh my god, what's this? This is like a story item, probably. It's a sing single slot ones tend to be story items, right? Excuse me. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. There's lots of like, oh god, birds again. Do you want to switch over to your, uh... Yeah, I'll try killing him, fuck it. I'll get my ass handed to me, I can always run away. I need to start doing this still quick stuff more. Mm. I was only just realized that I can do that. It's so hard, I'm sorry. Fuck that one. <laughs> I didn't hit it, and it hit me?! I don't think this is gonna be a very good thing to use in motion. Unless you're gonna be on the ball. I was on the ball there. Yeah, you were. For once. I'd like to level up, which is why I'm shooting all these fuckers. Oh. <laughs> that was very quick. Right? That was almost nothing. Yeah, that was actually really quick. Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep forgetting that's a thing. Well, at least we have room now. Just hope the fucking katana doesn't. I know we can keep swinging it in a worst case scenario, but mm. it's not ideal, right? Is it? Yeah. Don't know if I'm going the right way. We're having a look around here, I guess. Oh, what's that on the wall? The other wall. Oh dear. It's like a little gnome. <laughs> it's a raw shack. I don't know if it is. It kind of looks like it. Cutscene. Yeah. Crow? Crow! <laughs> nice job recognizing me. Good thing, too. My battery's about to run out any second now. Oh, he is a doll. I was right. Pretty lame, right? Seriously. I can't even really see anything anymore. You're a... You hit the nail on the head. That's right. You ain't looking at a human. I'm more like these discarded dolls around me. Nothing about me is human. Maybe, but you're still my best friend in the world. You listening? I'm not even alive. <sighs> you're my friend. But I'm not human. You're my friend, damn it! Okay. I'm your friend. Come on, don't cry now. 
Okay. It's sort of funny. I'm almost jealous that you're able to cry. But really, it's enough already. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That skull ring I gave you. Are you still carrying it around? Yeah. I keep it in my locket. That's good. That ring is proof of our friendship. Our friendship. You know, you're the first real friend I ever had. You are my number one friend. My best friend. My best friend. My best friend. My best friend. Thank you for everything, Seto. Shut down. You're wrong. He died. If he'd been I with it, I tire and I collapse when I'm staring into the darkness. I find myself somehow entranced by it. Suddenly, I hear laughter. Fearless, mean, and yet kind. It calls to me. The days we spent together are long gone, drifting away like clouds in the breeze, even though memories are often fleeting. All I need to do is close my eyes, and your face appears. Clear and forever young. Okay, I think the cutscenes are over. So, here's my thing. Here's the biggest problem about this game, in my opinion. Right? Mm hmm. It is impossible to get a real connection to any of these characters because they don't really spend that much time with us. Exactly. And and the ones that do are kind of discarded. That robot box chick from the start, he's like, oh yeah, you were my first real friend, Crow. <laughs> and it's like, okay, but you actually, like, talked to the robot chick and seemingly had a poignant moment because you buried her, even though she was just a box. What should have happened is when we met Crow, we sh he should have joined our party. <sighs> and come around with us. And come around with us. And then the ghost girl, if you wanted to include her, she could have joined us too. And then we could have had a moment where either he goes off to discover himself once we're in this thing. Like maybe sh when Shin, apparently that's a guy's name because she said it in the cutscene. Maybe when that happened, he run off and then we meet him. And then he's just like, oh yeah, like, I, I found out I'm not even a person, I'm a doll, and then he dies, and it'd be poignant because we'd have a connection with him. But now we don't! We had that one obnoxious moment, and it was kind of sweet when they were friends, and then kissed for some reason. Um, you know, it could have been, it could have been sweet. You could have actually, like, made more of a, like, a relationship with them. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. I mean, I am gay, so I'm all for, like, young gay romance of any sort. But, um, it, it, it's just... 
How am I supposed to feel connected? It's very hard to. Like, I, I, I couldn't take that. That's the really ghost funny. chick has been with us more Most than the anyone she's, else. She's with about fifty percent of the game. And the really. only time she interacts with us is when we lift the goddamn Wiimote up, and she usually says something completely unrelated to anything. She hits on us a bit. Well, I don't care about that, honestly. But my, my thing is just like, come on. You want to tell me a story, and you and you obviously want to hit with with like feelings and stuff because this is like you know post apocalyptic. We're hearing people's memories, and the people in the memories seem more alive than we do. It's true. It's true. Speaking of memories, we have one. Shall we, shall we yes, one I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> it was it, you have a good point. Yet. There's so much I want to say to you. I have to get home. I promised. I promised I'd come home safe to see your smiling face. But now that might never be possible. So at least, could I get one more shot? One more chance to make amends? One more chance to see you? So I can say, I'm sorry. Sorry for committing so many sins that I'll never reach the place you will for not being able to keep my promise. See, that's what I mean. That's a perfect example right there. You feel it in the feels. Feel free to ask, should you ever have any need for my services? Thank you, Chicken Man. You don't need him right now, but we will do in a bit. But I appreciate it. I shall see you again. <laughs> we love you, Chicken Man. We love you, Chicken Man. <laughs> you feel quite alive, I will say. <laughs> even though you're not even human. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, go catch a tiny It is bite literally like that. <laughs> No! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on through this wondrous area of the dam. Like, I guess I don't hate this game or anything, but there, it, there's, it's definitely got flaws. It's, it's not a bad game, but the storytelling is not great in my opinion. No, it feels a bit off. Like, they could have done more to make it actually a story. Like, I still don't know why we care so much about this chick, you know what I mean? Like, that we've spent the entire game following. I mean, I guess we're gonna rescue her now. Oh, the white-haired chick, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's another thing. That would make it even more, sort of... I guess, poignant? If I... you had characters that were helping you, or joining you along, and then you lose them, and I... all you have left is the silver-haired chick? Oh, look at this. Oh, hello! Oh, it's dolls. It's the, it's the android oh, wow. things okay. that are So creepy. when they're flashing, you can hit them. When they're not flashing... Okay, they're not strong. <laughs> That's really weird. That's a weird death, death, death thingy. Um, but yeah, I, I think that, like, uh... By the way, I th I'm assuming, I don't know this. This is, this is genuinely a complete guess. So I don't know if this is true or not. But mm -hmm. I'm guessing that the, um person who has taken the girl is the doctor from the picture that we found with Crow. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I would assume that too, 100%. Can you stop attack? Can you actually let me attack you? You, yeah. yeah. One down. I want the experience from these if I can. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Oh, wow. <laughs> Very acrobatic. They don't really have, they only have the, the attack. Quite easy to kill. <laughs> considering so weird. Considering these are the later enemies, these are pretty easy to kill. I mean, are you complaining? No. <laughs> Three of them might be a bit much, though. We'll see. Come on, try to back away. <laughs> but it's very hard to. All right, it's one down already. At least these ones are slow. They are very slow too. That's bad. Because they go immune when they try and attack you. You, you have to wait till they're flashing, sweetie. Yeah, you it, said that yourself. I don't I know why move. you're going against it. 
mind. Sometimes you can hit them when they're doing nothing. I think it's the transition in between the things yeah, that you're right. seeing. So it's not that you can't attack them, it's like, it's that little frame in between the transitions. Katana broke. It's okay. That though. lasted a very long time, though. Yeah, it did. And um, we also have, like, a bunch of stuff now, so... This is apparently one. Of, this is apparently the best one-handed melee weapon in the game. Remember, it's slow though, and you might want to heal. We'll see. If we run into more enemies, I will. But if there's suddenly going to be a bonfire, then why? Why did I have to survive? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There probably is going to be more enemies. You're right though. I'm glad I leveled up. Yeah. Corridors are so long. I'm gonna run past these ones. Okay. No, I'm not, because I can't physically get away. Which is very annoying. Okay, we ate the tuna. I healed at least, baby. You healed because you were given no choice. Yes. <laughs> you don't get a gold star for that. I was gonna run past these ones. They're in a pretty confined space. Oh, excuse me. Do I get silver star? You get a bronze circle. Okay, we're all done doing the things. Oh, so I thought this was a big door forward, but I guess it's not. Well, that's bum. That is real bum. Oh, there's a lot more to run, I think. Oh, well. Do we want to go back to the campfire? <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna run past these fucks. Okay. Or oh, I would if the game didn't have massive hitboxes around them bigger than the fucking screen! <laughs> like, I'm nowhere near the fucking thing and there's an invisible wall around the fucking fat fuck! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Huh? What is this thing? I'm not sure. It looks like a two-way radio. I wonder if it works. This must be the switch. Hey, I hear something. You have to turn the dial. That'll tune the radio into different frequencies. But I seriously doubt there's anyone out there to respond to the call. Let's see. Here's the dial. Hello? Where are you right now? Hey, I'm right here. I promise you, I'll come see you very soon. Good. I'll be waiting. I'm always waiting. I knew it. I knew that I... I couldn't possibly be the only one left in the world. See? 
There are still other people. <laughs> <laughs> Unless this is a trick and they're all just spirits on the radio. Uh, I mean, I thought that for a minute, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> I was like, how many of these people are actually dead, do you reckon? Because they're all saying, hey, are you there? And, and, uh, and uh, it didn't look like he was changing the frequencies. It was kind of weird, right? Like, yeah. It also went on way too long, that scene. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't trust any of those voices, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna kill any of these, by the way. Mm. So, to clarify, I did tell Minx that um, if we need ranged weapons, we should have a ranged weapon out. But I didn't realize that we were going to be backtracking a lot. So if there's any hidden messages here, I'm very sorry that we're not going to be able to see him. That is entirely my fault. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not Minx's fault this time, it's my fault. <laughs> uh, I think we'll come back up here anyway and hopefully we can look then. After several hours. Watch, of... there's just one. <laughs> oh my god, I, I will say, like, fuck me, this is so long. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can. I can I, oh my god. <laughs> like, I, I, like, game. Jesus. <laughs> and we have to backtrack soon. Oh my god. Where, even, where the fuck am I? Okay, we just gotta run down this corridor now, and everything will be alright. We mustn't shoot a bullet, we're not wasting any bullets, okay? Well, it's wasting weapon degradation. Oh, that's true. It's Again, unlimited. We infinite bullets. Yeah, it's infinite, infinite ammo, presses. but not infinite um, durability. Imagine if it breaks after one. Oh my god. We'll fire one shot of this, and it'll just be gone. I mean, it might. We did discover it on the floor. I think that might be it. I think the ones that you buy from the shop have more durability than the ones you find out in the wild. But this is a complete guess. It's just, it feels like sometimes things break a lot faster, even though it's the same type of weapon. It, it seems all over the place, really, like a lot of stuff in this game. Yeah. Like, it feels inconsistent. But it might just be us. I don't know. I'm not actually counting how many times we use something. 172. That's how many times we've sung a weapon so far in this playthrough. Oh my god. That's a lie. Maybe even 5,000. <laughs> Maybe even 5 million. Yeah, but it's all less than 4. That is true. Wow. Imagine if we'd spent a weapon 5 times in this playthrough. I mean, 5 is smaller than 4, so we definitely have... Well, I'm getting hit here because- Oh my god, I didn't! Oh my god, you actually dodged! It's a miracle! It's a Christmas miracle, but it's not Christmas. Near enough. I will say, this is the longest corridor, possibly in human history, in a video game. Might be Beltane soon. Hmm? I was just trying to figure out, um holidays we're close to that aren't Christian. Oh, I was going to say, it's Easter today, the day we're recording this. Yeah, but Easter was taken from one of the pagan holidays, and I can't remember what it is. I forget the name. I can't believe this corridor is still ongoing, by the way. I'm actually in awe. Oh, by the way, in case you guys are wondering why I'm not shooting these, because they blow up and kill you. Oh, fun! I just forgot that breaking boxes was the mechanic, to be quite honest with you. I mean, we only ever had to do it like three times to actually progress. Mm hmm And there hasn't been many rooms where like, you break things to find stuff, you know? Yeah. There's a bonfire! I see it! Oh my goodness. Shimmering in the distance. Like a beacon of hope. Watch, it's just a giant and I was fucking right, and I didn't want to be right. No, there's a bonfire. Oh, well, the thing, listen. <laughs> I know what you mean, I know what you mean. I'll give you it. You get the points. 
This is so soothing. We don't need to buy anything. We're all set up here for continuing, so... Thank you, Merchant Man, but I need well you to leave. Well then, where should we start? We will never start or finish. We're done. <laughs> Have a nice day! Okay, please stop talking now. I like Chicken Man. You like him? Yes. Is he your friend? Yes. Your friend? Yes. All right. Now, this might be a door that I think it might be a door of. The door. We're just going in the room anyway and see what happens, all right? Yeah. Hello? Hello? Probably save her. What does all this mean? It means he's finally ready to begin. Follow me. Don't extrapolate on that or anything like that. Just say random words. Like, why couldn't that have all been one cutscene? Okay! Here's our next boss. No way! He destroyed a power plant? He must really be serious this time. How dare you bring an intruder here, Sai? What were you thinking? Stop! He's just a kid! He can't do anything! Well, we're in trouble. Those impenetrable barriers Any there. Any threat to the project must be eliminated. Any threat to the project must be eliminated. Stubborn man, he never listens! Listen up. This thing may be huge and powerful, but its attacks are pretty slow. Take your time avoiding them. And see that red eye glowing at the center? That's the controller for the whole thing. Take that out and you'll stop it dead. It's Controller. yellow. Stop it dead? How? Man, you're slow. Use an arrow or something to shoot at that red thing. It's your only chance. Okay, I got it. Some exposition would be really nice. I'm trying to avoid its attacks right now. I think it's above, directly above me, I'm not sure. It's a lot of health, isn't it? Yes. It's gonna hit you. Somehow it didn't. Yeah. Alright, there's no way I'm hitting that right now. Okay. We do good. You haven't hit it once, so no. Well, no, I'm waiting for it to, like, reveal itself, <laughs> like this. Well, now I'm worried he's behind us. Oh, no, no. What the fuck? This game is very glitched, I will say that. Move, 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 move. Okay. I could not move any more than I did then. And it still hit me. I did it! No, I didn't. No, I didn't. My weapon broke. No, I did it! Yay! I did it! I did it! We that did it! Sucked. It did suck! <laughs> it glitched a lot! Okay. I have no health, but I did it. The 
the one crossbow was enough, I guess. You now have to backtrack. Go to the first fireball you can. Fireball, fire, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was horrible. Even I'll say that's horrible. You, I, you, I think Prism thinks I exaggerate sometimes, but this one we both I agree mean, on. you do you know, exaggerate. Me? There's a chance you might not meet anyone else, that you won't see another living human ever again. That this planet will become a world of ruins and wandering Kind of already spirit. is. Why would you say something like that? You heard the radio, there's lots of people left. Maybe, but not if Glass Cage's power is unleashed throughout the world. These Aurora lights are a sign it's going to happen. To be honest, I don't really know what he's trying to accomplish. It looks like he wants to do it again. But if the world suffers the same outcome as last time, it really will wipe out every last living human. It can't. I mean, I have to at least save her. And if you do manage to save her, then what do you do next? <laughs> you really think you two will just somehow click with each other? What if you don't even get along? Maybe you won't understand each other. Maybe you'll hate each other. Relying on your faulty language to communicate? You humans will never fully understand each other. And you still want to see her knowing that? Do you still want to save her? I... I don't know if we'll understand each other perfectly. But that's not what matters to me. I just... I just want to feel her warmth beside me. I just want to hold her hand. To see what I see. And respond to what I say. That's all I really want. Wandering around alone? Looking up at the moon by myself? I'm sick you of it! You have to love the whole fucking game! <laughs> save that girl even if you're successful she might still reject you you know who knows she might even hate you so are you sure you want to do this <laughs> that's enough of that now don't cry anymore I'm going to tell you where you can find her Hey, dry up those tears. Remember, you're on a mission to save her. <laughs> I know the exact location where she's being held. Follow me. That room with a cage in it. You know, where all the cats were. That leads to where she is now. But from here on in, things get really, really dangerous. You could call it quits, but I already know you won't. <laughs> That's right. I'm stubborn. I know. <laughs> we have to go. She's waiting. Yeah. Let's get going. Okay, so I need to say this. Mink said it a little bit during the cutscene, but I put it in here, so hopefully she edits that out. But <laughs> it is really hard to get behind Seto when he is just intrinsically so obnoxious. I know we're supposed to feel for him because, you know, oh, he's all alone in the world, but he hasn't been alone the entire fucking game. There's been a period of, like, ten minutes where he's been alone. Every other time, he's had a person. 
Okay, maybe not 20 minutes, but you know what I mean. There's only been short instances where he hasn't had another being of some description as his company, even if the game is, like, you know, not great on fleshing that out. And it's annoying! And that cutscene, it was supposed to be endearing, I guess, but it's even more annoying, because he's like, I don't care about her personality! I just want a physical body next to me! <laughs> he did a good job That's of literally creepy, what- To be honest with you. <laughs> it's literally what it sounds like. It, he doesn't sound creepy, he sounds selfish. Yeah, I agree with that. Because it's just like, I just want the warmth of a human body next to me. That's all I want. I don't care if we'll get along. It doesn't matter to me. And it's just like, it should matter to you. Because it's not all about you. And he's had, again, the game is not very good at fleshing out the characters' dynamics with each other. But... He's had this ghost chick with him now for so long. For, for over three quarters of the game, I think, ish. And point. she's still here. And he's just acting like she isn't. And they, they you know, they, they have had quite a lot of interactions. Like, you know, it, like, the, the ratio-wise, anyway. Even though, like I said, it, it's not... It expects, oh, if you want interaction, you'll just lift the Wii mode up. Which is, which is dumb. It should just be in the story. Oh, whoops. <laughs> they missed a huge trick with not doing the whole, like, companion thing. I will like, say that. This is where we fought the mole. Oh, God, we have to go all the way back. Um, Crow uh, was with you and everything, you know what I mean? And... Like, having Crow with you would have been much better. Yeah. Oh, I mean, even... But this girl should count. Like, she's had, you know, she's had more to say than everyone else in the fucking game. Yeah. <laughs> You know, like this. and 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 it's not that like. Uh, girl of yours is just beyond this den of cats. Go after her, but be careful. Well, now, well, now she's doing hints because we're time. in the middle of a mission. Um, oh, but it's just, 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 I just wish it was better. <laughs> I yeah, just no, wish I it was mean. better. I wish it was better, and um. No, that cutscene just really annoyed me just now. Because before I did find Seto a little bit endearing, but after that I'm just like, wow, you were just a selfish little kid. <laughs> Which I guess that is what you are, but... He's like, he's 15, right? Yeah. Well, he's 15. He's not that... He's not a little kid, but... He behaves like one. He behaves like one. Which you could argue, well, you know, you were raised in the post-apocalyptic world, maybe you're gonna be like that. And you could argue the fact of, like, base survival instinct to find another human, but it shouldn't necessarily... But at the same time, it's like a weird sort of uh, contradiction, because then he's like, Crow was my best friend even though he wasn't a human, but I've been alone this entire time because they haven't had a human next to me. Yeah? His interaction with Crow was so brief. <laughs> Compared to the interaction <laughs> with this woman. You know? Mm -hmm. And one thing I didn't like there as well, guys, sorry, sorry to, sorry to bitch about this previous scene, guys, but she t she's talking about, like, some guy triggering the end of the world, and he doesn't question it whatsoever. Exactly! Like, that's no, another no thing! No backstory, no flavor, no, no, you know, nothing. Just Not even a little nothing. bit of exposition. He, he, he like, it, it, it's weird because normally in a JRPG, there's exposition... Diarrhea in there. Yeah. Or, and <laughs> or we'll say, see a flashback of the same exposition like 70 times. Yeah. Which, you know, I'm not a super fan of that either, but there no. has to be a nice middle ground where you can, like, ask again. This has happened before. You know? Who's Shin? Who's What's going Shin? on? What's Why is it with the girl? What's happening? <laughs> what happened to you? Why are there doodles all over your body? It's clearly something related to him. Explain. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> like any of that, but he doesn't care. He just wants the silver-haired girl next to him. That's it. This? That's all he wants. We've got this, by the way. Flash bulb, a new thing. Do you care with me playing it? Yeah, that's fine. Oh no, it's a unique bulb that emits a sudden bright light. Light-sensitive enemies caught in the flash are left hurting. However, it takes a while for its charge to build. See, that's what I thought the other one might be. Okay. 
For a speed to shadow the area in a burst of light, enemies that can't take bright lights will suffer considerably. However, its bulb can burn out, so you can't use it many times. I'm going to save it. Mm. Hello, chicken it's man. It's an honor to see you. Will you be buying or selling today? Why does the chicken man get more backstory than the main characters in this game? I genuinely, genuinely don't know, and it's actually kind of ridiculous. Oh, is that an energy drink? It is. Remember, those do 250 for one spice. Oh, in that case, let's do it. Let's get a few of these. Oh, for God's sake. I didn't even click that. The, the Wiimote is being extra unresponsive today. Well, don't, 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 don't buy too many of them, because the rations also do 400 for two spaces. Yeah. I think we're done here for now. Okay. I shall see you again! Well, actually, no, the energy drink would still be the good, better investment, because then you could do 250 and 250, which would be 500, 500 yeah. for the equivalent spaces, but you just have to do them back to back. All right, we're nearly back to the cat room, by the way. For once, we don't have to do a giant jump cut because we've just we been ranting the entire, the entire time. <laughs> oh my god. I've also, the backtracking in this hasn't been that bad. Compared to like Dino Crisis 3, this is baby's backtracking, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, <laughs> Dino Crisis 3 was backtracking the video game. Yeah. Okay, so can I go in here now? Oh, we got a cutscene. Enter this code into that keypad. One zero zero four. It's his birthday. He was always distant and cold on the surface. But he had a tender side, too. He... who? Hmm? It doesn't matter. Just enter the code already. It really matters. It really does. All right, let's go. Go look for the silver-haired girl again. And off we go into a new area. We're going deep under the dam, baby. So numb. So numb. It's not that numb. It's not it's really not that numb. <laughs> I would classify it as slightly bum even actually at this point. This first. Oh, it's another flash bulb. Achoo. I hope I'm not getting sick. I'm just gonna save and keep going. Not a lot going on here, you know. Actually, I will put one of the flash bulbs away as well. There's no need to have two on me at once. I wonder what wonder. I tell you what, though, I just realized something. You know the spiders? Mm hmm. If we come across them, we should definitely use the bow mm. on them because. Yeah. It just makes much more sense. Oh, I this think, is the eye woman. Yeah. yeah, I think this is the eye woman. So I guess she does laugh. I thought she cried. She's oh, red she's now. red. Oh. I bet there's more than one as well, about to come up from behind me or some shit. I want to see if I can beat one of them. Come on! Are you Aww. fucking kidding me? You called it though. Yeah, dude, I'm leaving him. Fuck that. <laughs> there's a load of them! It's a dead end. Yeah. There's piles on the other side, I'm going to check them all out. Mm. Might find some story items and things like that. And there is a bonfire back there if we need to go and tag it quickly, so it's no big deal. Mm. 
I don't necessarily mind the idea of exposition being entrenched mostly in like pickup items, mm -hmm. especially in a po post apocalyptic setting with the memory stuff. However, it kind of feels a little bit weird when you have someone from that era literally standing next to you, well, floating next to you. <laughs> oh my god. That's creepy. Can you see the way, by the way, I'm having trouble with corners at the moment? Yeah. Like, every time I go around a corner, the Wiimote desyncs, desyncs And I don't know why, it's really annoying! Have you moved the, uh... Nope. It's only for tight corners. Like, it's fine like this, it's when it's a tight corner. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna just pop back to the fire and drop some stuff off quickly. Might need to carry everything at once, is there? You know, I say that about the memories, but at the same time, we haven't actually learned what hey, caused the end of the world. Be... We just learned kind of... Oh! We have another cat memory. Alright, let's go. These have been morbid so far. Dawn was just about to break, and the subdued rays of morning light were finally spreading across the sky. I was taking my time, strolling through the bustling scene of the early hours. The clamor hurt my ears. Angry shouts rang from the main street, while flirts could be heard in the alleys. I avoided the hubbub on my way. Just being in a foul place like this made me remember the life I'd led. There was a shop with its door propped open. The music that wafted from within was not what you'd consider uplifting. The sign by the entrance was half shrouded in dark. The word Sylvia adorned it. Boss, I think you've had enough, a sweet voice said from behind the bar. The bartender was a long-haired woman in a sleeveless dress who was leaning against the wall. I know it's up to you, but I think you've been hitting the bottle hard lately. The voice was young and lilted, like that of a male cat calling to a female. I think it might not... Rika! A glass clattered hard against the bar's surface, cutting her off. Silence followed. Fine. Don't listen to me, then. The girl behind the counter took the glass to fill it, but grumbled in disapproval. I'm just saying this out of concern for you. You look exhausted these days. And the last lady to run this place... Well, you know... Rika! Again, the glass hit the counter. A cigarette was lit. Once you're done, you can leave for today. What? Do you want me to fire you? The woman bristled with anger. But the girl named Rika only shrugged her shoulders. Don't say that. If you deserted me, I'd be all alone. The glass she placed on the bar didn't smell of the pungent alcohol. It was a white liquid. The last owner of this place died from alcohol poisoning. I don't want that to happen to you. See you tomorrow. There was the sound of high heels approaching. I darted behind the sign. Huh? Rika looked up and down the alley, bathed in morning light. Sylvia? I already knew who she was calling to by that name. Rika gave a heavy sigh for the first time and dragged her feet down the dirty street. It was only when she was finally out of sight that I made up my mind. I'd never heard how Sylvia had been brought up before she died. She was so shy and quiet. There wasn't much to say about her. She was the one girl I didn't hate. But now, I was going to steal her name. At first, I thought it was revenge. It had to be. Revenge against them for living better lives than me. And it was revenge against my own cruel fate. Step by step, I made my way through the half-open door into the shop and whispered, Mama. The woman was slumped over the bar, the same as when Rika first left. 
she sluggishly hoisted herself up to look at me and shook her head as though she wasn't sure what she was hearing. I whispered once more, Mama. That's when her barren eyes, laced with crow's feet, wrinkled in a squint. Oh, so it's you. She laughed with tears in her eyes. You poor little thing. You look just the same as when you first came here. Something about how she said that made her sound like Rika. Where have you been? You've been gone for so long. What have you been doing with yourself? Here, drink up. You can have this. It's your favorite. I'll give you whatever you need. Anything at all. There's a good girl. She cooed in a slow drawl, offering me the glass. I wonder if Sylvia was also served warm milk like this the first time she came here. I'm sorry. I whispered for the first time to myself. I am Sylvia. Sylvia, with her purple bell. The little girl who was held close by Mama in a small downtown bar. Okay. Those are definitely interesting. Mm. Eh? 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 Very nice, right? You're doing very good. I'm like the Tetris Queen, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Off we go again on a merry adventure. Alright, we checked out the first two side things. Let's keep going and see what we can find. I don't really know what to expect down here except bumpkins. Big bumpkins, baby. Big bum bimkins. You heard me. You heard me. How dare you? You heard me. I don't even know what that means at this point. It's a good little meme though. Oh hi, maybe we can kill these. There is a lot of them though. Hang on, 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 hang on. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take your advice as well, brother. Okay, we're gonna get this, the spear. Because we can do the thing with this, I think, the spin. I think. About to find out, huh? Oh god, oh god, oh god! I'm just a monkey. Why would you do this thing? That was good, right? Yeah, that was pretty good. Bit too, bit too soon. Yeah, there we go. One left. Just one little jelly top left. <laughs> there we go. Didn't level up from that though. Wow, flash bulbs coming out my ass and healing drops. I might as well use a healing drop. Because we got a little. Uh... I, I find it weird though, we're getting healing drops again. Yeah, they're the worst heals, right? Yeah. yeah. You might as well use all the healing drops. Yeah, because they're just taking up room. Unless we need a healing drop for the story I, I for some really reason. Know. Not that I would possibly know. It'd be impossible, you know, right, Billy? Impossible. I like the spear, by the way. Alright, we're gonna go this way. Oh my god, there's another bonfire here anyway. Mm. Like, we're back to having them every five seconds as opposed to the <laughs> incredibly tense fucking crossing the bridge shit. That was an axe I picked up there. Before we go through the doors, I'm going to check out these side bits, alright? Mm. 
Actually, I'm not even sure these are side bits. I thought they were, but I don't think they are. They could be the way forward. I don't know. Everything looks the same. It's a dead end? Okay, this is a dead end. That was bum. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why. Because they're, they're smacking you. Let me level up. I want to level up, game. Bum. Bum bim. Bum. What the fuck did I just say? Bum bim? Give me a level up. No! My heart is broken, bubbing. What is it? Fucking. Well, may as well uh, look at my inventory now and see what we found. Maybe money? Money would be good. Man, I'm getting sleepy. He sounds so whiny hey, at the fire. Could this be? Oh god, I don't want that. Oh, another bell. Jesus. Oh, well. A tall human was watering the garden. His white shirt and black slacks were simple and clean. Teacher! As the two young children called out, a man who was watering the grass raised his head. Yes? Anything the matter? The man they called Teacher kneeled down to peer at the young boy through his glasses. Teacher, when's Lot coming back? The question came from the little girl. Even from a distance, I could see the man's face grow dark. Teacher, will Lot ever come back? The little boy looked up expectantly, but their teacher could only furrow his eyebrows and purse his lips. More children gathered, questions alight on their small faces. There, I could oh, imagine shit, sorry. That Lot too now, King! had joined this circle with her signature yellow bell. The young children didn't appear to have parents. They lived in the big plain house with the man they called Teacher. Now, what's taking her so long? She's gone away before, but the teacher murmured an excuse, but the children wouldn't be soothed. We want to play with Lot again. Uh, maybe Lot's sick. Maybe she's hurt. I bet she misses us. She must miss us. As worry spread among the children, the teacher asked them a question. Let me ask you. Does it make you sad to think that Lot's lonely? Of course. We miss her. The teacher nodded and continued. Then, if Lot knew how you missed her, it'd make her sad, right? His voice was gentle. As I watched from a distance, I hesitated momentarily. I knew that the yellow bell that Lot possessed was from this orphanage, which was why I'd come. But I couldn't imagine that she really had a family in this place. Would anyone care if she were gone? Their worries now put to rest. The children returned to their games, but one girl lingered behind. A freckled girl, with curly hair. But... we're all... The girl mumbled, looking down at her feet. We're all still sad, even if Lot isn't lonely. The teacher put his hand on top of the girl's head. I suppose there are some things that... can't be helped. I know what you do at night, the girl blurted, looking at him hard. If you really felt it couldn't be helped, then you wouldn't be out searching for Lot every night after we've gone to sleep. The teacher quickly put a finger to his lips. Everyone's worried enough as it is. But now I'm more worried about you, teacher. 
The man simply nodded with a sad smile at the girl's words. I know that. And I'm sorry. Then, with the hose still in hand, he looked at the sky and spoke aloud. Between you and me, I'm not all that worried about Lot. I'm sure she'll still survive outside these walls. All that matters is that we all considered her family. I'm sure she wants to treasure those words, too. Because the family we made here is the only one we've ever had. As far as I'm concerned, we're Lot's family. And as long as she knows that, everything will be okay. And to be honest, I believe that Lot will return someday. Night came, and the lights in the orphanage winked out. I slowly crept out from the shadows that spread before the orphanage. The moment the teacher saw me, he stopped in his tracks. The light from the full moon completely transformed me. I rang the bell, knowing it was all I could rely on. Lot? Is that you? Yes, yes. It's me, Lot. <sighs> So then, does this mean you're ready to come back to our home? But of course. If you'll have me, that is. Back at the orphanage, the freckled girl was trying her best to calm the children who were crying from the teacher's absence. For days now, she'd taken his place guarding them at night. Holding the young girl to him, the teacher announced my return to all the children, to all the family. I am Lot, Lot with her yellow bell, a gentle member of this orphanage with a bigger family than anyone could ask for. So strange these. Mm. I still don't know what to make of them. I mean, I get to cats, but you know what I mean. Alright, um, well, I guess we're gonna head deeper into this tunnel. I feel like we spent a lot of time in very similar looking tunnels lately. Yeah, like, it's I kind of like, bum. I feel like the opening areas were pretty varied, but now it's kind of got a bit... bleh. Mm. A bit sewery. Is that the right term? Samey? Samey, yeah, I think that's probably a much better term, actually. All right, well, let's go deeper in, I guess, and see what we find. I'm sure my spear's gonna break soon, but I do have an axe with me as well. Are you gonna poke things in the bum? I mean, I don't want to. I only bum I want to poke really is yours. But you know. Oh, you can break these. I don't know if I can break, should break them, but we'll see. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, I, I, I was just commenting, like, um, you know, it's basically the first time we've seen it in a while. Give the ID. Oh god, let's get the shit out of me. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. Okay, that was bullshit. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw you not dodge. <laughs> oh, I got, a, I got a good heal from that. Mm. Only one of these crates has an item in it, so we'll just move on. So no. Should I fight all these? I if guess the I, should do, I could really do with the level. You will be removed. The I'm stuck on the fucking crate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that damaged me as well because it's an explosion. These doors look spooky. They are very spooky. Like teeth a bit, right? 
Yeah, they're gonna crush you. Oh, something's gonna happen. Oh. oh. A it was screen. a lie. Oh, now something's oh, yeah. gonna happen. There we go. Oh no, this looks bad. Did the doors just seal us in? They did. Ugh, the security's been activated. It's locked tight. Well, only one way to go. Forward. Right. I mean, you were going to agree anyway, Sada. You just had to let people walk all over you all the time, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not the bonfire. But you don't care as long as you get... White hair girl. A white hair girl. <laughs> Oh my god, what a head girl. She's so good. We don't know anything about her, but she's so great. She might be a terrible person. But I don't care as long as she stands next to me. Oh, another bell! Another bell, yeah. We're getting loads of these. Everyone in town called the old writer who lived in this house a weirdo. The house was old-fashioned, and the walls seemed weighted with history. So little care and upkeep had been done to the place, it wouldn't be a stretch to call it a dump. The front door was always open. And not because it wasn't locked, but because there was no lock at all. Some would think that an invitation to burglars, but the place was such a mess that you'd lose all interest in stealing the moment you stepped inside. The house reflected its owner, an oddball, aged and in disarray. And this day, that oddball writer was laying in the middle of his hallway. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But every once in a while, his finger would twitch, betraying signs of life. The bones in the back of his hands stood out, gnarled under paper-thin skin. But his slicked back hair looked young. The black framed glasses he habitually wore had stayed on, even after his fall. He'd probably worn those glasses so long that they were a part of his very being. And there he lay. Weaving my way through the filth, and the clothes, and the furniture, I entered the house, and he didn't even notice. Bisk. He called my name in a gravelly voice. With each call, my body would shiver with surprise, and the bell would ring. It was a refreshing sound. The old man must have heard it too. He immediately leapt off the floor, and turned his back to me. Not another step. The man almost spat out. I don't want you coming near me. And with that, he went back to the mountain of papers that buried what might have once been a desk. His hand never stopped moving as he scratched at his head. Believe it or not, he'd call out, drop to the floor, and do it all again. I was thoroughly baffled. And so I sat in the corner of the writer's room until night fell. The bell at my neck continued to tinkle lightly as I tilted my head. Can this man truly be Bisque's family? I came to check up on him every few days. But each time he'd act just as wild and nonsensical. When he wasn't throwing himself on the floor, he was completely immersed in his writing. Disturbed by his unnatural behavior, I tried my best not to allow my bell to ring, and so I stayed nestled in the corner until I finally heard the sound of a pen sliding across the desk. <sighs> a loud sigh was immediately followed by a loud thud. He'd fallen backwards off his chair. Finally. Finished. The way he breathed those words sounded so unlike his usual crazed tone. I lifted my head, and the bell chimed to him gently, with his back still on the floor. He let out a low moan. Oh, Bisk. Bisk, my dear. I was sure he'd yell at me to stay away again today, but instead he just lifted his thin, ghost-like arm and gestured to me. Just as I neared him, with my careful, steady steps, he suddenly grabbed me by the scruff of my neck and dragged me down with him. At first, I went stiff with fear. But then, I heard the beating of his heart. He gently closed his eyes and petted me. Ah, uh, Bisque, is that you? You've gotten so much thinner. 
since I last saw you. His bony hands were rough, but he petted me softly. As I sat there, unable to answer, the beating of his heart became softer and softer. He continued to coo at me gently. <sighs> Finally, I'm able to sleep. His last words sounded more like he was speaking them from a dream. As the hand on me never wavered, I finally realized. My doubts were cleared. I understood now that this was the orange-belled Bisque's family. And as I gently closed my eyes, I could feel the sound of my own heartbeat, slowly melting free of its ice. I am Bisque. Bisk with her orange bell. The foster child who brings peaceful slumber to the master writer, whom everyone called crazy. These are such strange stories. <laughs> they really are. It appears we have a special bond, that was, you and that I. That was sweet, though. Yeah, I still don't really know what to make of, I shall see of you the again. person, you know, of the cat that's impersonating other cats. It's such a strange little idea, you know? I think we weren't supposed to realize it was a cat until much later, but... It's the only thing I can think of. It's got to be a cat. It has to be a cat. But it refers to itself like it's a human. Yeah. I mean, they drank milk in the last one. Yeah. And they were on a roof before. They were on a roof in one of the ones before that. They got called mangy by someone. So that, again, indicates an animal. But you could call a person mangy, I guess. Don't give up. There's a way, Ishihara. Okay. <laughs> I guess there's someone to crawl under here, probably. No boy. Play. Looks like a dead end. Guess he means business. Huh? A dead end? <sighs> in other words, we're trapped in here. I don't think so. <laughs> Thanks for your... I mean, you're not. You can just go through the wall. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? I guess this is the end. Huh? What's the matter? You're a guy, aren't you? It's too early to throw in the towel. Mm. <laughs> oh, I know. What is it? Would you... Um... Well, would you like to hear my story? Uh... Sure. A long time ago... Long ago... There was a brilliant scientist who discovered, well, the secret of interaction. That is, how humans connect emotionally. The hidden ability to communicate without words. Way in the past, people could have connected with each other using that power. So a bunch of really smart scientists got together to study the idea. They thought if they could reawaken this power in everybody, we wouldn't have to use words to understand one another. They concluded that it'd make the world a better place. There were wars at that time. People argued and fought over little things and big things alike. Everything was a point of contention. And people grew tired of it. The whole world was unanimous in supporting the project. Using a machine they called Glass Cage, humans sent a signal around the world to try and trigger the latent empathy faculty in people's heads. This would enable everyone to naturally harmonize with one another. After that, what happened? Well, everybody was excited! Now that they could convey exactly what was in their hearts, all sorts of misunderstandings and ill will would vanish overnight. That's what they thought. The entire world was bubbling with hope. Everyone believed it was the dawn of a new era. They believed and believed and smiled themselves to sleep. 
But then... The next morning, no one woke up. They slept, and stayed like that forever. That's how they all died. And you think... it's happening again? Yeah. That girl? She's gonna be the catalyst for it. Catalyst? Her heart will make the connection. And connect with everybody else on Earth. If it succeeds. What if it doesn't work? I told you. It'll be worse this time. Not a single soul will escape. <laughs> and guess what? The first time around, I was the catalyst. But, Sai, I don't get it. How did... How did you end up as the catalyst? Don't look at me. I have no idea. I lived a typical, ordinary life. And then one day, they forced me to take all these tests. Before I knew what was going on, they decided to use me. They plugged all these cords into my head, made me take strange medicines. It was all very weird. I'm telling you, in all my days, I'd never felt such intense pain. It happened every day. More experiments. They didn't care at all how I felt. But there was this guy. He had a heart. Sometimes he'd slip me chocolates and candy. He'd even stop by and ask me if I was doing okay. And also... He thanked me... Nicely. I see. So, you and that guy... Well... You were like friends. <laughs> you crack me up. I mean... I wouldn't exactly call Shin and I friends. If I had to label us, we were... Wait a minute. How'd that cat get in here? The door's still locked shut. And the exit is blocked with rubble. Quick! After him! He might lead us to a way out! These two are idiots. Okay. So one, cats are liquid. <laughs> so just because a cat can fit somewhere doesn't mean you can. Oh, another cutscene. It's I huge! It. The cat's meowing on the other side. This. If you crouch down, you should be able to fit. Here goes nothing. It's massive! We've been through gaps a quarter of this size! Look at it! <laughs> I'm not gonna save again. Okay. <laughs> Alright, the cat's gone this way. We're gonna go this way briefly. Okay, so... Here's the thing that happens a lot in fictional stories like this, especially in Japanese-inspired stories. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is the way. It's the same cat from before. Continue. <laughs> if you're gonna fucking... Well, shouldn't you go the other way, then? Yeah, I probably should to look for items. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you're gonna do a project that enables a single individual to connect with the hearts and minds of every fucking being on the planet, and your goal is ultimately to placate and calm everybody down, maybe don't impose immeasurable pain and suffering on the single individual that's gonna be, like, the catalyst for the hive mind of humanity. Maybe that would be a good idea? Yeah, I mean, I think it would probably be a good idea. Ow, I'm getting bullied here. I think I picked up another bell though. I'm just going to assume that everything is a bell from now on, because <laughs> we found so many. Yeah. Most of this session has been us listening to the bells. The bells. The bells. Ah! Oh, 
problem's dead. Yay. Anyway, um, yeah. It's really dumb. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't make the catalyst, like, feel anger and suffering if you want the catalyst to, like, impose harmony. I guess we should save. Because <laughs> it's going to be harmonizing everyone to death as that happened here. <laughs> I feel like... Man. People in anime are idiots. I'm getting sleep. <laughs> At least scientists are. <laughs> yeah, is I would this? agree. A baby salt, this is different. Oh. Though you're still so small, you'll soon be born. So this message is for you. There may come a day when you'll curse being born into this world. You'll wonder what you did to deserve this. And you'll probably have plenty of bitter words to tell me. But, but I don't think I'll be around by then to listen to your complaints. I want you to know how truly sorry I am. I just want you to believe this. No matter what happens, all we wanted was for you to be happy. So, I am a little bit confused. If everyone died in a massive comatose thing, which is what, by the way, that mural was showing. It was showing a big radio tower and lots of people just on the ground, right? Yes. If that's what happened, why is everyone else acting like the apocalypse... Was coming. Was coming. Because they wouldn't know, right? I mean, all they would have known is that a lot of people are dead, but not everybody. I wonder if, like, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. Okay, it's, I, 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 I I will say the, the 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 backstory is a little bit weird because Sai is claiming everyone was on board, everyone was good, no one was sad about anything because no one was expecting everyone to die. Like, that wasn't the goal of the project. The goal of the project was to make everyone be in harmony, and everyone was on board with this, right? So, I don't understand why there's so many memories of just like, oh, I have to leave you now, and I'm so sad about it. Um, I can understand a little bit, like, this one. This one, obviously, is just a survivor who, you know happened to have a wife who was pregnant or, you know, girlfriend, whatever. Baby was on the way when baby really shouldn't have been on the way. Bad timing. I could get that. Yeah. But then there's ones where, like with the, with the wedding. And, and they were like, yeah, the end of the world is happening. And every, and, we don't know exactly. No and, way, and then everyone is, the hotel people said we're, they want to spend their last days by themselves. And it sounded like, we know exactly when the end's coming. Yes. You know? So, that's a little bit weird. Don't really understand it. Follow the cat. There he is. How did he get here in the first place? <sighs> Wait. For the massive tunnel. Shockingly. Conveniently. <laughs> I like the way they'd given up and they were like, we're dead, without even looking around. I feel like it would make more sense if there was more like, we don't know how long we have left, but, you know, that's why I'm sad. Yeah. That would make more sense, but every all the memories are just like, oh yeah, this is the last time you'll get to go outside. Like, with the mountainside <sighs> memory that we saw. Exactly. Like, it, d d d d is it just me? I don't know. Tell us in the comments what you think. Maybe my comprehension is just bad. Oh my god, you got both at once. And you finally got a level. Yeah, I feel like I'm over-leveled at the moment. Which is good, don't get me wrong. <laughs> That's a good thing, why would you complain about that? My inventory is full, unfortunately. But Oh, there's a bonfire There's right a bonfire here. right there. It's still an area I haven't checked out, but I'm gonna go and check out in a minute, but we'll see what we've got first of all at the bonfire. Uh... Am I starting to talk to You have story? a ghost with you, okay? Seriously, Shut up. stop. <clears throat> stop discounting every single fucking being as being useless unless they're the white-haired girl. 
That's stupid. Let's read the memory of the legend. I think we have two memories. So, to do list. One, eat a whole cake by myself. Two, share a meal with my family. Three, visit all the friends I can. Four, read all the books I've wanted to. Five, buy the clothes I always dreamed of. Six, make up with that certain somebody. Oh. See, this is a perfect example. You act like you know exactly when the end of the world is happening because you're like, here's my bucket list before the world is nuked. But it's not nuked. It's just everyone went to sleep and they didn't wake up again and then they died in their sleep. We have another bell. I know, but I'm still mad. <laughs> the silver bell wasn't a particularly outstanding decoration, but it did ring the most beautifully. I'd always wondered what kind of home such a lovely bell had come from. It belonged to an old woman who lived alone without relatives in a large mansion I'd never seen before. Madam, it's time for supper. Thank you, dear. Madam, the lilies in the garden have bloomed. I've put them in this vase. What a lovely scent. Madam, it started raining. Allow me to close the windows. Yes. And draw the curtains, too. The old woman was waited on hand and foot by her servants. She'd rely on their help as she sat idly in her chair, listening to her favorite music. She'd even ask them to change out the records. But most of the servants seemed to genuinely adore their employer. But there was one thing the old woman would ask several times a day. Excuse me, but could you call Chris here for me? Later that same day. Oh, where is Chris? And again, even later. Please find Chris for me. Though normally obedient, this one request was always met with hesitation. Madam, Chris is already... The maids would start cautiously. Oh, yes. You're quite right, the old woman would say, cutting them off. She's not with us anymore, is she? Mm, I'd nearly forgotten. She'd murmur with a nod. But not a few hours later, she'd ask the same questions again. She had them stop her favorite record. Oh, wherever could my darling Chris be? One rainy night, the mansion was in an uproar. Madam? The servants dashed through the halls in a frenzy. Finally, one of the maids shouted in despair. Why can't I find her cane? Though it wasn't too cold outside, the sheets of rain continued to pour relentlessly. She couldn't have gone outside, could she? A chill passed over the gathered servants before they set out. They put on their coats and called for help outside. I tore my eyes from them and made for the rain-drenched town. Amidst the downpour, I smelled the sweet fragrance of Lily. In the back lane of a park, far from the mansion, I made out the figure of the old woman. She was surrounded by a crowd who moved and gabbed around her. Come on, lady, you'll catch your death out here. Maybe you should see the police. The old woman's shoes and designer clothes were soaked through. A man tried taking her by the hand, but the old woman refused to budge, her face adamant. Fed up with her antics, the men finally left, leaving her behind. I cautiously stepped just into her field of vision, and without saying a word, rang my silver bell. It rang clear through the rain. The old woman raised her head sharply in surprise, her blurry eyes looking at me. Chris? The old lady rasped. I rang the bell again in a nod, and then turned around. Chris, wait! Wait for me! Her cane clicked as she followed me. I may not be able to carry her all the way to the mansion, but it'd be enough to bring her to her servants. I stopped often to look over my shoulder, 
to make sure I didn't lose her. The sound of that beautiful bell was a beacon. At last, one of the servants noticed the old woman and shouted, Madam! As she ran towards her, the old woman bent down to scoop me up and held me, trembling. The servants weren't able to hide their surprise, seeing how much the late Chris had changed upon her return. Not one of them said that I wasn't Chris. <laughs> because the old woman called me so, the maids nodded in obedience, just glad that their beloved employer had returned home safe. I am Chris. Chris with her silver bell. I'm the tiny, adorable Chris, loved by her grandmother in this grand mansion. They are really interesting, those. Mm. I like them. I wish they were a bit shorter, but they are good. I don't mind the length of them because it's part of the story. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're a sucker for story, right? I am a stuck. I I am a sucker for story, but. I mean, yeah, <laughs> there's no fun to that. All right. I'm going to go and check out the other dead end quickly, so there's another item there. Because I, I want to try and find as many story items as possible. Mm. And then uh, we'll head around the corner and follow the kitty cat. Looks like there's only like a, one room or two left in this area, and we'll uh, be out whatever this area is. Shitty sewer. Yeah, another mystery item. It could be another bell. This spear has lasted for ages, by the way. Watch, it's gonna break the second you said that. Only when they're flashing, sweetie. I know, but it's just a temptation is high sometimes, you know. It's a bumpkin, this one. It is a bumpkin. That was bump. That was super bumpkin, that one. This one's bullying me. You have to get it to do the walk, not yeah. the not the not the Volvo thing. Not Volvo, Valdo. <laughs> Volvo's a car. It does like the shoulder block when it's attacking. Mm. Shoulder tackle? You know what I mean. Huh. <laughs> that's what it does. I think I'm going to swap this spear out for a one that's in my bag in a minute because I've had it for a long time. Yeah, sure. And this one that's definitely must be at the end of his lifespan. It's soothing watching the flames. Hmm. Another bell. Pink Bell Maria number one. Oh. I've gained so much. Gentle hands and many, many new names. Mondays, Henri. Tuesdays, Fleur. Wednesdays, Sylvia. Thursdays, Lot. Fridays, Bisque. Saturdays, Chris. And for just one day, I'm no one else but myself. It was supposed to be revenge. Revenge for the deceased girls who'd led a better life than I. With vengeance and blasphemy laid to rest, all that's left is me, a lie. Before I knew, I began wondering about the future. When? Tell me, when? When will I fall in love? Once I find someone who loves me, I'll finally be given a name. Not just someone else's substitute, but a name all my own. That's what I decided. So then why? Why did I have to meet him? He lived on a cliff face that looked down on the town. His features were considered striking. His posture regal. But those weren't the only things that made me stop in my tracks. I didn't really need a reason, because to him, it didn't matter what bell I put on. Nothing would change the fact that I was nothing. A bell with two stripes of light pink lay at his feet. 
it didn't belong to him. The bell, like his love, was waste on the street. His features knew despair. You could see the hollowness of death in his eyes. No matter how much I stared or spoke, he never once looked back at me. I gingerly pick up the rosy pink bell. Its soft sound should be enough to reach his ears, stir his heart, and open his eyes. Then, in a husky voice, he will speak in a tone drowning with emotion. He will call out the name of his past love. Maria? And I'll choke up with emotion and smile as I say, that's right, I'm your Maria. And then, there won't be any real me left in this world. Please, tell me your real name. I giggle softly and answer again. I'm Maria. His brow will surely furrow as he snuggles close. That's not your name. It can't be. But that's the name of your beloved, right? I loved you. But the one that you loved was never me at all. You loved the real owner of this pink bell. Imagine it. A rival whom even death couldn't kill. The one woman he really loved. I hated her, cursed her, and stole her name and identity. And I do it no matter how miserable it makes me. Oh, Maria. If we'd never met, then I'm sure I'd have rotted away right on the spot. Those are the only words that can bring me salvation now. As long as you're happy, then I'll never need a silly name. A storm was brewing. The high winds that had been beating on the windows since morning gathered dark clouds and pelted the forest trees. I leapt from the safety of the old woman's blanket, raced through the town, and headed for the mountain cottage, my old hideout. I'd take a bell and think about the past each time I came here. I go by many names now. So whose ghost remains in this dreary mountain hut? A brilliant flash of light, coupled with thunder, filled the sky. Every hair on my body stood on end. There was a tearing sound of wood splitting. Chills ran down my spine. I quickened my pace without thinking. A tremor crept down my back. The scene that greeted me as I reached that hut was indescribable. A massive cloud of smoke clogged my nose and burned my skin. The mountain was on fire, and the gusty winds helped spread the flames quickly. In my panic, I dove into the hut. The heat was as hot as stoked coals, but through the burning and stench, I knew I had to salvage my bells. They'd been proof that the girls had lived, and now they were the one place I felt at home. I gathered the seven bells and made for my escape, but the hut entrance was already engulfed in flames. I leapt through a broken window, feeling as though I was being burned alive. I could hear the destruction all about me. Just outside the window was the cliff face. I jumped down from my perch, prepared to take the dive. Through it all, I kept the seven bells tightly held in my mouth. Well, that escalated. That, that, that escalated really quickly. Did not... Uh, it's interesting, for sure. You say that every single time. I feel like you just don't know it's what to say. It's interesting, for sure. It is really interesting, for sure. <laughs> for sure, baby. Okay? I don't know what else to fucking say, alright? Don't you don't need to say anything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't know blah, 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 blah. I don't know what to make of it. I say that every time as well. Yes. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Okay.
We've been in this area for so long and nothing has happened here except we found the bell stuff. <laughs> I never expected a weakling like you to make it this far. Oh shit. Oh, hi again. It's you, from the hotel. What are you? Hey, it's no use! Look out! I do Funky. not have to answer to you. Any threat to the project must be eliminated. Oh, yeah. Yay. Aww. Almost, but almost. Oh, one more hit. God damn it. There you go. That was easy. Especially compared to the crane. Fool. Your existence amounts to nothing more than a goldfish swimming upriver. When we were conceived, the age of man ended. What? What are you talking about? Our plan is on schedule. Make the most of the little time you have left. Alright, some more pal being, you're a pussy. <laughs> we have to act fast! Right. <laughs> that was, uh, really easy compared to the crane. Huh. I guess the cat ran in here. It'll be tight, but you can squeeze through. Be super careful. It right. won't be that tight. You're tiny, Seto. You're a tiny man. Oh, God, this is going to take forever, isn't it? Yes. You know what I don't necessarily understand? Mm -hmm. He's. Does anyone really crouch walk in this manner? It happens in a lot of video games, and I'm not sure if anyone no, people can. Call on, people go on all fours usually. Yeah. Like in this situation, you go on all fours. <laughs> like a hundred percent. I. I just. I feel like if you're gonna do it on two feet, you're like upright a little bit more. Like, uh, I remember back in the day, Peanut Butter Gamer did a, a parody, I don't know if, it, I don't think it was the entire video, but I think it was one of the Zelda month ones, and he, like, reenacted the Zelda crouch, the Link cr crouch, and it looks so weird when an actual person does it. <laughs> there's, a, there's a person on TikTok that does the Final Fantasy battle poses and things like that, and uh -huh. some, some of the stuff is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> person like it's actually crazy like it looks just insane <laughs> this game has a preoccupation with kitty cats i will say yeah i mean not that i it's a think thing. oh explain yourself sai why did you let a human in here First, you answer a question for me. Why are you reviving Glass Cage? What are you trying to do? You don't need to know that. Please, tell me the truth. If what happened last time- Words can be frustrating, troubling things, Sai. I thought you, of all people, would understand. But Shin, it's just that if we could just talk, I know that I'd be able to- That's enough. Soon, everything will be in order. Well, so Shin's a ghost too. Well, yeah, because the majority of Why humanity he... died. I don't understand. Why can't he see? Let's go save that girl, Seto. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you can go, mm. You didn't grunt. Why he probably grunt? he probably did in the actual <laughs> <laughs> in the actual thing. Give me one second. 
I mean, you mock him, but I do the exact same thing. <laughs> I know, I know, but it's cute when you do it. <laughs> I'm just checking out this room for an item quickly. Because um, this is the dead end, I think. Or maybe not. No, there we go. Got a katana, that's what I was looking for. Yay! That is the best weapon in the game. Yeah. In terms of damage output on an individual target, I think. Mm. Man. See, I did it just so. I'm <laughs> <sleepy>. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have the oh, ends of the bell cool. saga here as well, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> After falling unconscious, I awoke to the pattering of raindrops. I could still smell the mountainside burning. But the rain was now falling harder than before. I knew I was far from safe. <sighs> Nestled close against the ground, I'd already lost the sensation in both my arms and legs. I asked the heavens if this was my punishment. Was this what I deserved? For having taken the dead girl's happiness as my own? In a twisted and shameless act? <coughs> Through the ash-ridden world, a voice was calling me. No. That's not my name. And yet... Maria! Maria! Yes. The one calling me was none other than my beloved. Maria, hang in there! Don't die on me! Oh, yes. My love. My one true love. Don't give up. I whispered desperately. Don't give in to the despair. Please. Live. I thought that if he lost me, he'd never see his precious Maria again. And it wasn't just him. Henri, Fleur, Sylvia, Lot, Bisque, Chris, they'd all been beautiful. Don't kill me, I shouted. Please don't kill the ones you love, trembling. I handed the seven bells over to him. If you can, take these in my place. Just don't let their loving families lose all hope. He looked at me as if wanting to speak. Then, taking the bells with him, he turned and ran. As his figure became smaller and smaller, it was eventually washed away by the rain. I tried calling his name, but couldn't form the words. If I managed to speak, I might make the mistake of telling him something I could never say. As I thought about how the cold rain would sweep away the fire, along with my soul, I thought of the last person who'd considered me family. I may not have been the one they loved, but I certainly loved the warm and gentle hands that touched me. I lied and desecrated the dead, all for my revenge. And yet here I was, crying, here on the brink of death. I'd come closest to those girls and could finally, truly cry for them. After all, you know how it is. You must know, right? All you wanted was to live. The rain washed the mountainside gray, draining the light from everything. I was cloaked in darkness and rain. Then I heard the faint sound of a bell ringing. At least I could tell that my ears were still working. I focused my senses on the source. Then, just behind the sound, I heard footsteps and voices approaching. Come on, Henri! 
I thought I was hearing things. It had to just be a memory enclosed inside that bell. After all, no one would call for me. Fleur! Sylvia! It can't be. My eyelids fluttered. Why? From beyond the falling ash, I could make out figures. They circled around me. The boy, the boss, Mama. What? Mask! Chris! No. The children, and the teacher, the master writer, and grandmother. No. I tried to scream, but failed. No. Don't look at me. You'll see through my lies. Don't hate me. I was never the girls that all of you loved. We already knew that. Was the reply from the one who used the seven bells to gather everyone here. You snuggled close to me as I was wrapped in a warm towel. As you kept me warm, you dropped the seven bells. <laughs> we already knew that all along. He sounded on the verge of tears as he kissed my cheek. Don't you see? The ones we loved weren't the ghosts from the past. His words forgave me. We all know you made up those lies to try and help us. No one else but you could have made us feel so good. Could bring us so much joy. It was all thanks to you and your seven bells. I closed my eyes the tears still streaming. I thought my life was just one lie after another. But no longer. I finally understood it now. My name will be the Seven Colored Bell. A name given to me by my loving family and friends. I am Belle, carrying my seven colors. I was the most loved in town. I am Belle, and I was the luckiest cat in the world for having seven names. Okay, so the last one was a cat. Because <laughs> I thought it was a bit weird that you started talking about Feel Beloved and, and in a context of services. like, is this man fucking a cat? I mean, he might have been. <laughs> There's no evidence otherwise, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, there was. There was a second cat in that last picture. Oh, okay. You can buy katanas here. We have a lot of healing supplies now, so I think we'll... Oxygen cylinder? What the fuck? Oh, it heals. A lot, but it's ten grand. Yeah, it's probably big too. I'm gonna buy... I'm gonna buy nothing here at the moment. Okay. I'm pretty happy with everything we've got at the moment. I look forward to our next meeting. I'm going to de-equip the spear. Because it is probably fucked at this point in time. I'm going to just get rid of the spear. I'm going to equip the katana. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the spear in here for a second. Mm -hmm. No, not in the briefcase. I'm going to get rid of it. Sorry. You're going to... Really? Yeah, because it's it must be nearly broken. Well... Okay. And I have another one already that I purchased. So I'm just going to grab that. Wherever the fuck that is. Watch me not have one. No, I do have another one. Because we know this one's fresh as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this away because we never use it and it's too slow anyway. Okay. Fix the Tetris. Well, I'm going to equip the spear again. And I'll put this here. Is that fine? Yes. Fix the Tetris. Oh my god. I mean, you, you do, really. It's a legal requirement. <laughs> yes? Yes. Alright, well, we're in the, I think, probably one of the last areas of the game if we're in Shen's lab, so let's keep going and see what we can find. I'm guessing lots of horrible traps and robots. Mm. These are worth killing these? I'm not getting much experience in it. Ah! I mean... 
That's the whole point of grinding. It gets more hard to grind. Well, I know that. <laughs> I am aware. I do play JRPGs a lot. Well, I... <laughs> that's what I mean. Where it's kind of silly you're asking, is it worth it? Because you're not getting levels. You're not getting levels because you're not grinding. <laughs> I've been killing everything. Yeah, that's not grinding. Grinding is constantly going around the same couple of areas to respawning enemies and killing them. <laughs> that's what grinding well, we're is. Oh, you're doing that. That's boring. <laughs> hey, level up! Oh my god, unprecedented. What is this? Another mystery item. I think that was probably an axe, I'm gonna be honest with you, or a hammer or some shit. I'm gonna just pass these ones because I fucking hate them. And yet you stabbed it. I didn't mean to, that was just me panic pressing a button, I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Alright, there's a massive hole here. Do I want to check out all these rooms? <laughs> I took too long to decide what I was doing there. I don't like this guy, it's the bullies. Can I just say, I hate the noise he makes. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Is there actually anything in here? Is this worth being here? I don't see any items. No, there is an item. Oh, there is. Oh, for fuck's sake! My shins are fucked! Sweetie, why don't you just switch over to the katana? I wanna, I wanna kill him this way. I wanna prove to myself the spear is the best. Okay, I killed one. I killed two, actually. No, you killed one. Now you killed two. No, I killed three. Where's the item? I thought I saw one. Oh, yeah, I did. Right there. How do I get to it? Oh, it's a strange blue. I should probably Ooh, use all drink. Those. Yeah, immediately just use that. I have loads in my inventory that I should go back and use as well. Yeah, they give you a permanent ten. Boost, I think. They do, yeah. I don't know why I didn't drink them before. We've been handicapping ourselves the entire game with all the ones we found. Mm -hmm. Have we actually found some? We found a few, yeah. Then yeah, we should definitely just be drinking them. I don't see any item in here. These are all kids' cells, by the way. Yeah. Of course they are. <laughs> Any items in here? Well, I can't really tell. <laughs> okay, I hit two of them there. One's there already. I think I killed them already. All of them, actually, just by pure chance there at the end. What? It is RNG. <laughs> I don't want... That's just like a hammer or something. Oh, it could be money, couldn't it? It is RNG. No, don't use it. I'm so triggered right now. <laughs> it's really easy to make room for this one. Just move the vitamin over a slot. If I can figure out how to bring up my menu again. This'll do. Move the vitamins over a slot. Like here? Yeah. But it's probably a bow, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, probably is. <laughs> I don't see any. Oh, there is an item. Oh. Just when I say there's not, I immediately see one. I think it's an axe, though. <laughs> it's still. Oh, yeah, it's an axe. Yeah, you're right. I'm leaving. There's no point. You're right. It's just an axe on the floor. It's weird how some of the stuff, it's like, you know, um, oh well. I don't know if I can get past these, whatever I do, unfortunately. Well, I mean, they were all good to attack, but you didn't attack. No. You just backpedaled. Just because I'm running. <laughs> there is four of them. And there's three behind you. Well, no, they despawned. Okay, that 
work well in the end. Focusing one down and legging it. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be... I'm not fighting him in a close range like that. Because I can't run around him. If the ID See? cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. Move. Oh, never mind. I, I mean, there's nowhere to move. I'm going to be honest with you. Are you kidding me? Everything is breaking so easily. Oh no, I haven't got a weapon. Well, see, that's the, kind of why I was like, uh, you're really gonna throw away something that still has a few hits left, but... I didn't expect everything else to break in seconds, in my defense. I understand that, but it's good to just, you know, <laughs> not waste stuff. I can't move, so I'm just, I'm just dead. There's nothing I can do. I can't get past him. Don't stand there. Bullshit. It's not bullshit. You stood in the way. There's nowhere to go, babe. But you, what am I supposed to do? Backtrack. If I backtrack, he will despawn and fully heal. I've got to kill him, otherwise I can't physically get past no, him. No, I meant step backwards. Okay, go, 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 go. Like you just did. It's not a- it's not rock and science. I love you, but it's not. <laughs> Wait a minute. You think this might be... me? Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't really do you justice. I wonder if that girl drew it. <laughs> She's not very good. Hey, don't say that. I think it's cute. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say. She was here. I just know it. Maybe so. But she's not anymore. Yeah, we have to find her. As an item, oh, it's not as a bonfire. Alright, let's sort out all my fucking shit now that broke. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not getting You have to spend sick. money on new weapons there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, could this be? What have we found? Money? Please be money. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the good shit. Don't care about this, but okay. Here you are. Thanks. Mm, smells great. I swear, you brew a mean cup of joe. You can thank the coffee maker for that. No, it's more than that. I don't have time for this. Please get back to your work. Oh, come on. You deserve a coffee break, too. Join me. No, thank you. I have duties to attend to. Always the diligent worker. Compared to your idleness, perhaps, doctor. The team doesn't need it dimwit like me to get the job done right. They're plenty smart enough. But doctor, you were supposed to be one of the finest in the world. <laughs> yeah. That's why I think they made a mistake. Hardly. All you lack is the drive. I don't prescribe to the where there's a will belief. Doctor. I know, I know. I've still got a job to do, so I'll do it. In that case, would you please get on with it? Okay, jeez. <laughs> That's one of the most brisk interactions. Okay. Oh my goodness, that's all sorted now. Oh my god, look, we have a little little tiny thing on the side. Oh my god. My health increased that much. Yep. That was probably a bad idea, but you can do with these things. We're dying. Yeah. These give out candy drops a lot. I wonder how much candy drops sell for. I don't think you can do something. Yes, sweetie. Oh, I just haven't done it, except the treasures. The treasures are automatic, but there is a sell option. Oh, that's interesting. Maybe we should sell some of the items we have, like the weapons and things. Mm. Especially if we're going to have to buy, like, a like, batons and shit, too. I mean, I assume it's gonna be the same as every, uh, you know, RPG where the sellback rate is shit compared to buying it, but... I wonder if the things broke out more because they were metal, the enemies were fighting. Oh, that would make sense. Okay, that doesn't, doesn't make, make sense. sense. <laughs> that was an unused weapon again. Can you sell back the broken items? 
no. They, they said there's no, there was like, when the tutorial was like, there's no use for them, you should get rid of them immediately. Oh. This looks like really bad. Yeah, it does. But we got out of there. So the that's good. Cannot be confirmed. Oh. I'm not going to read that. I'm sorry. The oh, man, there's letters all over the place. Oh, wow. Um, what the fuck? You were... Uh, th that was bullshit. If they're doing new attacks that we haven't seen, that's why. Can't move. The tracking in this is some serious bullshit. Like, it's really obnoxious. Like, you start moving when they attack and they just follow you. Everything in the game does it too, which is so irritating. Oh my god, I can't move! I think you want to drink one of the energy drinks. Yeah, I'm about to get absolutely fucked. I can't do it from this screen! Oh my god, it's so annoying! These garbage controls, fuck me! I'm gonna have to kill these things. Okay. Oh, oh. How does that make sense? You were facing completely They're the wrong way. Me at the moment. All right, one's dead. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, what a shit show. Now read what's on the walls. I'm too young to die. Oh, man. It does what it says again and again and again and again. I know. I'm sorry, person who died in here. The hammer's pretty good, by the way. Mm. Like, it's actually useful. What's this say quickly? I don't want to die again. I'm leaving this room. There's nothing else in here. We're going upstairs. <laughs> Lovely. No, you don't fucking follow me. Hang on, is that an item? Is that an item? A mystery item, story Cheeky. item. Sneaky story item. Oh god. What oh, the fuck? Please, Are we in please, this room? Please, chicken man, be here. <sighs> this is so soothing. I, this room must be in use, I guess. I guess he cleaned it. <laughs> yeah. Could this be? Strange red drink. That probably uh, increases something. Attack. Yeah. Permanently increases your attack. Well, okay, definitely. we'll just drink that in a minute. Yes! Hello, chicken man! I've never been so happy to we see you! Bond, <laughs> you and I. Oh my goodness, now we're back. We did some stuff and all oh, cutscene. Glass cage launch preparations complete. We are running out of time. Hurry! Right. First, some advice. What is it? <laughs> running out of time, let me waste time. It has a huge vat full of toxic substances. It's really dangerous. Don't waste any time. Your health will deteriorate the longer you stay in there. Sounds awful. Run like there's a ghost on your tail. <sighs> Got it. I mean, there is. You. Oh, uh, before... Oh. <laughs> we should have drank the, uh, thing. Don't worry. If the ID cannot be confirmed, you will be removed. Well, I'm removing myself, so you really don't have to worry about that. Okay, some of these we're gonna have to kill. Because I can't physically get past this one. Bye. More of you, please. More scrawny robots, not fat ones that I can't get past. I might need to heal along with you here. Even though I only have to be here. Yeah. You might be able to get past it if you go on the other end, but you just defeated it, so it's fine. Oh my god, the hitbox is huge! I did it. Okay. Another bonfire? Yeah, Yay! Convenient. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was stressful. <laughs> I've got I'm a feeling tired. the next room might be worse, though. <laughs> but I'm scared. Don't worry about it.
We're going straight out again. Into the big scary world. We didn't use any healing, so that's good. Alright. What now? This next room is guarded by motion sensors. Great! Motion sensors? Well, that means that when one of them is tracking you, you can't move a muscle. What if I do? You'll have a whole mess of trouble to deal with. Then I won't move. How hard can that be? I mean it. Don't even blink. Got it? Really? Really. I'll do my best. No blinking, huh? I naturally shake. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> Let's see how bad this is. We did save, right? Yes. Good. Okay, so if we stand in those things, we can't move. Which way around's the best going to be the best place to go, do you think? That way, maybe? I don't know. See what I'm going to try and do. Yeah. Okay, so far so good. The last door is that. The exit door is that. You see that? Yeah. I'm going to go to the left. It looks like if you go to the left corner a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go over here. But I've got to wait for this other one to pass me again. See this one here on yeah. the left? Fuck me. I was so close. Stop. Ha! Yay! No, no save. Oh no, there is. Thank fuck, fuck. Oh wow, also a lot of blood. Yeah. This is it. Beyond this door is the girl you're looking for. Finally. No! Wait. Yeah? Just... Just be careful. You hear me? I will. And... Thanks, Sai. Please don't let me go in, that would drive me nuts. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, good. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> so comfy. All right, you ready, baby? Yes. Let's see what's on the other side of this door. Language is truly an ineffectual means of communication. And as such, humanity's reliance on it will never grant them the evolution they desire. Indeed, humanity has digressed to an outdated organism. Then what's activating Glass Cage supposed to do? What else? It is a destructive force that will completely obliterate corporeal beings. Obliterate? No! Why would you do it? What would you possibly gain from something like that? Your petty verbal arguments are nothing more than a vintage relic. No explanation I can offer will make you understand my aim. Humans are held down by too many chains. There's too much noise. It's a disorganized mess. Now is the advent of our era. Humanity's reign is over. Anyone, Anyone who threatens, threatens the project, project must be eliminated. This is weird, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Those ghosts have got too uppity here. We'll get there in the end. With the last thing that I come across. There you go. Alright. 
Does the special flashlight work on him? Uh, I do not know. Keeping my distance for now, because I'm waiting for him to do some things. Yeah. He has a lot of health bars, by the way. See that? Yep. So far, so good. He doesn't really seem to be doing a lot. Oh. Range is not my friend here, I will say. Ow. Yeah, you kind of just... That was a lot of pain. Maybe don't let him go over the red. Yeah. I know he's late, but it's like, I can't really do a lot with that, you know what I mean? That was bullshit a bit. But there's no way I was going to hit this back and hit him. Oh, no. Yes! Nearly got one of his health balls down. Twice! I got him! Yay! Holy shit! And I leveled up! That was actually not too bad. Stop it! If you hurt him anymore! I... I may have underestimated the boy's sheer resolve. Fuck. Lift up the Wemo. What does she have to say for herself? So dish it. Are you <laughs> serious? Well, game developer, come on! Well, I'm not type B, that's for sure. Oh my god! Who's that? Is someone there? Ow. I can hear you breathing, you know. You okay? It's me. Who's there? Can't you see me? I'm sorry. I can only see shadows. 
But it's okay. I'll get my sight back very soon. You touched me. Yeah. I touched you. You're so warm. Who are you? Tell me. It's me, Seto. And my name is... Okay. <laughs> You're never gonna find out. I don't That's know. the backup system. It's finished copying her psyche to the AI. It looks like Glass Cage will still go live. And this time everyone will die. What do we do? I don't know about this backup system, but I think I know where Shin escaped to. We have to go there. It's our only hope. Let's hurry. <gasps> Are you okay? Let's hurry. Yeah. I'm okay. All right, let's go. Before I save, mm -hmm. I think there's a few items around here I can quickly grab to make things a bit easier. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a little cutscene first as well. There. That must be where Shin is. Scary. You guys wait here. I'll go up. No. I'm coming with you. I'll be fine. Just stay put. I'll be back real soon. Do you promise? Okay. Sure, I promise. Listen, Sai. I have to do this alone. I want you to look after her for me. Well then, somebody sure has gotten used to ordering me around, huh? But I understand. You just don't want her to be alone while you're off. Uh, wait a second. What? Right there. You've got a scratch on your forehead. Here, I'll put a bandage on it. Stay still. Uh, okay. This is the top in the drawing. Mm. For good luck. <laughs> I guess it's pretty weird for a ghost to be talking about good luck. Come back alive, okay? And Seto, whatever you do, stop him. Yeah, I will. I mean, I could have before, but you didn't let me kill the bastard again. <laughs> uh, right there. Oh, okay. And uh, then... There's another one around here. I have not got a cut. There we go. <laughs> My cursor was like, no, I don't think I'll do that. I don't want anyone to be able to see anything. Alright, let's see what those are before we uh, and save and get all set up. This is our last save point. Oh my goodness, we're close to the end. Yes. <sighs> so comfy. Nice surprise. Oh, a memory? I guess we're gonna listen to this. Oh. This used to be a popular makeout spot. And even though there's no one to listen, that guy sitting there, as always, playing his guitar. Oh. Hey there. Oh, hello. Out on your nightly walk? I see you're here as usual, too. Yeah, guess so. So how are you holding up? Still can't sleep? If I could, I wouldn't be here, now would I? <laughs> Touche. Keep playing that song. Now this is a surprise. You've never said anything nice before. What can I say? Your songs put me to sleep. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. It's a weird final memory, and another one. They're both memories. Mm. Yo. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't expect to see you here. Guess not even a worldwide calamity can shake you from your spot. <laughs> right back at you. Point taken. You want me to spare your ears tonight? Why? Because you don't want to sleep? No, actually. Put me to sleep. Interesting. 
And just why do you want that? I just... I just don't want my insomnia to make me the last person on Earth. I see. It's just that... my dad... my mom... all my friends... they all fell asleep and... I know. Hey now. You already asleep? You'll catch a cold out here. Here. Borrow my jacket. I, uh... don't feel like dozing off just yet. See? Now you don't have to worry about being the last one. So they died. Everyone died when they went to sleep. Well, surely not perpetually, because someone gave birth to Seto and like raised him from toddlerhood. That's true. Also, there is no weapon salesman. However, <sighs> that shouldn't be a problem, because I believe the final fight will give us weapons. I'm going to take some more heals, though. Oh, yeah. I think uh, that should be enough, because I think we're going to come across some heals as well, hopefully, on the way. Yeah. I'm going to save. The last time, potentially. Oh, my God. Oh, my Unprecedented. goodness. Unprecedented. This was quite a long game in the end. Mm. Like, not crazy long, but, like, quite long. All right, here we go. Wherever the fuck the stairs are, there they are. All right. See you later. That was close. You will be I'm just gonna leave those, okay? Yeah, sure. I can knock them down in one hit, so you know. I am happy you made it this far. It's you, but how? The probability of you fulfilling your mission is... is... <laughs> I suppose that is irrelevant. Knowing you, you will be successful to the very end. I am by your side, always watching over you. Good luck. Well, that was weird. So no explanation? The ID cannot be confirmed. And also the one like being that we've come across that doesn't really accept for the white haired girl. If the ID cannot be confirmed. Like honestly, she's we've been tracking her the entire game and she has the least amount of fucking characterization of anyone. Can I crow him? Well well. You look tuckered out. But there's still a ways to go, so don't fade away yet. You hear? Don't overdo it. If you're feeling spent, have yourself a good rest. Thank you. I will. Ah, there's my boy. I believe in you, just as you believed in me. Okay, you so that's the it. old lady ghost. You yeah. hear? It's the girl from the hotel, yeah? Mm hmm I was like, who the fuck is this for a minute? But yeah, I was very hotel. confused. I thought it was like his mum or something. <laughs> this is just annoying, this bit, right? Like, this is just yeah. padding. Yeah. I would have rather just have one long cutscene where he's, like, dynamically running up the stairs and you hear the voices as he's running in, like, a cinematic sort of way. Yeah. Instead of us running and then, and, and then having to stop everything we're doing. I think that's the thing that's getting me. Having to stop. Like this. Are you ready? Crow. Show me what you're made of. You're almost there. Crow. Oh. Don't get so excited. I said I was your friend, right? And because we're friends, we gotta look after each other. <laughs> Thanks, Crow. No problem. Now don't kill yourself, but give him all you got. Can I just say, if there's not a save point on top of this, this is going to be a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there is. Oh. oh my goodness. Watch there be another five minutes of climbing. I wouldn't be surprised. No, I wouldn't be surprised either, I'm going to be honest with you. I think we're only halfway. I'm going to be real. Oh, no, maybe not.
I'm going to equip uh, the katanas now. Because the hammer I don't want to use on the boss. Oh, he's just over there. Look, just chilling. And is there actually any items up here before we go over to him? It's worth a look, right? Chilling like a villain. I mean, yeah. I mean, he literally. Oh, another katana. Excellent. It's even better. We've got a bunch of heals and some katanas. Oh, I think I can just go over to him from here. Watch just one break in one swing. Maybe. All right. It's the final showdown. Why do you fight me? Because you're a villain. Why do you insist on wiping out mankind? Touche. Communication through speech is meaningless. You will never comprehend this fact. You're right. I don't. I don't understand you at all! But, no matter what, I know I need people. I'm sick of being all alone in this world! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Words will get you no further! All right. I can't move right now. Defeat Shin. Hopefully he does the same shit as before. It's going to be harder to turn face in here for some reason. Do anything? You're gonna let me hit you? Can I just run up? And, I don't wanna run up and hit you because you zap me. Okay, this is the same shit. Oh wow, that was so much faster. Do you see how fast that was compared to last time? Mm -hmm. I can't get near him. Well, you, you and the guide insist that the katana is the best weapon. It does. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Well, you did ask him to do an attack. I, I don't even know what's hitting me at the moment. I can't even tell. What do you mean you can't tell? It's the giant beams. Yeah, the beams were, on my screen look like we're fucking miles away. <laughs> Honey, I think... <laughs> do you have any healing? Please, please. No, this is it. If this hits me, I'm dead. If I get him, I might be able to kill him. No! You fucking asshole! <laughs> Fuck you! I can't gauge where the beams are in relation to me, like at all, when I fight him. Oh my god, I got him! I did it first time! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why are you trying to destroy the world? Turned its back on me. What do you mean? The world did? Long ago, when I was part of the Human Empathy Expansion Project, I secretly made myself the first test subject. I felt it was my responsibility that a project of this magnitude be carried out as safely as it possibly could. As a result of the tests, I no longer relied on words to reveal the thoughts and feelings of those around me. I believed in the success of this project to grant everyone the ability to empathize by making their thoughts transparent. But you see, when I listened to the thoughts of those all around me, all I heard was jealousy and contempt. My colleagues acted kind. But behind their innocent words was concealed resentment. Some of them envied my scientific ability and youth. 
Others suppose the very core of my character. They were wolves in sheep's clothing. Such contempt, flooding the air around me, the weak scorned, the strong envied. Even the elderly were regarded not with respect, but disdain. And at the heart of all those negative thoughts was always me, me, me. Whatever empathy may have been felt for others was quickly trampled by people's self-interest. The world is overflowing with hatred and spite. So long as that bitterness remains in the minds of men, this thing we call society will be nothing more than a farce. The world is a hell packed with mean-spirited monsters imprisoned by their very natures who hold on to hate, revenge, and ill will. Even my parents turned against me. They saw me as a monster. They showed me nothing but hatred. Nobody ever understood me. No one loved me. Wanting to end it all. Why is that wrong? I don't... I don't believe you! You? I thought you supported me in my ideas. We'd both become AIs and start a new world. No, not like that. I wanted... The only thing I ever wanted was to be with you. I just wanted to be near you. I needed to be part of your life. When I was brought to the lab, I was so lonely and scared. But you smiled at me and told me to hang on. When you visited and snuck me candies, you touched my hand with your gentle touch, the way it made me feel. You have no idea how happy I was. Shin, the truth is that I... I love you. But why couldn't I sense that emotion? Because you're a narcissist? <laughs> Don't you see? When it comes to the important things, I guess you just have to put them into words. <laughs> so there it goes. The AI mainframe in its crystal form. We will soon disappear now. Then Glass Cage will never be able to be reactivated. Fool. You choose such an uncertain, intangible thing as love. Thank you. <laughs> Just ignore For everything it. everything you've done, Seto. Thank you. And then, then we traveled together. And after countless summers, one day, I was all alone again. A peaceful end. At the end of everything, I was truly and utterly alone. <laughs> oh, wow. Look, the moon is so full. 
Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, listen. In all this time, I don't think I ever got your name. Ren. Ren. Seto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well then, there are still plenty of survivors all over the world. Let's go find them. Okay. What is it? <laughs> Thank you, Seto. For being here. Hey! Ren! What is it, Seto? Thank you for being with me, Ren. Was that ending? Well, this audio is gonna be is yeah. being muted. Uh, hold on, let me let me make a note of that. <laughs> Can I, I'll give my thoughts while Chris was doing that. Uh, I thought this was all right. The ending is pretty is pretty bad. It's not un, not surprised. It didn't surprise me what the ending was like, um, but it was pretty bad. Um, the overall experience isn't a terrible one. I think it paints a good picture of like a dead world. And I think it's an interesting idea for an apocalypse, even if it isn't fleshed out properly. It has a good aesthetic, it has some cool monster designs, and I like these, like, weird painted cutscenes they did. Um, I thought the best bit, honestly, were the memories that you find and the things that you yes, listen to about I the Yes, I 100% agree. They, they bring it to life a lot more than the actual characters do, which is utterly bizarre. There's another game like that from a similar era, actually, called Lost Odyssey on the 360 that has a lot of beautiful backstories that you uncover as you go through mm -hmm. that are far more moving than the overall story. Um, it's it's a shame because I don't think this is terrible. Like, you know, like, we recently played Dino Crisis 3 and I keep comparing <laughs> to everything to that at the moment, but it's because it's so bad and this is way better than that. I'm not shitting on this game. I'm not like, this is the worst thing ever. It just lacks in certain areas. The controls, because it's on Wii, do suck. And, um, yeah, it's not bad, but I would, I'd give it like, I don't know, like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. Maybe a pretty a 6. Yeah. Excuse me. Like, yeah. <sighs> I feel bad because I've been complaining about the story this entire time, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like, that ending, you, a fucking narcissist scientist, gained the ability to sense emotion, and he was so full of himself that he could only focus on the fucking emotions centered around him, and just assumed that everyone on the planet was full of hate and despair and nonsense. So he sabotaged everything. So he sabotaged everything and killed everyone. At least that's the implication. Because he killed every... The implication is that it might have worked fine, but he killed everyone because he saw nothing but hate and he wanted to kill everybody. And it didn't kill all the people, so he's trying it again to really wipe With everyone out. With the ghosts influencing him, though. They were like, they were, the, the, the masks, I think, are meant to be the main baddies. I they think... They didn't have enough of a presence in the yeah, to do really anything. Yeah, they really don't. I think they're meant to be... Like, the negative emotions that overtook him when he gained that power, that sense, and that's actually. why he couldn't sense anything positive. But it's still dumb because it doesn't really extrapolate on that, and it's so weird, because like I said before earlier in the video, Japanese RPGs usually are really bad with exposition dumping. They're usually really bad at this, and this is almost like the opposite, where it's it just like... It's like, it's but, but, almost like I meant to have read something before playing this game. There was a That's what there it feels like. There was a planned sequel that got cancelled, I will say that. Well, I know, but still. Yeah. It feels like I'm watching, okay, here's a, here's a good, <laughs> don't judge me, anyone, okay? But I like this series called Tenshimura, except I don't really like it. It's, it's one of those childhood things where I watch it now, it's cringe. But it did play, like, a significant part of my life because I ended up joining a roleplay group and met a lot of friends. Whatever. Point is, 
after like the third season, quote unquote, uh, they didn't translate any of the other uh, series in that storyline. There's a bunch of spinoffs. And in that series, if you watch it, you're going to be so fucking confused because it expects you to have read the author's book series and comic series separate to the actual anime to understand the story. So there's like 50 million characters now that I would have no idea who they were if there wasn't a hardcore, very tiny fan base that is still translating and summarizing these books. A and... And I mean, like, you would be really lost. You would you would be coming in, I see comments on it, because you could see the newer series on Crunchyroll, and just being like, who the fuck are these women? Because it's a harem anime. I think it was one of the first. But that's what this gives me. It gives me the vibe of, like, I feel like I was meant to study before playing this game, and I'm not sure I was. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see if that was a book. I'm not sure if I was, or maybe there was a manga that came out directly afterwards that filled everything in, but I am pretty lost. And I will say, special contents unlocked, maybe you're supposed to play it again to get more of the backstory unlocked. I don't know. I'm not even quite lost. But it um, feels like there's a giant chunk of information missing. Like, why is Ren special? Did she just happen to be the last girl on Earth that was legible? I mean, she's she's white-haired. Is she Shin daughter? So the game had two different writers. The main story was written by one person. All the short stories were written by somebody else. Is that why it feels so disconnected? Maybe it was definitely interesting, but there's no other. There's nothing else. It's literally it's just this is the only work in this universe. I don't know if that's true, because I have seen... Well, I don't know. It might be fan comics in that case. But I just... It just feels weird. I don't... I feel like it's a lot of potential that was on the table that got fumbled. And I guess it bothers me just because I am such a slut for story. I'm such a slut for lore. And it's not everybody's cup of tea. Maybe a lot of people like it because it's so, like experience and find all of the notes and stuff and try to piece everything together yourself maybe it is that but anyway i'm sorry for ranting and saying the same thing 20 times over i talk in a circle if you haven't noticed but i hope you enjoyed watching us play this yes <laughs> if you enjoyed guys consider liking the video leaving a comment let us know what you thought if you want to get involved in our long play creation process you can pledge to our patreon and uh, vote and nominate on what we actually make videos of um, it's really, really awesome. Next up is going to be Echo Knight. Uh, so look forward to that coming pretty soon. And, uh, yeah, if you want to watch us live on Twitch, there's a Twitch link in the description, uh, as well as that Patreon link. And you can also, uh, check out our other videos as well. Oh my god. Look at extras. See if there's anything in the extras. It's probably just going to be pictures, though. That's usually what it is. Trailers, concept art, credits. And yeah. movies from the game. Yeah, it's probably not You can not change his outfit, there. I think, with the, new, with the new Game Plus and things like that, but yeah. Yeah. Alright. It's a shame. Anyway. Um, that was Fragile Dreams, Farewell Ruins of the Moon. Not bad, but not amazing either. Yeah.